Hello, everyone. How are y'all doing? Early gang, it's good to see the Aussies here. I know, I know the stream times aren't too kind to you. You're all very welcome to the stream. Uh, I'm mad excited to be playing this. I literally just got back from r running out to, like, Smith's and buying my copy of the game. I have Legends Arceus, I have it here in my hands. Uh, and I'm just booting it up. Uh, it's good to have you all here. Thank you for the subs. Let's just fucking go. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not like waiting about or anything. It's like, you had a chance to get to the stream while I was getting my water, okay? You didn't make it. That's on you. Let's go. <laughs> ah, new Pokemon game. I'm so excited. Let's go. We'll do an audio test in a mo. Oh god. <laughs> Welcome to my realm located beyond time and space. Uh Normally it's just Professor Rowan that talks to you. It's like and it's just like, are you a boy or a girl? <laughs> like it is well that thou art here. I am that which humans call Arceus. Professor God! <laughs> like we're gonna, the, the music's gonna change in a moment. It's like, de -de, de -de 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 -de. <laughs> it's like, this is my grandson. He's a, the same age as you are. What was his name again? <laughs> I wish that own died appearance. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, uh, I mean, we gotta bring Dad back. Uh, th this has to be, like, The Adventures of Dad Part 2. What is thy name? Well, actually, yeah, if this is setting back in time, then surely this is Granddad? <laughs> it actually makes sense, yeah. Cause we, so we had Dad for regular Pokemon Diamond. This is his Granddad. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> oh, he looks so young. <laughs> uh, do you? Well, how do you spell granddad? Do you do it with two D's or one D? I've always done it with two. Yeah, it's so like granddad. Some people do grandpa. Uh, I I tend to do two. We're gonna we're gonna stick with two. Okay, it's granddad. He's a grand old dad. Granddad. <laughs> Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. Welcome to the twenty first century, granddad. A lot has changed since the, your youth. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Granddad. Seek out all Pokemon, and thou shalt find me once more. I'll be waiting for you at the end of your life. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> I think I've had a nightmare like this. No, my phone! <laughs> My iPhone, uh, 11! S! My Samsung Galaxy 12! What will I do? Oh, God wants our phone, apparently. It's a fucking isekai! <laughs> oh no, it's like, welcome to Sword Art Online, <laughs> Granddad. If you die in the game, you die for real. <laughs> But Granddad, I don't want to spend three years of my life here. <laughs> the RC is knocky. <laughs> uh, an isekai, for those who have been um, spared from some rather unfortunate anime series, is when you get transported basically into a game world, the anime. Uh, there's a lot of them. 
Wake up! Oh, do wake up, won't you? Oh! <laughs> Are you alive, my boy? It's like... Cyndaquil, is that you? <laughs> oh, hello. But what? The Pokémon are giant! Oh god, we're like in like our pajamas. It really is an isekai. You gave me quite the shock fall from the sky like that. Hey, what's that crack in the sky? You see that? Oh, thank goodness, you seem unharmed. <laughs> we're in California! <laughs> oh jeez, we just woke up on the beach. Okay, where am I? Why, this is Prelude Beach, of course. This is... This is Tutorial Square. This is Introduction Garden. Dear me, did the shock of your fall somehow add all your memory? I must say, your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? I don't know. He looks very sad. <laughs> I see, you seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Might I offer some directions? Do you have somewhere around here you could stay? I don't know. I don't know anything. So you don't know anyone here and you don't even know where to spend the night. This is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? I just... I don't know. Like, he just keeps saying I don't know. He's like despairing right now too. He looks really sad. I don't know anything. <laughs> Raul is just looking at us like, well... You're- that's your fucking problem, bud. <laughs> I see, well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Violet of Grease. Foom. Plish plash? Oh my, I completely forgot, I just caught up these three runaway Pokémon, and you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. How would you even know what a Pokémon is? So, yes! I know that one. I heard some Zoomers talk about it on the train. On the TikToks. My, that's a relief. Though you fell from the sky, it seems we have some common ground, eh? These three Pokemon belong to me. Mysterious creatures that they are. Oh yes, and what might your name be? Oh, so you're called Grandad. That name is quite the ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. Yeah, it means I'm old. Oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Lavington. I'm something of a Pokemon professor. <laughs> that is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yeah, such Pokemon as these three- it Oh, Blast and Botter, my darling Pokemon, why must you run from me again? <laughs> I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you could help me round them up? I beg you. Wait, you three, wait. Oh god, he's lost control of his Pokemon. We have a camera? Can I just like swim into the ocean? <laughs> it's a <like>, goodbye! <laughs> okay, audio and that, does it all sound okay? Audio wise, it's good. Do I need to turn it up a bit? You can dash. You can sneak. Maybe I can turn it up a little bit. In my ears, it's fine. There we go. How's that? We'll test it again when we get some music, okay? It's windy as fuck. <laughs> Can I just go in here? No. Okay. Oh, follow the Arceus trail. Wait, no, is that is that just my phone? There's a glow and beep object over there. Did God upgrade my phone? He found something that resembles a phone. Probably your phone, but it's changed shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. A message appeared on the screen. 
is from your friend's WhatsApp group. They just want to share a meme. That's all. I bestow upon thee this arc phone and thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. Okay. Why is God communicating to me via text message? <laughs> this could be a scam. How did you get this number? That could just be a scam. If I got a text message saying I command thee to cut, capture every animal. Like that that's not how God reached out to Noah. Oh my god, we're Noah. Alas, yet another miss. Ah, I'm glad you come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs their way. But I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. I'd love to give it a go, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first. That one is Rowlet. Oh, look at him. Rowlet could photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. Oh. He's so cute. He's just a ball. That one over there is Cyndaquil. The fire burn on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it's surprised or right. Foom. This one here is just Oshawa. He's sad because he knows you're not even considering picking him. <laughs> That's great, Oshawa. <laughs> oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing. How about how to go about catching Pokemon? <laughs> here you are, my boy. Pokeballs. Throw these at Pokemon to catch him. Oh, you just get 50. Whoa. That's a lot. It's like he just takes out a sack. Here you go. <laughs> Chuck these rocks at them. <laughs> uh, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now, I've mentioned already that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. And that's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one of them out of Pokemon and... Why the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball, comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. Now we've just met, but I'm afraid I have no one else to turn to. I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three runaways. The proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon and let the ball fly. It's quite simple. But far be it from me to say so, I suppose given my own dire lack of skill in this area. Poor La uh, Laventon. The Pokemon can be caught by throwing Pokeballs at him. Hold down the ZR button to ready a Pokeball and take aim. You can keep moving around as you do, so use the right stick to adjust your angle. Release the air to throw the Pokeball. If it hits a Pokemon, you may be able to catch it. If you're ready a Pokeball, but do not want to throw it. Press B button to cancel the throw. Okay. Oh, so we're just like free form, like aiming it. That's so cool. Okay, important decision time, right? It's not Oshawa. But I can't decide between the other two. I Cyndaquil was my first Pokemon. Rowlet, I fucking love. I love Rowlet so much. I love Rowlet so much, and he is like such a cute little burb. I feel like we've done we've had Cyndaquil recently too with Arson, so maybe maybe we should go Rowlet for something different. Should we go Rowlet for something different? It does seem- it does seem to be Burb. Okay. Alright, we're gonna catch... The original Burb. In this world. There he is, he sees us! He's waving! He's, I think he's accepted his fate. <laughs> oh, wonderful, you've caught a Pokémon! Seems to be quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business, Grandad. <laughs> that sounds so patronizing. Wow, Grandad, that's amazing. Let's get you back to bed now. Jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways left now. So it's most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. Oh, we gotta catch them all. Okay, well, Oshawa. 
We'll just leave him. Oh, that's so cool how you just throw the Pokeball and get it. I can hardly believe it, Grandad! Incredible! You know many people fear to even approach Pokemon, never mind catch them. Bravo indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap this up sharpish, shall we? Okay, we got them all. Let's head home. We'll catch the Oshawa. They'll teleport over to me. Ah, uh, yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Poke. Okay, well, no. No one wants this guy. Come on. Come on, go be free. I'll capture him and I'll chuck the Pokeball in the lake. There we go. Let him, like, just leave him where he is. Thank you very much. Indeed, oh, what a relief to have him all back. You see, the three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't yet listen to anyone. As I, and as I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost that they knew you'd, you'd come fallen. I must say, Grandad, I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. How is, that, how is it that you catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived here? One can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here and now. Oh, what's that? It's the latest iPhone! <laughs> My god, you have a text message! <laughs> Seek out all Pokemon. That object is an Arc phone, you say? What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? And look, if you open this app, uh, you can play Angry Birds. Have you heard... Uh, what's it? Candy Crush, match three. What a fascinating invention. If you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. Yes, you see, I have a dream to compile this region's first complete record of its Pokemon. We in the field call such a catalog of Pokedex. It doesn't exist yet, but that's what we call it. Proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in the region. In order to properly document Pokemon, one must, of course, catch them. Therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. The rub? Pokeballs have only just been invented, and not many have mastered the skill of using them. Enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. Situation right for teamwork, what, don't you agree? Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my boy? I should be calling you, my boy. I'm older than you. I say, well, uh... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, oh, gee, uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I shouldn't be talking to strangers. I, I don't know about this. Uh, uh, there's really something concerning on the ground. It's kind of approaching us. I don't know if you see this, Mr. Lavington. It's getting real close now. <laughs> okay, you've convinced me. Then whoever, whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We have a Pokedex to complete. First things first, to get these Pokemon back to the village. And we'll sort out your lodges, find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Follow me then onward to Jubilife Village. Oh, we've gone back in time. At least we have our smartphone. There, there is straight up like one Isekai, I believe. Like one of those animes that's called like, I'm transported to a game world but I have a phone. Like that's like the name of it, isn't there? There actually is one where that's the exact premise. Which is kind of wild. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe by good guardsmen. This young man was of great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing him into the village for a bit. Nod silently. He looks so anxious half the time. <laughs> Is Grandad doing okay? You're a security threat now. Emma, it's great to see you. How's it going? Oh, Jesus, and Eric just raided us. Thank you so much, Eric. Oh, how's it going, folks? I've literally just started playing. I'm so excited, though. It's wonderful to have you all here. I'm playing this all day. I, 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 Eric was streaming it too, wasn't he? 
we're, we're literally just starting off and I'm playing this for like the next eight hours, so you couldn't have come at a better time. It's great to have you here. Thank you so much for the raid. He just stopped after 14 hours. My god. <laughs> Go get some rest, man. Which starter did Eric pick? I'm, I'm going Raul it myself. As long as he didn't pick Oshawa. I just want to make sure. He went Cyndaquil. That's a good choice. It's a good choice. Poor Oshawa. He's the weak link this gen. This way, if you please. Jubilife Village. It's come a long way thanks to the fine people of the Galaxy Expedition Team. We can walk in like a cutscene. Oh my god, we have like player agency and control. He's blipping out a bit while he walks. Because we know so little of local Pokemon, people hesitate to set foot outside the village. Uh, impressive building up ahead is Galaxy Hall, headquarters for this entire outfit. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers, you know. You know, I, I'm kind of in the same boat as these like guys. Like, we, we shouldn't be talking. Oh, botheration, I'd almost forgotten. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escaped Pokemon. I ask for you to wait for me at the canteen. Just past this bridge here, then to the left. The Wallflower, it's called. There he goes. Oh, God's calling me. Somebody seems to show where you need to go next. Use the minus button to view the map on your arc phone. You can consult the map for guidance to your next destination and information on your missions and requests. You also see guidance markers when you're out exploring or, or running around the village. If you're not sure where to go next, stop and look in all directions. Try spot one of these markers and head to it. Okay, that's really cool. God gave you Google Maps? <laughs> oh my god, he did. God. Where is a good place to eat that's like within 15 minutes of my location? I'm quite peckish. I don't know if I want a burger, God. What other kinds of food are available? Arceus Maps is greater than Apple Maps. <laughs> Arceus Maps? <laughs> well, now, aren't you awfully suspicious? Oh, he's so sad. <laughs> My like granddad is just like, oh, gee. <laughs> the wildfires for galaxy t team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. Oh, man. Okay, we have one friend in this world. Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you are. What if you were attacked by a Pokemon? You'd be minced meat in those flimsy clothes. Oh, God. Are they still talking like they're all English from Sword and Shield? I think they might be. That explains some of the weird language. I say what, what? What the dickens are you doing here? <laughs> that explains the vocabulary. If the guard, if the guard lets you come through, you must have ties with somebody in the village. Perhaps you've met Professor Lavington. He's a scholar from a faraway place. His Pokemon do get away from him at times, though. It makes me a bit worried for him. I suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I've had some trouble with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thunder. Shock not long ago, and I had to take to my bed. But the Professor, well, I do wonder how long he'll last. Unfortunately, it's just as Akari says. I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly- Oh, wait, no, that's Lavington. Okay, everyone has the same voice. Uh, Akari is really shocked. <laughs> everyone looks sad. <laughs> Professor. Okay, we gotta start committing the voices. I, I mean, if the if Lavender had any voice, like, because he's kind of clumsy and careless. But everything will be quite all right now. Granddad here has helped, has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. Excuse me. You plan to appoint him to the Survey Corps. You can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain Silene's permission. I'll allow it. <laughs> Captain Silene! Oh god, it's like Cyrus's like, great-grandmother. Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I am the captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Silene.
Professor Lavender has told me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped on, when they slipped his control. And now it seems like you would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. You look to be 15 or so. Uh, give or take a few years. Yeah, no, uh, that's close enough. I'm called fucking Granddad. Quite old enough to work for your keep. You see, we work back in the olden days where childs didn't have rights yet. We simply can't take out a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their skill or origins. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh, most reasonable decision, chap, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite all right. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. She's so cold. I think. <laughs> Guys, calm down, please. <laughs> Funny, sussy baka. Aloof as, as aloof as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation then, eh? Buddy, old chub, the usual potato mochi, if you please, but make it for three today. <laughs> this is a sentence that has never been uttered. <laughs> it really is like Japan, but we're like English accents. Like, I love it. Wonderful stuff, buddy. Much obliged. Your potato mochi never failed to please. There's a typo there. <laughs> never fails. Professor Lavington, where exactly did you meet our visitor here? Ah, well, you know of the great hole in the sky, the one people call the Space Time Rift. Our new friend fell right out of it. We all seem very casual about this situation with an open Space Time Rift. There's a portal to another dimension just hanging out about in the sky, isn't that wild? You can't be serious. Come now, I am a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself only with facts. Now, you already know there are many Pokemon here in the Hisui region. That there are, in the grass, in forests, but in wa by water, wherever they like. Our job as the survey corps is to research them and find out what, out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrified. That concludes today's research. It's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess or what sorts of wondrous things they could do. Hey, what's that you've got in your phone? Is that Cerebi.net? What's that? Is that gonna help us understand Pokemon? But that's where Granddad will come in. He successfully caught three Pokemon. Three of them in quick order, you understand. Nobody in the galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. This means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. Three! We have had enough time catching even one when wild Pokemon come after us. Ah, well, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach were on the attack. The key to catch a Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well. It seems that you, Fred, is fearless enough to do just that. Does the Survey Corps really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? The captain just ordered ten whole portions of potato mochi, you know. The slow progress on that Pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge. I'm sure we'll start to raid in the good captain stress eating soon enough. Oh no, <laughs> that's not healthy. Uh, now have your fill, Granddad. I think if you ever make it to the galaxy team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides for all its members' needs, even if said members fell out of the sky. Like, that's right, Granddad. Even back in the olden days, we had stress and anxieties too. We just didn't talk about them as much. So with the true spirit, we're gonna overlook that stress eating. <laughs> that was delicious, quite delicious indeed. Yes, the food was lovely, but more importantly, do you remember that Grandad has a trial to pass this join a trial to pass to join the survey corps, don't you? Not to worry, I have complete confidence in Grandad's skills. You're doing great, Grandad. Oh. Let's hope it is not misplaced. Granddad, was it? For tonight, at least, we will provide you with a place to sleep. We we'll use our quarters there. Do 
If you fail to pass the trial, we put you up, put you tomorrow. You must move on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, just go out into the wilderness if you fail. You'll be expelled from the village to meet your fate. And perhaps your death in the wilds. Jesus Christ, Silene. I'm only 15. He's a child. <laughs> yeah, he looks understandably concerned. Like, oh no. <laughs> I'm facing execution. Uh, uh, Captain Silene's somewhat like Hisui in that they're both quite harsh. Now, now, she simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turn in for the night, eh? Uh, it's a good thing one can't fall out of the futons we sleep in here. I imagine our new friend has enough, had enough falling for one day. But with that, I bid you both a good night. Oh, God. Yes, good night. I'm just making sure everything's okay in chat. Yeah, we got a few bots. Uh, can one of the mods just pop it in, like, follower mode or something? Might just be easiest. Cheers, lads. Just making sure we're all good. Yeah, thanks there, Amber. Yeah, just as a little precaution. We're all good. Thanks there, guys. A rift in the sky. People falling from it. The world is full of mysteries. Well, I mean, we're gonna have to go there. In an unfamiliar land, head to the Survey Corps quarters you've been assigned. I mean, I need to at least get a Pokemon, I think, before I go anywhere. Playtime. Current location. God, it's only quarter past 11. My god. There's not too many options right now. I can just save my progress. Okay. Uh, let's stop off at our quarters. I, I think we have to do like a little bit of a tutorial before we get like loose in the world. It's actually quite reasonable quarters. This is like a very comfy living space. A nice fire in the sunken heart can help keep the entire room heated. It's a jug used to store drinking water. It has a lid on top to keep the breathing ball in it. this. Check in survey tips. Survey tips contain all sorts of useful information to help you carry out your survey work. Read them, them anytime. Simply press the up button to open the menu and go to the help screen. Okay, so handy tips for team members. Don't wish your toils to be forgotten. The diligent record keeping will save you from such a fate. Okay, yeah. So it's telling you to save it. We have autosave on. I'm happy with autosave on for the time being, honestly. This chest looks like you could store lots and lots of items in it. Okay. It's a dresser of very solid construction where extra sets of clothing can be kept. Okay, so costumes we put there. Our five principles. Behave with courtesy to others. Superiors are owed your respect. Likes and dislikes are a luxury. Ill afford it. That goes out to all the YouTube crowd. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash that like. Those who are weaker must be helped. Difficulties must be faced head on. It's a full length mirror. Can't change my outfit just yet. There's some lovely stones that someone must have found, but they're just plain old stones. Granddad, you can't just shit in the culture here. There might be some significance. It's a paper lantern. It seems to use oil as fuel. Rest until tomorrow morning. Is the game worth getting? Watch a while and decide for yourself. I've only just started playing. Oh, the space-time continuum's in trouble. God! God, no, you gotta get away from it! Oh, no. <laughs> he might be in trouble. The next day... Good morning, Grandad. Are you up? Quite some lightning last night, wasn't it? Today's the day of your trial. So, uh, 
Let's give it our all. Come join us for some tea and scones and crumpets. This morning, Grandad. Am I not gonna get changed? I'm just gonna wear my t-shirt. And like my cargo shorts. What lovely weather we've got. Hope you had a nice sleep, even if this land is strange and new to you. Let's get to headquarters. Captain Silene is waiting. I just don't get the change. I'm just like in my shorts. I feel like I'm in my pajamas. I wonder what a Starly would like. You can throw spoiled apricorns at wall Pokemon to make them drop their defenses. And they'll be easier to catch. Oh god, this is going to be like completely new mechanics, ain't there? It's Troy. Oh, I'm so excited to like just explore it. Like I've, I've not been spoiled on anything really for this game. This is to give like a heads up. Like I'm going in very blind. I don't even know all the Pokemon that are available yet. I do want to keep it that way. I'm just like really excited. Okay, welcome to the big fancy English house, maybe. <laughs> it looks quite a bit more formal than everything else. The Survey Corps offices are here on the first floor. Don't give up, keep those eyes open. The wild Pokemon, they, they were everywhere, attacking from all sides. I set up my partner Pokemon, but it gets the whole pack outnumbered. This is what happens when you go so far afield. The medical corps will put you to rights. A man has died. A man's with the security corpse, and even with his own partner, he took a beating from wild Pokemon. If you a partner Pokemon of your own, you might find this trial particularly trying. Captain S Captain Silene! Grandad is here! You may enter. Oh, God. <laughs> One of us forgot the dress this morning. Let us get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition Team, prove yourself capable by going out in the Obsidian Fieldlands and catching three different species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Okay, that's a low bar. I can do that one, no problem. <laughs> catching three Pokemon from the start. No one in the Galaxy Team has ever managed that. Did this stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for him. The professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. We're gonna start the game with a Bidoof. That's so God is with us from the offset. The Galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. I will lend you one of our Survey Corp satchels to carry whatever you may need in the field. We got... We got a little bag. That, that satchel doesn't exactly match your, your uh, mode of dress. Okay, you leave my fanny pack alone, okay? I carry. I'll expect you to step in if anything goes uh, goes awry. Galaxy Team's Entry Trial. Press the Y button while consulting the map in your arc phone. You can check the tasks you, you have waiting. There are two types, missions and requests. Missions must be complete to progress in your adventure. All requests are optional and given by people you meet. Pardon, Grandad. Come with me a moment. Mitch, thank you for the thousand bits. Good morning from Portland, Oregon. It's currently 3 a.m. I have work in six hours and I don't care. <laughs> Looking forward to watching you play. Oh, good to have you here, man. Thank you very much. Thank you to everyone that is subbing, too. Yeah, there has been a lot of them. I'm, uh, thank you to everyone coming out. I know I've started ridic my stream ridiculously early. It's great to have you here. Now, a jolly good morning to everyone. Is something the matter, Professor Laventon? In order to complete our Pokedex and, well, simply survive in this unforgiven land, Grandad must absolutely must pass this trial. <laughs> all our hopes lie with Grandad now. Oh, God knows all of us Zoomers have tried. Only his elderly experience can save us now, lest the Pokemon will eat us in our sleep. As a professor of Pokemon, I've got just the ticket to help accomplish that. 
it's time. Plish plash. Go on, Grandad, pick the Pokemon that strikes your fancy. With a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight off wild Pokemon outside the village. These three, these little downs are very dear to me, but it's plain to see they're rather curious about you. Well, my boy, which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own? Sammy, thank you for a thousand bits as well. How dare you abuse the best starter like that. Look, I'm sorry, Ashwati, he's the weak link. Okay. So we were leaning, we're leaning Rowlet then, aren't we? I think it's gonna be Rowlet. He looks so dapper. Look at him, he, he has his bow tie and everything. We're gonna take the original burp. You want Rowlet as your first partner? Yes, I do. Oh, look at him. He's so round. Oshawott looks sad again. Cyndaquil is quite chill. It's like, yeah, no problem, man. We've, you know, I'll see you next game. I know, I know I'm a favorite. Oshawott is very upset. And with that, one of the Pokemon you caught a Prelude Beach for me would now be yours to keep. Good show. I've tucked Rowlet back inside its Pokemon for you, so take it. It's yours. You received Rowlet. Word of advice, my boy. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokeball when you're out in the field. Can I not nickname them? They look as if they're cheering on the friend Rowlet. Or, or perhaps they're jealous that it gets to help you with your trial. That could well be. They didn't go dashing from the village when Granite fell out of the sky. After all. Well, not to worry, you two. I'll have you assist with me with my research for now. Foom. Plish plash. By the way, what species does Captain Silene charge you with catching? A Bidoof? Oh, no! Okay, Obsidian Field Lance. It's gonna give me more Pokeballs. Here's another 20. These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work a treat as we've already seen. We'll have this trial cleared in no time. I guess you're finally ready. You'll have to leave the village for your trial. Turn left after you exit headquarters, then head for the gate. Oh wait, no, we only, so we only have 20 Pokeballs now. Okay, so it's reset. God, I want to change my character's appearance. I really look like I'm like a tourist who's like on holiday. Um, excuse me? Excuse me, do you know where I could find the museum? Do you know where the Gare de Leon is? I'm just trying- I'm, tr I'm, tr I'm looking for the Eiffel Tower. Have you seen it? Excuse me. Up on the third floor is the office of the Galaxy Team's commander, Kamado. You're not going up there until we know a little more about you, mystery kid. <laughs> okay, here's Lavington. It's trial cleared in no time. Oh, look at Cyndaquil. Oh, he's so cute. Oshawa, Oshawa's just been contained. No one cares about him. <laughs> okay, I mean, I gotta explore a little bit. That's so cool just having like an actual interior that you can just walk around. Clothes look weird. I imagine rooms in this place are going to open as the game progresses. Here's like a workshop. We're in the middle of nowhere. We have to make what we need ourselves. Uh, can we not get started Pokemon in the wild? I don't know. I have no. I don't know how this game works. I don't wish to know. Don't tell me anything. We're gonna find out. I have no idea what this game's like Pokedex even is, apart from like some of the teaser trailers that they put out. And I wanna keep it that way. Up in the third floor is the office. Oh, okay, I'm not allowed up there, right. 
Okay, let's go. Uh, okay, do I... Do I just run out into the field? I think... This is the region. That's just where we have to go. Oh, God. So this is Mount Coronet in, like, the olden days. You can still kind of see the lakes. There's cloud cover. There might be bits out in the ocean. Oh, God. Okay, well, let's go get, start the mission, sure. Like, let's start catching some Pokemon. I have 20 balls. This region is, region is huge. There's a few services here, it seems. It's like a little ranch. I wonder if there's anyone capable of catching up Pokemon to fill all the pastures here. Oh, is this like Pokemon storage, but back in the day, so you just gotta keep them in a pen? <laughs> it might be. Is someone selling art? Pokemon terrify you even going out to gather berries is the worst. Okay, there is just item storage. Uh, you can just organize the satchel. I hope there's not like a carry weight or anything. We'll see. I don't know how it's gonna work. Oh, what a curious getup you have there. I can already tell you're quite the character. I'm Volo of the Ginkgo Guild. The go-to choice for any of your mercantile needs here in Hisui. Heard about you. Fell from the sky, didn't you? That's certainly a tell I'd like to hear. Oh, and you have a Pokemon. He's certainly full of interest and surprises. Investigating the odd and novel is key to any good merchant's success. So what do you say? How, do, how about you and I see how our Pokemon stand up to one another in battle? Oh god, we're gonna have our first battle. Against, like, Cynthia's granddad. Let's go. I like you better and better. What a delightful find. I've also heard about this trial you're to attempt. So a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head on. I hope you know you'll lose it. Your Pokemon HP reaches zero. Granddad on Granddad. The old member Volo challenged you to a battle. I got a Togepi. Come on, Rowlet. I want to give it a nickname. Okay, uh... It's walking at us. Get him with a gust. We're level 5, but we have way more health than we should for level 5. The stats must be different in this game. Look at that. We have 88 health. Items. There's an item screen. Pokemon screen is here. You can carry up the 6 again, from what I can see. Check it. Let's check its summary. Belongs to Grandad. Attack up and speed down. I mean, attack up is still very good. He's pretty brave by nature. It's not terrible. Get him, Rowlet. He's a brave burb. <laughs> Battle decided. Moves, items, use them well, and the world will open up to you. We leveled up. And we got a new move. It doesn't even tell us what it is. It's always good fun to have your Pokemon do battle, don't you think? And they gain experience through battle. They'll learn... As they gain experience through battle, they'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. Pokemon sometimes learn new moves when they level up. If you want to change the moves your Pokemon can use in battle, open your satchel, choose the Pokemon you want, and select change the moves option. Oh shit, can you just change them whenever you want? That's actually really cool. But so few Pokemon here have... So few people here have their own Pokemon. Only more knew how to use Pokeballs. Anyway, let, uh, let me help our two battlers recover from our, their little exercise. And to you, my Skyfallen friend, I present some potions and tanks. You obtained five. Topical medicine meant to be applied to a Pokemon. It restores 60. Okay, so the health values are all different. 
Stats must be adjusted for this game. You can use one on your Pokemon whenever they might be worn out from battle. I'll, I'll be hoping that you're successful in that trial of yours. More guys, team members mean more customers for yours truly, after all. How you doing, Akari? That's really something. Not only can you catch Pokemon, you can lead them in battle. Now, to the Obsidian Fieldlands. We'll take the tube and make our way there promptly. When you're leaving Jubilife Village, make sure you choose a destination from your map and tell Rest the Guardsman when you're, where you're going. That way someone can come to your aid if you're knocked out by a Pokemon. Trial be your trial begins just a short way past that front gate. Bolo could also be Fol uh, Volkner's granddad. True, maybe they're related. Maybe they're like cousins or something. Okay, uh, the team and items are one menu. Interesting. Change name is here. Oh, what are we going to nickname Raul Hit? We got to give it a name. Uh, can I tell you what my uh, previous Rowlet's nickname was that I loved? I called him Doctor Who, but Who as in H double O. <laughs> Um, I know some, I know most people want, like, some version of, like, Burb. <laughs> but I, I'm, I, I was just thinking about it just because we actually have traveled back in time, haven't we? It might be appropriate. We could do it. Doctor Who. I think I, I, I think I spelled it out. Yeah, I think I had it like this. Which do we prefer for the version? Doctor or like the shorthand? The shorthand? Okay, a lot of people saying the shorthand, right? Okay, Doctor Who is making his grand return. I've not used him in a very long while. He's, it's the 14th Doctor. <laughs> he does seem more professional, doesn't he? <laughs> uh, so Doctor Who and Grandad are going on an adventure. I can't wait. He even has a bow tie. It's very cool. Okay, let's go. Your granddad, correct? I was informed you'd be passing through. The trial will take place outside the safety of the village. Please take care to come back alive. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, don't die while you're out there. Okay, here's the field lines then. So it's kind of like a zone, and then we just explore it. So I pick a zone to go to. Alright, let's hop out. He's Mr. Who, he doesn't have his doctorate yet. <laughs> no, I think he's qualified. He traveled back in time with us. This is our base camp, the last safe haven before you reach the wilds. For your trial, you must catch three species of Pokemon. Okay, I mean, they're not too hard, though. Starly's a cool one to catch right off the bat. Oh, Professor, is something wrong? Ah, uh, well, you see, Captain Sile got a hold of me after you left. She pressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our sudden guest. That's our unsparing captain. What help exactly can you offer out here, Professor? To be honest, my dear girl, I don't intend to lift a finger. Granddad's talents are the real deal. I'm just gonna sit back now and let him do all the work. We'll pass with flying colors, you'll see. Ah, so the responsibility for him still lies, in fact, with me, then. Well, I'm sure Granddad will be fine. Let's begin the trial. Okay, need to switch up. Need to switch up your Pokemon or buy items. Yeah, it's like are on your entry trial. Are you stay alive and good luck passing too? 
Pokemon start launching the taxi run run safely run to safety as quickly as you can just run in the opposite direction oh God we got lens flare this is this is aspiration hill the species of Pokemon you're meant to catch all live here City and field lands. And along comes the Bidoof. Look, the first one's already here. He knows. We're reunited with God. The key is to aim carefully. Not that you seem to need my advice. I'm just sharing what I know. Hold down the ZL button to focus on a wild Pokemon and keep it in your sights as long as it's ready. Oh, yeah, so we have like a target lock on system. God. Badoof has a mellow disposition. It means it tends not to run from people, so this will be easy. God knows he wants to join in the adventure. <laughs> he didn't even try move. <laughs> he took that in the face. Oh, Brian, thank you for the raid as well. Jesus Christ. How's it going, folks? I hope you're all keeping well. Uh, we're playing Pokemon Legends Arceus all day today. You're all so welcome to the stream. I just got it. I'm really excited. I just caught God. Thank you very much, man. I hope you keep doing well. God allowed it to happen. <laughs> Oh, I got a spoiled apricorn from that? Now here's our team. We have Doctor Who. Oh my god, you can just send them out. And there's there's God. You can send them out together? That's, that's so cool. Let's speak to God. Yeah, so this is Doctor Who. And then we're gonna just rename this, this boyo now. He, he was the first Bidoof, so he gets to be called God. Let's check his summary. Yeah, the stats are real different for this one. Like, 32 attack? God's pretty, pretty quirky. Okay, and I can, I can just send them back, too. Okay, so you just activate the ball and then they teleport back to you. That's so cool. You can just send out Pokemon. There's a Star Elite that just disappeared. I saw it briefly. There's a Star Elite. They're skittish little things. They'll run if startled. If they're star lethaled. Sorry. But you should be able to get close to them if you crouch. You'll be harder to spot. Press B button to crouch and make it harder for wild Pokemon to nose you. Press the same button again to rise. Keeping the tall grass while crouch low will be even harder for wild Pokemon to detect. Okay. <laughs> you can go in like first person camera. I mean, that's great for taking pictures. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We got him. We don't need to get close to him. Just chuck that across the way. Yeah, like, we're, we're doing pretty well. We've already got, like, two of them. Okay, Cats of Shinx, the third species that you need. There's a tree here. I forgot there's something I ought to teach you since you're still new to this. It's the proper way to throw your partner's Pokeball. As Captain Silene tells us, have an item at the ready but not but want to send out a Pokemon, press X. If Pokemon at the ready want to try out an item, press X. Captain's a real expert on these things. Okay, try throwing your Pokemon's ball at rocks or trees like this one to have it investigate. If Pokemon finds any berries or other items, it'll bring them to you. 
Okay, so I can just... Alright, so if I want to get something from this tree, I just chuck Doctor Who at it, and he attacks it. What if I chuck him at a rock? No, Doctor Who is like, buddy, what you doing there? Are you sure you know where you're going? I just I just want to see what's in the tree. <laughs> Please, Grandad, we must catch the Shinx. He looks so judging when he comes out. He just stares at you. I love him. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> oh, we made the best choice for starter. There, that's Shinx! Jinx has an aggressive disposition. Could you already tell that? Not at all. I really couldn't, honestly. <laughs> Not to worry. These things become clear once you focus on the Pokemon around you. Once aggressive Pokemon get irate, they'll knock aside any ball you throw at them. Take cues by focusing. When you see the ZL button to focus on a Pokemon, you can see how easy it may be to catch. The more hours you see pointing up above a Pokemon, the easier it will be to catch. An X icon will appear above a Pokemon if it's picked a fight with you. Be warned, Pokemon displaying this icon cannot be caught unless you engage them in battle. Okay, oh, so we gotta battle them. Yeah. Once you absorb a battle and you control a Pokemon, I'm to try to catch them. You've got several Pokemon now. Take one of the Pokeballs and throw it near a wild Pokemon you wanna battle. Okay. It's easy to start a battle against a wild Pokemon, simply throw a Pokeball. Uh, and then, yeah, you just ready it. Cool. I mean, God has to be in the first battle. Come on, God! Look at him go, he's just standing there. God, it's like a freeform camera when you're in battle. You can just like... Hey, how's it go? Yeah, you use roll out. God is fixated on using rollout. Oh no, God, you're gonna kill him. Just one more rollout. Don't make it too powerful. Okay, Shinx is using quick attack. Items, use a Pokeball. Okay, and if you throw a Pokeball in battle, then it's just like a regular, uh, like regularly catching them. In the main games. That's cool. So there's two ways to get him. <laughs> what was that shocked expression? <laughs> Carrie's about to take a bite out of like a big sandwich or something. Ah, oh, Jesus, the subway is too big. <laughs> you approach those Pokemon without a hint of fear and caught each one. You're like a gift the sky dropped to us. She was your side. I think the Survey Corps has a real chance of compiling a complete Pokedex, as we've been ordered. This is wonderful! Still curious why on earth you came fallen from the sky like you did. For now, let's tell the Professor we're ready to head back. So what's the end game then? Are we gonna have to- is it like- Are we just gonna have to leave this world and like return to our own time? It's gonna be sad if that's the case. Like our smartphone just rings and it's like, it is time to leave. Your Uber is here, and we just get, like, whisked back up. <laughs> I said you passed the trial with flying colors. It seems you went and did just that. Congrats, Granddad. You've taken your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a commemorative photograph. Oh, okay, so, no, we... Technology seems a bit mixed in this world. We have cameras. Skills like yours, I suppose this was a foregone conclusion. Now, do we best report to Captain Sai Lead? Time to head back to Jubilife Village, eh? Yeah, it's like the 19th century? Late 1800s? It's not too far back in the past, though. I thought from the trailers and that it's supposed to be like an ancient version of the region. And not just like 150 years ago, you know? That is ancient, Dan. 
Look, just because my name's Grandad, right? Can't say that to me. Time you'll be able to send Pokemon you've caught to live in the village pastures. And bring up the six Pokemon with you into the field, in theory. I've never had anyone skilled enough to do so. Come now, you two. Let's not dilly-dally. Captain Silita awaits our report at headquarters. Okay. I think we're gonna get the head out into the world soon. Uh, I think we've done the tutorial. Doctor Who is with us. God is with us. I love that, like, just recycling the team. It's just, like, chuck them. Like, here, let's get, like, a group photo of the, of the gang. Look at them all. Like, they're just, they're just hanging out. I love that you can just do that. And have no, we'll leave them outside as we head on in. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Coming with me. It seems we won't have to leave you to die after all. <laughs> Congratulations. You get to live now. You can keep your fanny pack. I must admit you've impressed me. Set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it. This is yours, the official uniform of the Survey Corps. Survey Corps uniform and a pair of sur Survey Corps sandals? The change in the room you used last night. You need to report at once to the third floor. Present yourself in uniform to our commander. This is your first official order from your captain. Yep, so just go back and use the mirror. Uh, where are my quarters? They were... Was it this one? What's this? Investigate. Canala Bridge. Uh, which house was my quarters? No, this is this is someone else's home. Looking to the team, my grandma uh, Tao Hua is in charge of the supply corps. Perhaps you'll work together at some point. It has a marker on it. Oh, it does. Okay. Yeah, okay, I'll, so my house is over here, right. This is like the little hub for everything. It's good that they give you a bit more of a distinct house, yeah, so it's on the corner, so it stands out a bit. It'd be nice if like the roof color was different or something. Change your outfit. Uh, Survey Corps uniform. I could put on some contacts. Ultramarine, yellow, green, poppy, red. That seems kind of menacing. <laughs> okay, we gotta go with the red eyes. Survey Corps sandals. Those look so comfy. They're like slippers, if anything. Evil granddad. <laughs> I have no soul. <laughs> At least our eyes match our scarf. Jim's scary's ancestor. They're fucking Shrek sandals. No, please don't say that. I'm not going to be able to unsee it. <sighs> the, like, rope lace looks a bit like the ears. They're Shrandals. <laughs> Shrekdals. <laughs> fucking Shrandals. <laughs> Uh. It's almost as if the captain had a tailor just for you. I see you've changed. Regarding your accommodations, you may continue to use the room you slept in last night. You may wear this as well. 
Oh, we got a hat. We're all dressed up. Now present yourself to the commander. Oh, yeah, the commander's not you, is it? It's cool that we have the little scarf now. Okay. Uh, Commander Kamado. This is the second floor. I don't think I've been on the second floor, have I? Eevee exists in this game? That's cool. Maybe we ought to build some spare lodges in case anyone else falls out of the sky. Maybe. Pokemon are full of mysteries. I hope you can help us solve them. Get Pokemon to help with our manual work? No way, that's crazy talk. Brave new land we're living in, which means there's a whole lot to do. I'm just exploring a little bit just to see what, what there is. Just go down the end of the hall. If Eevee exists in this is pretty cool. That means probably all the Eeveelutions exist too. Sylveon, I hope, is included there. Always feels a bit weird when Sylveon isn't. Okay, so the top floor is just yeah, pretty grand. Oh, this is Professor Rowan's ancestor! Or just a young Professor Rowan. Could still be the same man. I have been waiting for you. I am Kamado, commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. So you are Grandad. Uh... <laughs> Always so sad. A simple yes or no will do. I've been briefed in your situation, include how you fell from a the rift in the sky. Now then, let's see what you're made of. Face me in combat. Try to throw him! Come on, Granddad. I mean, that, that didn't go well. You've got some fight in you. Your sumo needs work. I do see some potential. He just actually hurt us. Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, so will be slow the trusted outsider who literally fell right out of the blue. Superstitious among us might see your arrival as a portion of disaster. You passed the trial that was put to you. No matter how odd you may seem, you're part of Jubilife Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team, and complete the Pokedex. If you're new to my stream, chat is just working something out of its system right now. Come back in five minutes, and hopefully they'll be okay. Rogus! Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about us as you work. Okay, we're all good to go. Why is Abra in a lower FPS than everything else in the room? What's going on? <laughs> so the commander has so the commander has also accepted you. But understand this: you begin as a no-star recruit among our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. Form well as a member of the Survey Corps, and you will move up through the ranks. Indeed, you see, the more you add to the Pokedex, the higher your rank will become. Working on the Pokedex will also, of course, bring you closer toward that goal of yours. Seek out every last Pokemon. Here, you will need this. A recipe for crafting Pokeballs. Oh shit, we gotta make them. One Apricorn and one Tumblestone. And $3,000 as well. You'll have to buy the material. Here's my credit card. <laughs> Carrie, you are an expert at crafting yourself. Teach our new recruit what he needs to know. Of course, Captain Siley. Because we have the phone, do you think they just like add it to a, like our Revolut account or some shit like that? <laughs> Let me PayPal this to you real quick. As the experienced craftsperson here, let me explain a bit, to, a bit to start with. Crafting means making items with your own two hands. You can buy some items at the general store, but self-sufficiency is worth striving for. You can even make our most valuable tools, Pokeballs. 
Think where we'd be if we couldn't do that. Let's head to the craft works. Basics of craft. Okay. So we gotta do a few more tutorial bits and bobs. Well done earning a place on our team. My name is Ant. Ant? Is that how you pronounce it? I'm not gonna be able to do that TH, so I think it is Ant. I'm the local cloth here. Professor Asa, I ready you a change of clothes, so here you go. I hope they do fit. You received an everyday kimono and a pair of everyday trousers. Hope you'll avail yourself of the village's humble shops. Cool. This way to the craft works, Grandad. Okay, so Choi. Oh, so this is just the shop guy. A cake clear base. A type of field provision that enhances the flavor of other foods mixed with. Revives are for sale. There's Pokeballs. I mean, we're gonna learn to craft the Pokeballs, so I, I think I think we just wait a sec for that. Hairstyling. Oh, this is important. I'm probably still gonna be wearing the hat. Uh, but we can see what styles we can get. Those are the only styles? Those are the only colors, too. What is that even changing? Messy ponytail. Shorn. Curled. Braids. I mean, he kind of looks cool with the ponytail. Uh, but we're going to be wearing the hat anyway. Maybe, I, I assume we're going to unlock more hairstyles as we go. Oh, that was eyebrow color, was it? It was. Okay. White. Make it white for granddad. Oh, God. That's too bright, though. Start to slay. Uh, we can go gold, maybe. We're still gonna have just the hat. Gold hair? Like, that's an odd color. Chestnut's kinda nice. Gotta change it from slate. You know, we'll just go chestnut, yeah. Chestnut gang. That actually looks kinda nice. It, it kinda complements it well. It's still got, like, a warm red to it. And then hair-wise, like, yeah, I mean, I, I think I think we'll just keep it short for now. I'm going to see if I unlock more. I'm going to be wearing a hat. Anime. My name is Grandad-san. It makes you look less evil. <laughs> Alright, here. Okay, go on. We'll try it. Long-haired lad. Simply look wonderful. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll keep the hat. There we go. We just got, like, kind of long hair at the front. <laughs> That's all it's done. The ponytail is gone. It kind of looks like we've got, like, some cracking mutton chops or something. With the way the hair comes down. Okay. 
You can use the workbench here at the Craftworks anytime you need to make an item in the village. Okay. This is this is your crafting table. It looks like a picnic set. I'll supply what you need to make your first Pokeballs once you're ready to begin. Spend the money you got from the captain on clothes or whatever you think is best. Okay. So I can make Pokeballs. Uh, I have 20 of each of these, so sure fuck it, let's just make 20. You also made a Premier Ball as an added bonus. If I buy 10 Pokeballs, will it give me a Premier Ball? I actually don't know. It might be different in this game. Can't believe it was your first time stepping up to the workbench, my boy. You recall, of course, that Pokeball possessed the odd power to shriek themselves down. The Pokeballs we craft, we can make use of the power, that power to catch them. Also, the more Pokeball species can be, also that more Pokeball species can be duly recorded in a Pokedex. And on that note, here you are. You received a Pokedex. It's just a notebook. <laughs> yeah, we gotta just write it all down uh, for for this generation. Okay. Times you've seen it. Research, wait, wait. Research task. Number caught, times you've seen it use leafage, roost, aerial ace, strong style, agile style. Number you've evolved. So you gotta document them doing different things. Using different moves. Togepi's times you've given it food. Investigate the Badoof that bothered the village. Or the Badoof that bothered the village. Number of different forms you've obtained. One. Okay. Habitat unknown. Yeah, so I I, I think the star... I don't think we're going to find the starters anywhere. Togepi is not found here. Badoof. These ones are found here. This is Obsidian Fieldlands. It's not found here. Oh, fa that's because favorite condition is night. You see that? Night is highlighted. I think. I think that's what it means. Okay. I read his volume just for you. Hope it aids you in your... Aze you well, and you're able to seek out the Pokemon there are in this grand region. Oh, I think it means it won't, you won't see them at night. Oh, because it's like grayed out. Okay, that makes a bit more sense, yeah. Do we have to complete research tasks to help fill the Pokedex? Carrie's gonna be doing the same. I'll be all too happy to explain more about the research tasks I could use your assistance with. Don't show me at the field lads whenever you're ready, my good granddad. Thank you, sonny boy. I help my grandchild. Hey, excuse me, I couldn't help it over here. Going to the Fuelance camp, would you mind taking care of a request for me? Oh, regard. I'm standing guard, so I can't leave my post, but I'm here at headquarters if you want to talk about it. People who have something to ask you have a request icon displayed above them. If you fulfill the request, you may receive a nice reward. We have quests in the game! Fetch me seven boar asses. Well, I guess Bidoof asses in this game. This Pokemon called Wurmple, have you heard of it? You see, I was having a chat with Professor Lavender and he told me that after a Pokemon gains a certain amount of experience through battle and the like, it will sometimes change its appearance and become stronger. There was a phenomenon called evolution. Okay. And so I decided I want to raise a Wurmple myself and have it evolve. Power Survey Corpse, aren't you? If you catch a Wurmple, could you let me have it? Okay, he wants a Wurmple. Uh, cool. Can I check the map to see what requests there are? Yes, I can. Wonderful. We're gonna take every single one of them. Uh, find out about Starly. Um... Uh, I have Starly's entry in the Pokedex, don't you? Don't I? Oh, does it need to be completed, though? I need to catch one without being spotted? 
Wait, no, I need to catch 20. Is that right? Do I need to do everything? You need to get 10 points on his card. Oh, okay, right. So currently I have three points. You get 10 points on a card and then it's documented. Is that right? Okay, so I gotta either catch a few or just like kind of evolve one or something like that. Defeat a few in combat. Go in battle. Okay, that's very different how that works. Yeah. You need to submit your research. So, do I have to like hand in my report and then get like evaluator or something? Science needs murder. Okay, I'm just getting the quest over here. A big weasel. Pokemon the same species really come in different sizes. The professor said they do, but I have to have a hard time see believing it unless I see different size ones lined up side by side. Okay, he wants a bigger weasel. <laughs> Go out and find one. Okay. Uh, there's a farm over here. I have crops grown in the fields. Also, I realize, I keep forgetting, I'm not actually running. This is running. Is there any stamina or anything I need to worry about? No, he, he just stops after a while. Okay. Expanding the fields. It's tough picking berries out in the wild, so I'm hoping we can grow them here instead. Here in the village fields, you can have crops growing for you in exchange for a fee. Um... Give me an apricorn harvest. Okay, so I, I just come back later and he'll have something for me. Cool. Uh, let's keep exploring. Oh, they're battling over here. Throwing Pokeballs is all well and good. Just don't throw away your life, kid. Oh no. <laughs> like, listen. Listen, we know you love Pokemon, but you gotta get a real job someday, Sonny. <laughs> you can't become a Pokemon trainer. Unless you stream it for a living. <laughs> I'm a professional Pokemon trainer now. <laughs> can't go in there. You can just go down the hills and shit like that. That's actually kind of cool. Is there anything over here? Can't go through the water. Uh, Main Street. He sells materials. Springy Mushroom. It's beloved by the more monstrous Pokemon as well as Dragon Pokemon. Crafting recipes? Remedy. A honey cake. Ox powder. Ox guard. Okay, I mean, I assume I'm gonna want to get most of those as time goes on. I'm gonna keep my money just for now. But then we'll get some more. I, I want to go inside these interiors just to see if there's any side quests real quick. And then we'll head out into the village. Because like once we head out, like we're just using every single Pokeball we have. To like clear out the area. Alola. I thought his name was Kefka for a moment and he kind of scared me. It's like, oh no. <laughs> RT is clearly an ex MMO player. I like I am, that's the thing. World of Warcraft has trained me to check these interiors and just make sure that I pick up everything. 
I'm a, like, I go on one trip and I do everything. Gallus' team is made up of several corps. Security, construction, and agriculture corps. They don't have anything there at the moment. Um, there's a lot of just homes to check. I got I gotta walk in just to all of these real quick, don't I? There's so many homes. Is there gonna be anything of knowing these? I don't I I don't know. Your map shows side quests. It does, but does it show for interiors? Does it tell us that there's a quest specifically in a house? It does tell us if it's in a house. Okay. It marks the house. Okay. We won't we won't check every we, that, that that's good then because we don't have to check every interior kind of painstakingly. I was worried that like after every time I come back from the field, it's like let's check the village, see what's happening. Okay, there's a new request over there. Let's hop on over. Okay, what, what new clothes do you have as well? A special parcel has arrived with your name on it. A modern jacket, modern trousers, and modern shoes? What a precious gift. She has another one. I just I just want to buy some clothes. A shame and fancy kimono and shame and fancy bottoms. Oh, is this because I own like other Pokemon games? Yeah, Pikachu and Eevee. Oh god, and you can buy new outfits too. I like the crimson hat a lot more. I love how like we start off with like a farmer hat. Oh, these are cool. You get headbands. Everyday kimono. I love, like, the crimson look on those. Just the red. Can it just be, like, karate outfit? I'm ready to take on the world. Not a fan of the, the, the alternate sandals. You can get glasses. The glasses are kind of cool. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm not going to buy any clothes just yet. Uh, I'm going to try to get some money first. Because we might also unlock more. Oh, you get the festival masks. I do like the hat, though. Modern jacket, oh no! <laughs> Fucking evil team uh, leader here. Just Cyrus is close. Shaman one's a bit fancy. Okay, we'll just keep the we'll just keep the the corpse uniform for now. Yeah, keep keep the keep the corpse uniform. We'll get we'll get some more clothes. I want to get some of the crimson clothes. I I like the vivid red. Wait, those ears. Now Shinx's ears have odd markings on the insides, but what were they? He needs to see a Shinx. 
I have a Shinx. That's it, its ears have yellow cross pattern on them, kind of like a star. Can't tell you what a relief this is, felt like I had a bone stuck in my throat, only the throat's my brain and the bone's the thought. Thanks for helping me get that bone out! <laughs> no problem. Okay. Field lens can. That's a, that's a cool loading animation. That's actually cool. It, my god, like... It feels like there's effort in this Pokemon game. At least some effort. It's different. They might have tried with this one. <laughs> Let's get on into it, shall we? In order to complete this Pokedex of ours, there are a great many research tasks. I'll need your help to carry out, my boy. The details of these tasks we found in the Pokedex for you to reference any time. The research tasks are tasks you need to carry out to complete the Pokedex. Each Pokemon species has a different number and variety of research tasks. There's a down button to open your Pokedex and check what kinds of research tasks are available for the Pokemon you've registered. You focus on a wild Pokemon in the field using the ZL button. You can also instantly check the research tasks for that species. And pressing the down button to open your Pokedex right to that page. Some of them have unusual research tasks. You must catch and battle diverse Pokemon species to carry out plenty of research tasks. You said you gain research points and other rewards for your work. One last piece of advice, Grandad. If you see a wild Pokemon's attack coming your way, dodge like your life depends on it. Watch closely and remember what I do so you can do it later. Hop. We need to roll. Beautiful flowing bit of gymnastics is what we call a dodge. If you're light on your feet, you can dodge out of the way of a wild Pokemon's attacks. There is some game critic, some game review, who has compared this game to Dark Souls already. And whoever it is... I just want to say shame on you. <laughs> that way, hopefully, you can avoid taking a beat and black it out in the wilderness. A security corpse had to collect me when I got the business end of some Shinx's thunder shock. Don't worry, I've got pl lots of experience to draw, and I'll teach you plenty. Okay. Time to go out into the world. Okay, so check the Pokedex. Yeah, so there's specific tasks then. Does the Bidoof cause and havoc in the village? Investigate the Bidoof that bothered the village. I don't know where they are. I feel like that's like a request, re request one that I gotta get. I would love some music as I explore. Can I jump? Let me share some Survey Corpse wisdom. Okay. So check tasks for Bidoof. I know if research tasks to do with how many Bidoof you've caught. Catching just one isn't enough. You need two, then four, then more and more. So we're going to catch a lot of stuff as we go. Remember the captain switch in wisdom? If you have items out, press X to ready your Pokemon. So you have to catch more than one. Oh god, he's coming at me! There we go. Don't use the lock on to aim the Pokeball, it's not actually that accurate. <laughs> Oh, and the experience share mechanics are back. Yeah. So that's just going to level up everything. I feel like I could get very overleveled very quickly here. Come on, Badoof. 
Come on. We go through Pokeballs very quick too, though. Doctor Who is going to judge me every time I throw him at something I'm not supposed to throw him at. Okay, get some apricorns. Medicinal leaks. I imagine I'm going to be able to make potions with them. Can I just head to the mountain? And why is my dodge roll? Okay. Oh, okay, I I need I need to fight him. That's what the tutorial said. I can also run about a bit. <laughs> Get up, Doctor Who. Oh wait, no, I'm supposed to catch it. I was just dead. You still get things if they die though. Alright. Get the gem. Tumblestone. Doctor Who is becoming more powerful. Get that gem. God, it's so cool. It's just so fast. I've been spotted. They're on to me. Oh, no! They kind of just catapult themselves at you. Get him, doctor. Hello there, friend. Get him, Doctor Who! He's right here! <laughs> okay, that, that actually might hurt me if I'm, like, in the way of the battle. Gotta dodge! Okay, so do, do, I don't just need one copy of each Pokemon, and I, I I need a lot. I'm wondering how many times I should be trying to catch like each and every thing. There we go. God, stuff is just leveling. Times we've seen it use Quick Attack. Okay, so I I really need to check like the Pokedex. Pass with unreported data is like, how many? Oh, so it still hasn't gone up, yeah. So I have like seven points on Badoof here. Uh, I now have like, an I have another seven points on Shinx. And, and I need, is it always 10 points that you need to get it documented? God, I hope there's not a completion reward for filling out every single bit of it. Like, yeah, if you get, like, 25 caught, 15 defeat it, 10 defeat it with ground-type moves, like... There absolutely is. Yeah, that's... Okay, uh, that is gonna be nightmarish. I'm probably not going to do that. <laughs> Because uh, that sounds like absolutely horrific. Get it, Doctor Who. Just making our way into the world. There's Ponyta out here. My god! There were fire type Pokemon in the Sinnoh region back in the day. Yeah, I mean, I could try fight it. I don't 
really have anything that might be good against it. I, I can try Starly. I, I, don't, I don't need to battle it, do I? I? I can just try catch it. Okay, why did I engage that? That was, Starly's just in trouble. Got him. Oh, the turn order is very different. I just attacked twice there. Okay, sending out God. Action order. So it's God and Ponyta has two turns. And then it'll be God again. Get a Ponyta. Okay, that's a new one. Um, do I have the way to switch Pokemon out in the field, or do I have to do that before I, I go? Pokemon of level 10 below will obey you currently. You have to go to the camp. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the camp real quick then, because I want to make sure I'm leveling up Ponyta. I don't need to level up, like, this many Bidoof. We also do need to give, um, Starly a quick ol' heal. Go get that, Doctor Who. Oh, here's- here's the Wormpole. Let's just catch it. No, okay, he runs away in fear. Right, so he's still better off, I imagine, going into most battles and trying to get stuff. We can still try it. Get him. Come on. Wormple cut. Cool. Okay, let's hop back to the camp real quick and we'll change the Pokemon in our party. Because uh, we have the experience share mechanics, I'm like, absolutely going to make sure I'm leveling something. I really want to... I'm going to probably complete the entire Pokedex in this game. I could see myself doing it. I wonder if that's faster. Yeah, need to switch up your Pokemon or buy items. Is there a heal when I'm in the field? I can craft. I can rest a little while. Game seems very quiet. I mean, it, it is kind of quiet. It's going for like an environmental feel. Um, it's not too quiet, though. Audio-wise, you, you guys can hear it okay, yeah? It's just footsteps on that, mostly, right now. Okay, I want to see my Pokemon. So, instead of boxes, you now have pastures. That's very cute. Okay, well, we'll start the Badoof farm. This poor Shinx is a bit outnumbered. And, yep, because we healed, they're back on full health. Oh, this is so cool. I I really want to try catch some of the new ones. Uh, I, from the trailers and that, I saw the Hisuian uh, Zorua and Zorak. And they look amazing to me. Zorak is one of my favorite Gen 5 Pokemon. <laughs> Please, Master, you must stop chucking me at the tree. <laughs> Sorry, Dr. Hill. Hey, Chloe, good to see you. I already got that tree. 
Okay, uh, we'll, we'll just see what tutorial quest they have here for us. Like, I'm just going to explore this region a lot. I want to get up that rock. I'll just talk to her real quick. As a reminder, don't forget to open your Pokedex when you focus on a Pokemon to check your research task for it. Just ZL and down. Try check your task for a Starly next. Catch Starly without being spotted, right? Okay, so it's up to you how to get the 10 points. But I mean, they, they, they seem quite generous though with the points. That it's going to be hard to kind of get them wrong. Number you've caught without being spotted. Number defeated. So I could just defeat the Starly here, and I think I'd probably get close to the amount of points. Yeah. Like, we, we, we could just kill him. Actually, no, catching probably gives more points, though, don't it? Get him. Oh, they're on to me. Wait a minute. Okay, the, the arc is not that great on it. <laughs> Get back here. J just kill him. <laughs> you just chuck it at him. Like point blank range. Smack him with the Pokeball. So number defeat at one oh one. Um so I number defeat is one of them that I track, so I just need to kill a few. It's worth a bit less than catching them. But if I do that and then I just catch one more, then I've got all the Starlies completed. Okay. Catch him. Cool. I I'm gonna have to release a lot of Pokemon then. You seem to catch, like, a higher quantity of them. Oh, Shinx is angered up. Okay, it's a... Uh... See where Dawn is going. Weaken them to catch them better. Go. Cool. Gotcha. There we go. Fall damage? I don't think there is. I think you can just hop off stuff and you're pretty much okay. Um. Alright. Let's uh, get that. I feel like I just want to get as many supplies as I can, but I'm, I'm going to use them in some capacity. Have I got enough for any of them now? Like, task with unreported data, 20. To next rank- Oh, you need 500 of those points, right. Wow, so you just have to do a lot of these things. So it's 10 of Pokemon, I gotta get like 50, is it? You're misunderstanding. No, you're fine. Okay. Happy grinding. Yeah, I, I don't think it is that then. Uh. Alright, so Starly, like, I'm just trying to tally it. I need to just defeat one. At some point. There's the Bweasels. Research level is more than just one point per level. Okay. The 
try to hit you with moves just like Shinx and you need to battle it to catch it. I can take a Buizel. Take too much damage in a short time, you will be in danger of blacking out. I tell you're in danger when the edges of the screen turn red. Okay. Weasel research tasks. I kind of just want to catch, like, one. I'm trying to think of, like, the most efficient way to get something. Is. Weasel use quick attack. Oh, that's nothing for Doctor Who. Perfect. Items. What's wrong with the grass there? <laughs> it's like... I think it's supposed to be the wind, but it was having some trouble. Oh, uh, you can what you so you can get things just by using moves. So I've gotten like a lot of recent progress on uh Rowlet, haven't I? Yeah, because I've just been using leafage a lot. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Please make it brighter? What are you talking about? This is what the game looks like. Get that. Let me just stare into the sun a while. There you go. That'll help you. Move master. Fight another weasel. Get him, Doctor Who. Okay, I, well, that might have been a bit much. God, it's so weird for like document and stuff. Then I kind of just want to go out and like catch one of every Pokemon, and worry about research stuff later. <gasps> There's an Eevee. You don't see me. No. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> Please, Grandad, you must try harder to catch them. Don't judge me, Doctor Who. Cool seeing all the Pokemon just chilling in the, like, environments. Get those. Don's over here now. That's another Wurmple. I mean, I think I'm gonna need to catch at least two Wurmple. Hello, friend. Get back! Get Bonk him! Or just kill him outright, fine. Grit dust, that's something new. Everything is just constantly leveling. Apricorn. We're gonna have a lot more balls that we can craft after all this. More apricorns. Okay, yeah, what's, what's up? Not done. Uh, you're really doing quite well for yourself. For your own crafting kit. Oh, I can just make my own items, can I? A kit containing everything you might need for crafting. Even when there's no workbench around, however, you can only use materials you have in your satchel. You can select it from the key items pocket in your satchel to craft items. 
Oh, okay, so there is like a carry limit. It's a recipe for potions as well. You can craft them anywhere. Apricorn and tumblestone, you can make a pokeball anytime. You can also make potions. It goes to research. The cover of your Pokedex will tell you if there are tasks you finish and can report. 24. <laughs> it's going pretty good. Please report back to Professor Lavender once you got some re research tasks good and done. Earn a sufficient number of points is the goal currently. Uh, I really just want to explore the field. Like, I do not want to head back. Craft. 31. <laughs> Put them there. So, so there is a limit. Is this the amount of stuff I can carry, basically, here? It can raise the effort level for one of a Pokemon stat. We use to raise effort levels only up to level three, however. What does that mean? Oh, this is like effort values or something, is it? Just raise it. I'll raise Doctor Who's attack. Doctor Who is we're definitely keeping around no matter what happens. Everyone else is kind of replaceable right now. I'm I'm just waiting to see what Pokemon are available as we go. Hello there, friend. You can go rest. There's a new Eevee. Gotta get it. Go! Get him, Doctor Who! <laughs> okay. Didn't quite get away. They do a lot of damage when they hit you. No! <laughs> I just want my Eevee! The doof is just watching. <laughs> Kill a Bidoof real quick. Caught Bidoof unawares. I wonder if the scale and the Bidoofs are getting stronger. Oh, you can do like the strong style or agile style. Let's try it. Strong style Gus. I think it did a little more damage for Gus. They like the run away a lot. We're learning. That's okay. Oh, good God, that's big. This is just a giant Rapidash. I feel like this Rapidash is dangerous. <laughs> should I should I just leave? I've also only like my, my strongest is a grass type, so I feel like I'm unfortunately not equipped for that. Its eyes are red. 
Can't really climb anything you want. I think we're gonna be blocked by the river for now as well. I don't, I don't have a way. Can I swim? If it's shallow water, I can just walk through it. Cool. Get that. Can I cross the big river? I can just swim. No. No, you can't swim very well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're all right. Get as many resource supplies as you possibly can, Doctor Who. I don't really mind if I don't catch someone. I'm just gonna like vaguely attempt it while I go. Investigate the flower. Vivi choke. Chucking them everywhere. See what I can get away with catching. <laughs> they want worm pulse, I'll give them worm pulse. It's so fast to catch things. Love that. Just chuck a Pokeball and go. Doctor Who. Catch a Badoof. Catch a Wormple. Get materials. One Pokemon's busy as well. I can just send out another one to do the task. Get back here! Oh, he's not having it! I bugged him. I love how fast that is with just the catching in particular. Okay, he's fired up. It's not gonna be any Pokemon left uh, in the ecosystem. Yeah, we're, we're catching a lot of them. I've got Roost now. I think one of my research tasks for uh, Rowlet was to use that. That's pretty cool! Ball of mud! Have a little level with 100 health. Yeah, the, st the stats really are different for this one. Get up! going to kill the wild weasel population. I'll attempt to catch him when I can. Chuck it there. It's pretty cool. Everything's leveling up. Move mastered? I haven't even been using that Pokemon. Tumblestone. Yeah, he's telling you... Uh, break shit. Oh. 
chuck balls at everything. Don't think I can cross the river yet, can I? Need to be a first star recruit. Okay. I mean, I think we might be getting close to that already, considering like I've just been out here chucking balls at a bunch of shit. Get one of them. Chuck one of these if it doesn't work. He's too stunned to move. You can evolve your worm pull by going into the menu. Oh, thank you, yeah. Oh, I can, yeah, you so you just you just decide, like It is time, Wormpool. Oh, he has like the, the they have a highlighted light for it too. That's a cool evolution screen. <laughs> Got a cascoon. That's really cool. I kind of love that. <laughs> uh, Sook, thank you for the hundred bits. Thank you very much. Yeah, him. Come on, be cop. Thank you. I'm gonna have to release a lot of them. Look at that Doctor Who. Yeah, I know it's fine. Get that. I'm not too fussed. Can I cross the river by like sneaking over here? Oh no! <laughs> okay, they they seem to have thought about this. I don't want to see what's over here. Try catch him. You don't see me. Oh no. <laughs> Just grab onto the edge, granddad. He's angry now. There's a Luxio here. There's a Luxray! Oh! <laughs> oh no. What level are you? Level 33! Oh no, Doctor Who! Play it! Sand gem flats. Okay, God, it's up to you to... Lead the mine in expedition. Oh no! 
I'm sorry, God! <laughs> If I can catch one of these with a Pokeball, I'm gonna be in business. Not you. Tumblestone and Iron Chunk. Get the materials there. There's a Lux right there. Catch it! I just need to get lucky once. It, it already teleported away, I think. Okay, you gotta, you gotta sneak up on that. He's just gonna run. There's Drifloon! Be my friend, Drifloon. How about you be my friend instead? Oh no! Okay. Starting to get the iron. Black tumblestone. Iron chunk. The fact that they let you over here so early in the game is kind of cool. Although, this is going to be something in the tree. It's going to be horrific. I don't want to die like a fucking greedent that comes out. Uh. Okay, I mean, we might be able to get this one. Times four weeks. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well, I mean, that's still pretty good. I did not mean to just kill it immediately. Uh, but because we did, it now means we get to evolve. I shouldn't be here. <laughs> you starely leveled up five times. That's insane. Everyone's telling me I just need to go back. I I'm staying here. Get a dust talk as well. I wish I could revive these guys so I can like actually get experience on them. <laughs> it is a bit of a shame. I'm tempted to head back purely to revive them. No, I I, I think we press on. I'm gonna press on and see if I can catch something here. I have a Star Arabia now. Oh, I'm excited to see speed runs of this game. There's gonna be so much cool shit they can do. Iron chunks. I'm, I don't even know what the chunks are used for, but like, I'm sure as hell taking them. That one's sparkling.
I saw the cadaver as well, don't worry. I have a few balls left. What does this do? Stardust. Oh, okay, so if it's sparkling, it's just a bit rarer. Neat. Citrus berry. I would love a cadaver or something. Neat! <laughs> so you can catch them. People were telling me I couldn't. You absolutely can. Please revive the others. I don't have the materials to. Damn it! <laughs> no, no. I simply don't have like the the revives. Oh, we gotta come back this way and see what we can get. A Kingsleaf. What the fuck is a Kingsleaf? Oh, we found Shellos! Level 16? Crafter revives. Can I, I don't think I have a crafting recipe for that, unfortunately. No, I don't. Uh, we probably want to favorite that. Bit of a choke. A mime junior. Get him. Hey, shall us. Mime junior cop. There's a gastrodon here. Can I get it? Come on. No, oh, not quite. That. Woo. Okay, there was a cadaver here. I'm gonna be very cheeky. No. Aha. <laughs> okay. Shouldn't waste my last balls like that. What's in the mountain pass over here? We have to keep going. Jacob's <laughs> Town? Oh my god, it's the super mutant village in Fallout New Vegas! I still have more balls. I, I can I can stay out here. At least a little while. I think the I think the land's gonna decide otherwise soon. Good old Star Arabia. Iron chunk. Yeah, so I can't I can't get past here. The fact that I can even go over here is so damn cool though. Okay, Luxio gang, we'll leave you here. Excuse me, Mr. Luxray. Okay, 
Okay, we do have to head back to the village, but we're gonna have some good progress for him. Doesn't work if they're aggravated. Okay. I really want to get the acorns in the tree, but I can't. They're too close. Fine. Catch him. Yes! <laughs> But Daniel, you can't catch anything here! You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right! Okay, let's make our way back. Oh, we got some cool new Pokemon while we were out today. RT just has a good game in chair. <laughs> That's all it takes. That's my secret. <sighs> well... That was absolutely wonderful. I think we've done pretty well through all that. You can kind of roll to get up some of the ledges too. I'm gonna see if I can be real cheeky. Could you imagine? Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get him yet. Same with, same with the Snorlax. <laughs> Just hit him! Hi, Snorlax. Just fucking bonked. Okay, well, we're back We're back to the zone where we are supposed to be. I still haven't got the Eevee. I, re I would really like to try and get one. I don't know what the rules are for, like, respawn in Pokemon. Or anything like that. I guess we just keep an eye out for Eevee on our travels. Get that. Trying to see if there's anything we haven't caught as we go here. This is the way back, isn't it? No, this is this is somewhere different again. I think. Yeah, I don't think I've been this way. There's a mean looking shinx here. Okay. With that. Pick up every bit of Stardust we can. We have so much iron ore. I want to get like a crafting recipe for that. Oh, there's a beautiful eye out here. Okay. Get this. Black Tumblestone. Come on, because I already got dust toxins. This would be perfect. Get him! I can, I can take him at this point. Like, Staravia has been putting in a lot of work. Let's catch it. He's an iron defense. Come on, I want it. I want to catch it. Staravia, you're fine.
Oh, you can just throw the Pokeball if you have it selected on the items there. That's cool. Come on, catch it. Okay, I think we might just kill it then. It's growing in rage. Alright, yeah, let's just murder it. Oh, no. Okay, Shinx, you can take it. Just get it. Bunch of experience. <laughs> Shinx can now evolve! <laughs> You don't have your space in your in your satchel for that item. Oh no. You got too much. Honey. Okay, Shinx, you're gonna have to leave the charge for a little bit. I, I can evolve them too. I guess I might as well. I already have like some Luxios though. You don't see me. Just... You're coming in. Get, get the resources. Is there anything in the clearing? No, it's just a beautiful ice. This dude needs to level up his stealth. I'd kind of just run, honestly. <laughs> the stealth is optional for me. I should head back though. I wanna, I wanna get Doctor Who alive again. Like we can construct like a real good haphazard team from all this. We got so many Pokemon while we were out. There's an item up there. Can he get it? No, not, not quite. Hop on back. Oh, this is the big rock. There's a way up there somehow. I just can't get there yet. Get more materials. Starly's just run away. That's fine. Oh, okay, well, we, we did a pretty good run there. Uh, I'm gonna heal my Pokemon. I'm gonna I'm gonna head back to the camp too and just see like what if I hand in stuff what it actually does. We might as well evolve Shinx because this will give us just research points. I like to think we're doing pretty good. Shinx has evolved. Okay, we need we need to level up our gang. You can rest until certain times of day as well. Look at that. Morning, midday, evening, nightfall. So that's if you want to find specific Pokemon that are like time sensitive. Uh, organize satchel. Cool. Uh, crafting. When you craft, you can take stuff from the storage as well. That's really good to know. You know, that's just, we don't, we don't need that many. Move all at once. 
Can we sell it at a low price at a general store? You can use berries to draw attention. Store PowerPoints, Lumberry. These are all crafting materials. Okay, so... Move all at once. Is there a way to, like, highlight? Multiple items at once? What would you like to rename this item storage box? I don't want to. It's just move all at once, I think. Yeah, the the UI could use a little bit of reworking. This is this is a bit sad. <laughs> oh wait, X? Thank you. Okay, that makes it a little easier. Move all, yep, just X. Okay. That exists. I I retract what I just said. <laughs> they did think of that. Which is good. I'm not a fan of there being, like, only a certain amount of shit you can carry. Never really a fan of that kind of mechanic in games. Um, but it is what it is. Okay, uh, I want to... Oh god, look how far we went. That's Lake Verity over there. Oh shit, Mess Spirit's in there! If I could just surf! I could get that. That's how far we went. That's crazy. We still have a lot of the area to explore too. Okay. Uh, let's hand them in and see how many research points we get. Oh. This seems a good time to explain about survey reports and their rewards. If you submit survey reports, you'll receive money based on the level and number of Pokemon you've caught. Okay. <laughs> we handed in quite a bit for our first report. Here's $4,000. <laughs> Pretty good. Let's update the Pokedex. You raise the research levels of Pokemon species. If you raise it to 10, that entry will be considered complete, and you'll have unlocked all the detailed information to be had about that species. As you, Poke As you carry a task to complete the Pokedex entries for different species, you also gain research points, which you can view on the cover of your Pokedex. Once you earn a certain number of points, you'll be able to move up through the ranks of the expedition team. So Rowlet's now complete. Bidoof is almost there. Oh, it tells you things like preferred foods. What it can drop. And it gives you like a little rundown on their forms and stuff like that too. Like the female here is like the pattern on its head is a little lower. Shinx is complete. Ponyta, Wurmple. We know a fair bit about Luxios now as well. Yep, so, and it, it just checks it all off as you go. There, I think I got more than 10 points. Yeah, I did. Wait, no, no, I got 10 exactly. Cool. How many points do we... Okay! Neat! We got a rank! We got double the amount we needed. Let's head back to the village and report the good news. It's time you earned yourself a star. Okay, I'm gonna be able to rank up, which means I can walk across the bridge, and I might be able to do more stuff. <sighs> Daytime in the village. Here at the photography studio, you can enjoy taking photos together over at your Pokemon. Can you just get, like, a picture with your team?
Jubilife sounds like an MLM. <laughs> but it's not an MML. MLM. It's an experience that you can join and be a part of today. Order now. Oh, I'm supposed to... I'm supposed to take him out? <laughs> okay, I, I, I need to look towards the camera. Change your expression. Um, always sad. It looks weird when it's like really sad. Like, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing here. Confident pose. Thumbs up. Is everything really okay? <laughs> Over the shoulder. Hero pose. I don't I don't seem too confident. Press the capture button to take a picture. Oh, well maybe without the text box. Can I not get my team out? Prepare a Pokemon. Oh, good lord! Like we gotta, we gotta do some inventory management here. Or like we just like with the amount volume of Pokemon we've caught. Is there a way to like donate them or something? There's no release option here. Get the Badoof bot. Can I get the Badoof family photo? Hang on. Ah, uh, you can only get one. I wanted to get, like, an army of them. <laughs> you did your best, Badoof. He's ready for his big photo shoot. We'll just leave him there. <laughs> There's got to be a way to release Pokemon then, because like otherwise this is, this is just gonna get out of hand. Village pastures. I I can just put them in here. No, no. So th th this is just to move them between your boxes. Okay. Um. I don't really want to carry you anymore. I want to leave you in here. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh. Uh, I'm just thinking of like in terms of evolutions, what we need. What's it? How do you determine what a wormhole becomes? When does Miss Mime Junior evolve as well? Thanks for the blessings, guys. Wormhole is random. Okay, well, we can we can take some worm pulls with us. Um, what level does a Mime Junior evolve? Mime Junior needs Mimic in its move set. Okay, uh, it will naturally learn Mimic as we level it up, won't it? I'm happy to keep Staravia about. Staravia was like one of our strongest Pokemon on the um on the playthrough we did before. Brilliant diamond. What level is Weasel? You Wurmple for a quest. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll hand in a Wurmple. Weasel's level 28. It might take a while. We might be able to get Float Cell by then. Okay, as, as long as we're evolving something on the team, I, I will keep it here. And then Doctor Who is just forever. Okay? 
That's like my logic for like the team. I want to try fill out the Pokedex as much as I can. Uh, I want to check the farm over here too. Are there any new side missions? Practice field. Go here. Oh, the, the fast travel points. You don't have to walk about. You can just teleport. Cool. You can release the Pokemon there. There was an option. Cool. Harvest came in. 33 apricorns. That's pretty good. So I, I want to get that like between every expedition if I can. Um, so there, there was a release option. Is there a benefit for releasing at all? Or like for keeping like multiple of a species? Because I'm just, I'm just thinking I release some just to clean up a bit. Is there any point in keeping them? Do I, if I released them, do I get something? Okay, here, we'll, we'll, we'll send a, uh, a lone Bidoof off to the farm. That did not give me anything. <laughs> they make food for the village. That's... <laughs> oh no. Okay, well, let's just organize our Bidoofs for now. So many of these guys. There we go. Two Alakazams as well, like Jesus. Well, Cadabras. Oh, and you can see what the effort the EV things are as well, yeah. The grit stat. So we do actually want to like almost inspect them and see which are best. So our AV actually see- Oh, actually no, because you get EVs by just fighting a lot, don't you? Are IVs a thing in this game? I don't know. IVs are not, okay. I want to see if this is just ending in here real quick. Nothing currently. Uh, add a new... Well, actually, I'll, I'll, let, let's go get our rank up and see what that unlocks first. That might give us just some new shit immediately. I'm not dead. Oh, so you just talk to them, it opens your Pokedex, but you don't need to go into it. You've made progress, it seems you've earned yourself a star. I'm not like the only person catching Pokemon in this village, and I only get like one star for my efforts. Like, I I'll take it, but... You can now use Heavy Balls. Pokemon up to level 20 will also obey your orders reliably in battle. The rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now, too. Okay, so definitely hand go back whenever you can. Recipe for heavy balls. Apricorns and black tumble stones. And revives. We, we actually really wanted that one. Most people prefer it when things are simple enough to be judged on face value alone. Proving your work by moving up through our ranks is something anyone can understand. Keep at it, even if you did fall from the sky, perhaps people may be more willing to accept you. It's your fault for falling from the sky. So get a higher rank, get more Pokeballs. So I really want to move up the ranks. Get more materials. You earned yourself a meal at the Wallflower and a good night's rest. Are you considered not falling from the sky? Yeah, I'm so selfish, aren't I? 
So granddad, my boy. I believe a jolly good congratulations is in order. Well done, nerd, your first star rank. Potato mochi tastes so much better. You have something to be happy about. So we will be very busy from now on. Between our survey corps duties and requests from folks here. Taking on requests from Beauregard. I... Oh, I, f I didn't hand them in. Problems arise in survey corps be called to help. Indeed so. Some people will ask you for help when you're talking about other requests will need to be claimed from the blackboard I keep in my lab. Oh, okay, so you can accept them too. There's a bulletin board. Carrie's got a job for us as well. That request came from my of the Diamond Clan. Is the Pearl Clan? <laughs> the people of the Diamond Clan have lived here in Hisui since before the Galaxy Team arrived. If we can establish good relations, I'm sure there is much we might learn from them. Include more about the local Pokemon. We'll discuss all that tomorrow. There's no Platinum Clan. They might have forgot Platinum. Sadly. <laughs> Next day. You have a bit of time after this. Something I could use your help with. Wait, now? Okay, what's going on? Training grounds. Change up your team at the pasture. Go. Cool. There she goes. I will change my outfit in a while. I, I, I'm i gonna stick with this outfit for just a little while because I figure once I start changing it, I'm gonna just ro rock the new outfit for as long as I can. So let, let's get our money's worth out of it now. Oh, wait, no, I do have some new styles in stock. Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. I may have spoken too soon. What are the new styles? Shinx mask. Well, I'm gonna get the crimson hat. All right, we're gonna we're gonna change slightly. This is, is keeping the style. It's a fancy kimono. I, I don't think I want the karate one. I think I prefer the default one. Those are just trousers. Fancy Bottoms Rowlet? Is there a Rowlet one? Oh, that is the Rowlet outfit. Jedi looking ass. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me. Ugh. <sighs> Okay, there's no sandals that I think that compete with the ones that we've already got. We can get. I don't think I want glasses. I think with like with the hat and scarf, we've got enough. Yeah, the default uniform honestly just looks a lot cooler than some of the other costume options. I wish I could like change its color or something. Okay, we'll just buy our new hat. It's like a darker red. I hope I can change the scarf color eventually. With the glasses, he'll look 70. Oh, God. Oh, he's got the recipes as well. Has he got any new ones? Remedies. And then the powers. I've not seen, like, the things for any of them yet. I can sell stuff to them. Sweet. Should I just buy every recipe? Why not? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get them all eventually anyway. 
Crafting materials, he just sells more apricots and tumble stones. I can get more of those in the field. Cake lure base? I haven't really used them. Oh, I'm having so much fun. Okay, uh, to, to the next rank, I do not need a lot of research points as well. We, we went a bit overboard when we were in the field. Let's see, can I craft here? A heavy ball. Gotta try some of them. It's too, it's too heavy to fly high or far, but it's highly effective if you hit someone with it. Sharply boosts the offensive stats of a Pokemon during battle, and then they disappear. So these are like the X attack items in that. Honey cake. They attract bug Pokemon. Okay, that just makes them less friendly. And craft some revives. Gonna stock up. Before we go anywhere. Uh, use this on Doctor Who. Get your attack up. Okay, I can put some other items away then. Uh, I guess I keep the revives for now? Yeah. We, we might need the revives when we're in the field. Go for it. Good to see that drugs are still in the game. Oh no. Listen, I've had an epiphany! Is everything okay? <laughs> I've got a partner of my own. We may not get along perfectly. We've got to work together to help complete the Pokedex. Your partner. Here's my partner, Pikachu! Because we gotta put him somewhere in the game. Contractually obligated to have him make an appearance. <laughs> we were attacked by the shakes. I got too scared to think straight, and I couldn't handle Batlet as a team. Since my partners refused to listen to anything I tell them. I'm being honest. I'm not even sure how to order him, how to guide him into battle. Can we? You just gotta kick him real good, Akari. When I saw you and your Pokemon work together. I realized I ne we needed to do more too. Have a battle. Okay. Go on. Oh, she's only got one Pokemon. Get up, Doctor Who. It's only level nine. Doctor Who was dead for mo- Get up! I'll take the shot! Don't you worry, Doctor Who! Finish the job. Battle decided. Give me your money. You got good XP from the battles. The, wor the Wurmples are ready to chance evolution again. Thank you for battling us. Could be wrong, for a moment I felt like Pikachu and I finally understood one another. This was the origin of the mascot of the Pokemon franchise. Oh, he doesn't want to work. Assuming Pikachu and I can bridge some gaps. Presses that Pokemon have a thing called types, which apparently make a big difference in how battles go. Yeah, no, we we we've we've done this before. <laughs> Quickly absorb this information we have for you. Give this a quick glance and memorize this best you can. <laughs> so, let's take a picture just in case we need to consult it later. So you're the one the new recruits everyone's talking about. The name's Zisu, Captain of the Security Corps. 
you got some fight, and you figured I'd stop by and give what advice I could. Captain Zeus was a master of an ancient martial art, one that specialized in Pokemon battles. Listen, if your Pokemon's truly mastered its moves, it can actually use them in different styles. Oh, so this is the style. Strong style. It does more damage, but after it will take longer for your Pokemon to act. On the other hand, you can choose to unleash a move in an agile style. It has less power, but your Pokemon can act more quickly afterward. In true favorable conditions, it might get out two moves before an opponent can act. Strong style moves, agile style moves, and of course regular moves. Choose which is right for a given situation, and direct your Pokemon with a little nudge. Okay. So, they both use more power points. And they're kind of like the, the opposite of each other. So, like, reduces power but speed, boosts power but lessens speed. Cool. If you want to teach your Pokemon some powerful moves, just let me know. Now it's time I went to meet mine. Now I mentioned at the wildfire, they could use the help of mine's request. A foot of Aspiration Hill. We can learn new moves from Zisu as well. Before we go. Okay, let's go meet Mai of the Diamond Clan in a moment. Are there any new requests for us to pick up? It doesn't seem to be. Your Pokemon can master their moves or learn new moves. I want new moves. Oh, wow, so this is more than just, like, a move tutor service. This is, like, completely new attacks. I kind of wanted to learn Aerial Ace. That seems good. Yeah, like, th these are completely new. Some of these I don't think you even get in the games. Ominous Wind. Like, Staravia doesn't get access to that in Pokemon. False White might be a good one, too. Yeah. That just adds it to the move pool, and then I think I set it. If I understand this rightly. Change moves. Yeah. So you just swap them out now. So false swipe. Aerial Ace. Confirm. So it just adds it to the pool. That's a really good way of doing it. That actually feels a bit more like a JRPG of all things. Yeah. So you have to actually equip abilities now. What a cool way to like rework moves a bit. You're not just picking one set now and sticking with it forever. You're actually encouraged to experiment a little. I actually really like that. I'm amazed I didn't do that sooner. Peel, thank you for a thousand bits. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's a huge quality of life change. Oh, let's see if we can get the silk in. It'd be interesting to see what mechanics from this game stick around. Ah, uh, I don't think that's a silk gun. I think that's another cast gun. That's alright. Got an idea for a new move. Okay, uh, I'll swap that one out in a moment. I want to master moves. You need a seed of mastery. Okay. Item exchange? Grit gravel. You get 10 things of grit dust. Okay, so you can improve the quality of them. A grit pebble is 10 gravels. And a grit rock is 10 pebbles. Okay. And then she just kind of tells you more about everything you need to know. Oh. Okay, that's that's really neat.
Hey. Lucille sells various protective charms that come in handy when you're out exploring the wilds. I'm here to give thanks to the Guardian to the Shrine who watches over all in Jubilife Village. Give a prayer for the Shrine, perhaps my charms can help. Faint less frequent, stay in good health, what do the charms do? Should you ever faint, magic becomes the first item to vanish from your satchel, taking the place of other items that would have been lost. Oh, if you die, then that's what happens. Survival charm just helps keep you alive. Uh, faint less frequently. Yeah, just staying alive. Ooh. Perhaps not. Okay, that one's cheaper. <laughs> Let's buy a charm. This type of charm comes in five different colors. If you want to be extra safe, how about another? Is this a scam? The, the, is it different? Warden Charm B. So you can just keep stacking these if you want. Okay, I, I don't want status effects. Warden Charm P. Oh god, but they take up... They take up slots, I think. Oh no, I, I might have been scammed. Okay. I don't, I don't actually want to carry all them. They're just different colors, yeah. Oh, so it's red, blue, and then pink. Okay. Uh, we'll keep we'll keep the we'll keep the red one. In red we trust. Congrats, Dad! What a smart choice. Hey, I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> Gonna have to try use the heavy balls and like these spoiled apricorns too. Okay, uh, objective, head out here. I also gotta drop off Wurmple. Okay. Or oh, Cascoon, even. Uh, what do we evolve next? Do we just, just try another Wurmple? We're actually gonna be out in the field a while, so I, th I think I get things so uh, they can use the experience more. I think I don't even bring Wurmple, because I'm, I'm going to try and stay out as long as I can. Ponytail I don't want to bring, because there's a Rapidash out there that in theory I can catch. Inventory, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Thank you very much, my man. Bring a Buizel? Yeah, I'll bring a Buizel. Which is stronger? That one has a 3, but this one has two twos. Bring the twos. Uh, For trade evolutions, how do they work in this game? Is it possible for me to devolve Kadabra into Alakazam? I don't know. There's an item. Okay. Leave that for now. Uh, Shellos into Gastrodon? What level's that? You know what? Actually, we have like a strong Luxio. We might not be able to get Luxray. Looks like I was only like level 30 or something. Shellos is 28. Mm. There are, I did see more Lux, Lux rays out there, so yeah, okay. Take Shellos for now. Okay, another quick look at storage. Do I pop anything else off here? I'm only going to be able to carry so much. I'm kind of conscious of that.
There's so many Bidoofs. Is there stuff behind here? Okay, uh... Side quests? I don't think I have any side quests right now, do I? Save my progress. Lost and found. Check on items you or other people have lost. Back out in the field, you may lose some of your items. Our pl players from all over the world can find your lost items and send them to you via the internet. If you find a satchel that someone else has lost, be sure to pick it up. The satchel you retrieve will be returned to its owner and you can receive merit points. Okay. So Andy's lost some lost some of his shit in the wild. Uh, we can connect to the internet too. There's mystery gift in this game. It's just like mystery dungeon. That bit is yeah. You, you when a team fainted in a dungeon, you could actually go save them. It's weird to see that back of all things. Is there anything going? Clothing gift. What do we get? Fancy kimono, fancy bottoms, baneful fox mask. Okay. Are there any way to code or password available right now? That I should be aware of? Email, someone, people, some people are saying. Digital pre-orders got a code. Okay, I mean, I didn't, I didn't pre-order mine. Uh, I bought, I just bought like the physical copy this morning. Uh, let's see, change clothes. Oh, God. <laughs> fancy bottoms, growl it. Fancy kimono, growl it. Is that what we got, yeah? I think so. Anime. No, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep up my cap for now. I actually really like the look of the uniform. I think that looks really cool. <laughs> cool that we have it. Oh, he mentioned on his blackboard he had side quests, didn't he? Can I just hop in here and pick up a few? Just check one thing real quick. Okay, we're good. Uh, where is the blackboard then? Silene's just gonna talk about her Pokedex more. Hassle. I love how Cyndaquil just chills. I feel like Oshawott really got the short end of the stick. Like, even look at the enclosure for Rowlet. Like, that's amazing. Amazing. You can barely see him. No one likes Oshawott. That in here seems relevant to you. Oh, may I record your findings? Oh, cool. We got even more points for that. Okay, uh, I gotta go talk to Carrie. And then... Oh, wait, no, she's already, she's already out in the field, isn't she? I, I guess I just head on out. I don't have any more side quests to pick up. Exchange merit points for items. Trade Pokemon with others. Oh shit, you can trade Pokemon with others. 
Can I trade a, like a cadaver for another cadaver? The Wormpool dude. I ha do I have to go back and talk to him, is it? I'll, I'll see you in a sec. Oh, uh, this is like specific link codes if you want to trade with someone. Okay. Where are the side quests again? Yeah. Where was it? Mission send requests. Are they just completed? Do I have to go back and finish them? Catch a worm pull. Okay, that 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 one has to be traded in. If you got a worm pull, you can give me. There you go. There you go. I'd like to name this Wormpool right away. I've been told a Wormpool evolved into Pokemon known as Beautifly, so I should give it a name with that in mind. He's gonna get a Dust Tox, isn't he? I can already tell. Beautica, Beautifred, or Bugeen? <laughs> Bugeen! Uh, it has to be that one. I'll raise Bugeen to be a Splendiferous Beautifly. Wait and see. We got some dazzling honey for our efforts. Cool. And you can access your storage whenever you're here. It's beloved by Poke bug Pokemon and Pokemon fairy-like charms. They'll gather when it's thrown. Cool. Uh, let's get back out there then. I'll, I'll keep the honey with me. We can try it. White Castle, thank you for 500 bits. I've been going for three and a half hours, have I? I've not been keeping an eye on the time. I'm just having fun. I feel like I've only just started streaming. <laughs> well, this, I, I mean, if you're enjoying the stream and you've been here for a lot of it, I'm going to be streaming this, like, pretty much non-stop until we finish it the next while. Uh, cuz I'm really loving this. We'll be playing this again on Sunday. Oh Did I surprise you? I bet I did. That was a good scare though though but Yeah, so I, I I'm not streaming tomorrow cuz I've just got a few bits on I'm streaming till like 7 8 tonight probably and then Sunday We're just doing like an all-day stream once I start and then come like even probably Monday Tuesday We're probably just gonna be playing this more Um, Cuz I'm just very excited Let's try it anyway. There's a secret technique to catching Pokemon, you'll see. It's called the secret back strike technique. Hitting a Pokemon's back with your Pokeball will surprise it. There's some game reviewer out there who, in his review where he compa compares this game to Dark Souls, has also included this mechanic. Shame on them. Hit a wild Pokemon from behind for a higher chance of su successful catch or to gain an advantage when starting a battle. Neat. Be part of the Survey Corps now, working to create that Pokedex as, as they all are. You might end up meeting every last Pokemon here in Hisui. But you know I'm already looking forward to the day you accomplish that. Cool. Oh, I've got a great mushroom recipe. There's side quests out here too. Okay, the mushroom cake. You go get you have need to go get the key ingredient for the recipe yourself. Scrounge not from the f forages of thy fellows, as the old saying goes. A springy mushrooms, what you need. Mushroom cake marketing. <laughs> There's a new request over there. Do you see? I really want to go back to Lake Verity and that. Okay, so inventory. 
Got a fair bit, but I can craft while I'm out in the field and clear some space that way. Uh, where's the other side quest? It's over here, is it? No, it's right there. There we go. That marvelous rich tone. How is it produced? I much know. Uh. Oh, we need to find a cricket top. Cool. Okay. Let's head out into the world. We're gonna level up Doctor Who this time as well. Mime Jr. is actually the strongest thing on my team right now, which is a bit unsettling. Let's start by just going to the bridge. Get the tree. We need more Pokeballs as we go. Okay, he, he has to let me pass now. Don't let your guard down now. Retreat to safety if you find yourself in trouble. That's a guy with a Munchlax. Over here. My, this is Grand <laughs> Oh yeah, it's been a while. My, my, a new face in the village. Not that it matters to me if you're new. Here, I assume you're prepared to help. I'm one of the wardens of the Diamond Clan. You may call me Mai. Oh, she's very edgy. suppose you might not even know what a warden is if you're new to Hisui. Such talk can wait. Right now, I'd rather we get straight to the point. The problem that I need to help solving. The more important question is this. Do you feel confident that you can lead your Pokemon in battle? Oh, gee, I don't know. <laughs> How uninspiring. Prepare yourself better than rejoin us. Okay, alright. We have to fight her. I'm ready now. Okay, Munchlax is her partner. He battles by, at my side by choice without needing any silly little balls like you use. Watch and learn. <laughs> it's not the most intimidating of Pokemon. Let's get him. Oh, there's a unique battle theme for this. Okay, get him, get him with the slash. He's got a rollout. Good on you, Staravia. I feel like I'm talking to him about it. It's like, Staravia, Star are you doing good? Let me give you the old pep talk, okay? You're gonna do a sucker punch to the left side. You're gonna get him on the right. You're gonna do an underhand iron him hook. You're gonna punch him in the gut when he's down. And then kick him on the floor a few times. You got that, Staravia? Get back in there. Go on. Like a ringside boxing coach. Uh, just... Yeah, do that again. Munchlack is dead. He just falls over. <laughs> oh, we got a lot of experience for that. You really aren't one of the usual galaxy buffoons where you can defeat my partner. Well fought, Munchlax. Take care of the Pokemon that battle for us. Nice. I'll let you have these. People make all kinds of things with your crafting, don't you? These should prove to be useful materials. Five Vivi chokes. You and your Pokemon fought well together. You practically acted as one with them. Battle like the legendary hero of old. The one we tell stories of to our children. I think you're indeed the one for the job. See, I need someone to deal with an alpha Pokemon causing trouble upon deer track heights. A large, fearsome foe like any alpha, but you'll come, won't you? Oh, my phone's ringing. <laughs> Hang on, I just got a text message. The thing you have, it's show where you gotta go, isn't it? I might have some curious sort of map. Is that one of those Galaxy Team inventions I keep hearing about? 
certainly does seem to show the way the deer track heights up ahead of us. Leave this in your hands. You'll do gray out there. I know it. So, before we continue, I must ask. You already know about Almighty Sinner. Almighty what now? <laughs> well, as we expect it. Allow me to sketch out the basics. Almighty Sinner steers all time. It's said to have created the very universe using its power over time's flow. And this land of Hisui was born in the process. By the grace of Almighty Sinnoh, the Pokemon can live and thrive here. We have the Diamond Clan are descendants of a people who crossed the sea and settled here in the Hisui region to venerate Almighty Sinnoh. However, it stole, away from, it stole away from the world long ago, hiding itself from our sight. Almighty Sinnoh has only rarely been seen by any human, if the old tales are to be trusted. But there are still Pokemon here today in Hisui with a connection to the Almighty Sinnoh. And it's the duty of wardens like myself to attend to their needs. Pokemon that graces Deer Track Deer Track Heights is one of those honored few. It's directly descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's protection. Follow me and you may understand. Okay. Well, I mean, we can go up there, but we can also explore this entire mainland now. There was a path over here, apparently, before that we simply missed. I mean, maybe we couldn't access that one before. Because we did go out there. Okay, well, time to get sidetracked. I gotta catch Pokemon. There's the cricket top. Get back here. Okay, uh, just a quick attack. We don't want to kill it. Items. Oh, you can just use the heavy ball in battle, can't you, as well? So I guess if you're battling it already, like, you might as well if you really want to catch it. The grass has some trouble in the fights. That, I, that feels like a bug of some kind. Okay, we've already caught some burbs here. Uh, let's keep going. We'll follow the river around. Hello there, Buizel. We'll use Doctor Who for more of the grinding too, because I think we can evolve this guy very soon. Put him to work. Oh! There's a Floatzel. Oh, but I think it's very big. I don't know if I can take that. That's a very heavy ball. <laughs> Gotta get it on its back as well, yep. Okay, how long does he stay there? Get the visceral. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I don't know if he was supposed to jump back like that. Uh oh. He just immediately hurt me. Go, Doctor Who, get the apricorns! I don't- I don't know if I can do enough damage to him. I'm kind of scared of him. Fucking run. Oh! Okay, yeah, you- you need to actually dodge the attacks. They lock onto you. <laughs> okay, 
right, so those ones might just be too strong for the time being. I will come back though. I will get that. Is that a mission here? Mind helping a guy out? I'm after some cherry berries. Oh, I had some. Okay. Gather berries. I can kill a Gia, dude. She was a good old leafish. Do they have abilities in this game? Oh! I need to move. Okay, catch one. Come on. I like the little firework. It's cute. Right, Doctor Who, you're okay. Here. You get a lot of potions, so I think you're encouraged to use them quite regularly. Like, I have 26. Run up the hill some more. I'm gonna need to kill more of the Geodudes then or just catch them. I guess I can do either. They spotted me? I can do a lot of sneaky catching. I like I like the idea of sneaky catching. There we go. Let's catch like 60 Pokemon all around. It's just a Starly. That. Get that. Get one of those. Okay, there's like the place where I'm supposed to go. Oh, just one second. Guys, I'm just gonna take a quick two minute break and I'll be right back. I just gotta check something, okay? We're just gonna sit tight. I'll let Doctor Who stare at you, alright? Be right back.
Hello, hello, I'm back. I'm back. I was the descent into madness going because I left the stream for like two minutes. I was just actually taking a quick bathroom break. I had to check something there and I popped some food on because I'm going a long while today and I want to make sure I'm not too hungry. Kelly's going to very kindly bring it in while we're playing, which I appreciate. <gasps> Stantler! Oh, oh. Come on, we'll get one of them. We'll get two of them. <laughs> That's pretty good. Is this just hunting? I mean, it, it does feel like a, like a catch them all type scenario, honestly. <laughs> that you kind of are just gathering a bunch of shit, but it's fun. I like just tr throwing, like, Pokemon out. Go on, Doctor Who, get some more bits for us. Can he evolve? He's close to it. That does not sound good. There's more, there's more of them. Just trying to catch like the local deer population. <laughs> Get as many as we can. That's free money if you see it shining, so you always pick that up. Go get her, Alec. So good. Oh, this is Zubat. Go. Do other Pokemon disappear when I'm in a battle? I, I, I imagine they do. Can I get like attacked by like, or like into a double battle or something? Aerial Ace it. Cool. Too powerful for our own good. Did I miss that bridge before? It's like a land bridge. Okay, well, we'll just keep going here. I need to catch one of you. Wait, no, that's the wrong move. Hang on. That's right, I'm just trying to get some Pokedex completion. My charm's doing nothing. Wait, he's asleep, but he still used that. How does that work? Oh, he's just drowsy, right. So it's different in this game, okay. So you might just miss a few moves, like kind of like paralysis or something, I imagine. Okay. Pretty cool. You can get whatever's under here. Give him a smack. Let's do another one. We already got a Geodude. We need to kill some for Pokedex. Grinding out the Pokedex is something I might do in my off time outside of streaming this. Seems like quite a straightforward thing to just do. Get up here? Not really. I 
Rowlet must be level 18 to evolve? I thought he was 16. Love him so much. Okay, uh, I guess we just try to do some chain catching again. No, he, he's powered up. I don't know what stealth is yet. It's a big boy. Was that the Graveler? Oh, there's magic carp here. Oi! Get, get out of here! You can take it, Doctor Who. Hopefully. Get him! Catch the car. I'm gonna try to hit him though. Oh, he's making him sleep here. He's too drowsy! Doctor Who! Get him! Experience reward feels quite good. Third of a level just from that one fight. Okay, uh, I'll I'll try to get the graveler in a moment. Like that. Oh no. Go, Doctor Who! It's time three week! Go, oh, Doctor Who! <laughs> no! Good. Let's just get out of there real quick. Just one quick second. Don't worry, we're good, we're good. Everything's okay, I'm not dead. There's a cave here. Shit, can you just open that with a Bidoof? Orboro Tunnel. I gotta go in there. I'm gonna just explore the over here and catch a Magikarp real quick. I also need to revive Doctor Who. Yeah, I just, I just had some food very kindly brought to me. So I'm just gonna munch on that a bit as we go too. We're doing a long boy stream today. So I want to make sure that like I actually eat and I'm not starving. What are you getting? It's like a uh, chicken and broccoli bake. It's very tasty. Okay, I I don't know if I can get the magic carps from here. I'll try. Oh, this this guy's coming close. Okay, I mean, we can get that one. He might be the only one. <laughs> Level 16 too, so I can evolve him. That's pretty good. Oh. Can you swim? Not very well. He chose you. <laughs> like, he just came on out to say hey. Oh, there's gotta be something cool in here. That hopefully does not kill me. 
This is leading out in the zone. There's a machop here. There's a blue one. Don't have space in your satchel for that item. I, I have to make space in my satchel for that item. Yeah, you use the grit dust. I have balls of mud. Oh. Let's get you. Yeah, the echo the echo effect here is really cool. Sky Tumblestone. I can take a, a flying type. Let's get some food. Fight. Aerialize. I didn't mean to kill him, but it's fine. Oh shit, we can evolve! He's already there, level 17. He's about to get even more dapper. Doctor Who has evolved into Matt Smith. It's incredible. It really does look like him. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, discard the mud balls. Gotta take grip dust. Oh, look at him. Go. Okay. Uh, we'll catch these guys for experience. They're level 16, so if I catch more of them... Assume that's good. I was hoping I could get the other one. Right, just train on him. That's fine. Do some training. And we'll just get some food in while we're here too. It's probably a good point for it. I gotta not die on stream. I've been really bad at just remembering to eat during, like, work and that lately. Oh. We'll just go- we'll go a bit more casual here and, like, we'll just, like... I'm just gonna farm a little bit. If I see an encounter, I'm just gonna trigger it. Um, if you guys want, and if you want to ask any questions about the game or whatnot, like, now might be a good time for it. Go and just chat. I keep forgetting I have false swipe. Yeah, I do actually need to use that for catching shit. Where is this cave? Um, I kind of just went right a while. Wait, no, what? I already have a Geodude, don't I? Yeah, I do. Would you recommend buying it? I mean, I'm having a lot of fun so far. I'd mostly just say, like, if you're on the fence about it, watch the stream a while. See if it's the kind of game you think you'd like. I'm having a lot of fun. I've been very excited about this. It's cool to see Pokemon do something different for once. I think even the fact that it's different, even if it's... You know, I, I'm, I'm not too far into it. Even if it ends up a bit shite, the fact that it's different is really good. I would say. It's just refreshing. Uh, where are we now? God, we're very high up. Benary! Oh, no, no, no! Get him! You're not getting away. I wonder how shinies work in this game. Do they just appear as shiny in, like, the overworld? Oh, 
swift. I've always wanted the idea of a Pokemon game where... Oh, it ran away. <laughs> I've always wanted the idea of a Pokemon game where you can just, like, explore a lot more freely. And this seems to be that, so I'm just very happy. Okay, there's more bunnies here. Uh... Come on! <laughs> I just don't want to connect. Wait, no, I'm not running away. False swipe. Shinies are shiny in the overworld and have a star around them when you first see them. That's really cool. I am tempted to kind of shiny hunt something, cause, just because this one's very different. I've tried to do like a shiny hunt in like every Pokemon game. <laughs> Get at least one. I get it for realsies this time. Is it multiplayer? As far as I know, I don't think so. I mean, you can trade with people, apparently. That. There's got to be something cool up here because this was like really off the beaten path. Reward me for my exploration game. Jeez, I'm high up. There's Pride Rock in the distance. Oh, he saw me. Okay, there is one currently chasing me. <laughs> I really suck at the stealth. I'll get better at it. It's a combi. Okay, they hear you if you roll. Oh, even when he's shocked, you can still catch him. Oi! <laughs> You're not getting away. Punch the bee. When are we gonna have a Pokemon game where we finally have like a sword and like we fight alongside? Just pick up an Aegis Slash and hit someone. Get the B population! I think that one it was so close that it bopped off of him. <laughs> yeah, he had enough. Okay, now, now they're just fl fleeing for their lives. There's Scythers over here. Oh, we gotta get one of them. No. That's fine. I can just kill one. I was gonna kill one anyway. Oh! Oh no!
Okay, we'll get him this way. No. Oh, it is a double battle! I was wondering what happens with this, yeah. Okay, get one at least. So it does actually work like that if you get into like a big fight. Okay, I want to try capture this one. Double hit. Don't do it. Okay, that's fine. I just keep going into whatever I have left on the team. Mime Junior, it's your turn. Use a heavy ball. Better capture chance. No. Please get in the ball, Cypher. Heavy balls for heavy Pokemon? Not in this game, apparently. Different, different mechanic. Okay, get that. You don't have space in your satchel for that item. Great. Can I, can I upgrade the satchel space? Because like that's like my biggest complaint with the game already. Like it is infuriating me. Yeah, I I, I need I need to like get that soon then. <laughs> okay, we'll go we'll go back and get some more soon. And I really despise when games are like you can only carry so much just to like limit the amount you can play. It's like I just want to stay out here. Oh, it's just another one in the tree. I'm trying to find one with the marking on it uh, for Vespaquin. Not so far. Number defeated has increased. It's a, it's a little log there. Got a piece of wood. Uh, there's something up here. There's a giant tree that way. Where am I? I'm really far away from where I should be. I get it, Benary? I'll get you now! <laughs> God can evolve! You know, I think this time we actually let God evolve. We need him for, we need him for Pokedex completion. There's a Star Raptor out there, oh! Yeah, I'm gonna let God evolve this time. You get to see him ascend. He's evolved into Mega God. Super Jesus. God got new ideas for a move. It's the sequel to God. Well, God's at the end of the game, like, apparently. Like, he's infused our phone already. That's just Bidoof, but in a grander form. Yeah, I think this time, this time we may not have the Bidoof only run. Doctor Who is leading the charge. 
That's the Eterna Forest music. Like on pan pipes. Uh, a handy log of wood that we use for anything. I don't know if I need that. Uh, can I craft anything down? Okay, I can make a stupid amount of these. We made 41 heavy balls. And 43 pokeballs. Let's take the mushroom. Psyduck's over here. There's a lot of Psyducks over here. They seem very chill. They don't seem to mind that they're being caught. Like, at all. Just get rid of the local Psyduck population. Their heads are empty. Get some Benaries. I think this is the fastest I've ever been able to catch Pokemon in, uh, like, like in any Pokemon game. Cause like, you can just chuck like two balls and just instantly get them. Like when I get back, I'm gonna have to like just sort my boxes a lot. Um, but I mean that's okay, I I'm just getting so much XP. It's fun just catching shit. Uh, a black tumblestone. I only have one citrus berry. These mystery charms have not served me well. I can discard that. I'd love to get that star after, but I don't know how to get him down. Get that. Humble stone. Don't have space. Uh, that's a fire stone. Oh, we probably want that. Just... Use that. Okay, so you just get them from, like, random ores, do you? Seems it. What's that? Oh, that's a Silcoon! We don't need to worry about the Wormpool if we catch this. There we go. Number caught during daylight hours is the specific requirement. That's so cool. Okay, I mean, we have to try explore the wood over here. Still no, no female combi. Quick scope MLG moment. <laughs> yeah, maybe just do like a sick like double twirl or something and chuck it. When are you gonna get Charizard? I'm not. I hope he's- I really hope he's just not in the game. <laughs> Please. I don't want to see him. Also, do not tell me what is or isn't in the game, please. Thank you. I'm, uh, spoiler free. I'm keeping it spoiler free. Cheers, folks.
What is this? The Grand Tree Arena. Oh, there's gonna be something here. Music all mysterious. Can I like hit the tree? <laughs> Doctor Who is a little less judgy now. He's mellowed out a bit. Can I get ahead of him? The light's flickering real weird. Here's the way out. Yeah. That's a bit spooky. I wonder if, like, you can find the original old chateau or something like that. Like, meet the ghosts when they were still alive. I don't know what's causing the slight- Oh, no! The slight flickering as well. I think it's just the light in the trees. Being caught a bit weird. If I have to guess. Can I just walk over this part of the river? Yeah, it's shallow enough. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna just finish my food real quick. Oh. You've angered the side to destroy your world. It really seems that. It's weird, because seeing the Pokemon in the wild like this and knowing that they can attack you, it makes a lot of things scary that normally just aren't. Like in the main games, it's like, oh no! Pokemon! Let me use a Max Repel. Whereas, this is just not the case here. <laughs> Give me one of these in Unova. Unova is so much lore. Yeah, I I'd love to see it for that. Could be like a cool environment too. Drink. Yes, you may have heard a can of soda open. <laughs> I have a, a, a water bottle as well. So don't worry. We're staying properly hydrated today. Got him! What are you drinking? It is a cream soda. I've never had one before. Giving it a go. They don't really do them here in Ireland. Okay, get him! Do I want to catch him or just defeat him? I think I just defeat him. Might as well. I can get points for catching and defeating them. Like, it works for both of them. A springy mushroom. I needed one of these, didn't I? Um, I will discard that log for now. Cause I feel like I might be able to get more springy mushrooms. What brand? It's like the important questions. <laughs> A and W. Dust talks, please. Do a pole, but for like the brand of my drink that I currently have. <laughs> That's an interesting question. What brand do you think it is? Answer correctly and I'll have a sip. <laughs> what is even the reward for something like that? It's just like a lame stream interaction. <laughs> So immersive on the like the RT game Twitch channel. Constant calls. I'm just having so much fun just collecting shit. Look 
how far we've gone. Heartwood Grand Tree Arena. We're still going. Oh, I thought that was a joltic for a moment. There's a barrel there. I guess we didn't need to evolve God after all. Get whatever's there. was jumping up and down. Where, where's the creature? Investigate. Surface is covered with moss. Touching it feels good somehow. Oh, is this just where you level up? Um, Eevee. To become Leafeon. We're in like the uh, what would be a turn of forest. Yeah, that's Leafeon's rock, I think. Dodge the bees. I keep thinking I'm seeing like Pokemon. It's like, oh, sweet, an Apsil! You can just grab it. Let's keep going. I will get back to the main objective soon. I just want to catch a bunch of shit. I really want to get back to that zone I was in. Oh no. Just leave him be. There's a lot of honey out here. You cannot go any further. Okay, let's just take care of this bat real quick. God. Use a strong style of roost. What, is, what does that do? Let me heal stronger. Oh, it does work like that. Yeah, that was 75%. I don't have space in my inventory. I'm very tight on space. Uh, <laughs> do I get rid of the charm? Let me see if I can craft anything first. I can craft all them down. Okay. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to be able to take the lop on it, like... These ones do seem super scary. I can try it, though. I can try get a capture on it. If you roll, it makes noise. Okay. So, don't do that if you try to be sneaky. Come on! Yeah, she's on to us! Maybe she'll turn around. There's a tree in the way. You don't see me. This is not a crit. It's like, could you please stop doing that? <laughs> Heavy ball. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Let's engage the combat. A level 40 Lopunny. No, my junior. <laughs> Okay, it does take recoil damage, though. There is actually a chance. Weasel, it's your turn. Strong style Aqua Jet. You're gonna die anyway, Weasel. Do what you can. That's fine. Recoil is good. We're weakening it. Strong style water pulse. It's really good. It's in the range now where we might be able to catch it. We're gonna get one shot at it. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, I, okay. But well, it's just gonna kill God real quick first. <laughs> okay, I get one shot. <laughs> oh, we're gonna black out. Does it matter if it's a heavy ball? I don't think so. That's only if you hit an unsuspecting Pokemon. Okay, we're gonna chance it. Come on. We almost got it. We did defeat the Lop Bunny, at least. Experience Candy M. It has been compressed into a cube. For some reason. I'll take the cube. Okay, if I travel back, I'm gonna have to wander all that distance again, but I kind of have to because I have no Pokemon left. Yeah, I got I gotta go back to the camp. Okay. Uh. Well. I mean, we, we still defeated it, and we got the cube. Uh... I wanna see my Pokemon. Okay, God, we're gonna box you for now. We're busy trying to level up a bunch of things. Uh, Magikarp is a good one to take with us, because it only needs to be level 20. Everything else, we keep on going. Uh, use this. Doctor Who got a new idea for a move? What is it? Change moves? Can learn Magical Leaf now. Is Leaf Hitch better than Magical Leaf for this? I, th I think it is. Next summary. I I've got more attack on this, I think, than special attack. Yeah, I do. Cool. And then we just put all of this. Put the charm away. <laughs> I can use that to draw Pokemon's attention. I, th those are good in theory. Did I complete any of the missions that people had?
Complete a Pokedex entry for Starly. Uh, catch a Weasel and give it to Dorian. Oh, wait, no, th those are still the requests I did before. I just haven't turned most of them in. Complete a Pokedex entry for Cricketot. And you can actually see the rewards for it as well. It's so weird having like a quest log in Pokemon. Oh my god. Okay, let's head on back out then. I have Pokemon again. Uh, did I complete the entry for Starly? I thought I did. Yeah, I do. I just have to go show it. It's a cool regional decks of Pokemon as well. I mean, I'm expect I knew all the Sinnoh ones would be here, but like it's cool to see some of like the extra ones just brought in. There's mainly just Eevee in that. I'm happy to see. I'm excited to see what else there is. Rank up for stuff. Oh, I should do that, shouldn't I? I should just head back. Yeah. No, you, you, I think I think you're right there. I'm lazy, so we'll teleport up the hill real quick. Report them. Getting a lot more money. Pokedex is updated. We get another star. Go back to Captain Silene. Return to the village. Let's get that, and then we'll head on out again. I hope Salanda is in this game. Salanda will be cool. I hope Whimsicott's in it myself. I do love Whimsy. Okay, let's just get the star first, see what we get. Uh, if someone wants to point out here where I can upgrade my inventory space, that would be amazing. <laughs> because I just want to be able to carry more shit. You've made progress. It seems you've earned yourself a star. Nice. It's ten total to get. Second star in the expedition team. Can I use Fetter Balls? Pokemon level 30 will obey me. The rewards are more generous. Recipe for Fetter Balls. Super Potion recipe. Pretty good. There's requests on the board. It seems a band of bothersome Badoof keeps sneaking into the village and causing trouble. Okay. We'll just we'll just pick up everything we can see here. Larissa from the security corps has a request for us, something to do with Zubat, I believe. Okay, uh, the man by the stairs for inventory. He doesn't have anything. Do you mean the guy outside? He's not offering anything right now. There's a request over here. Looking for a pickle and stone. Use the right size to fit atop one of my pickle pots and heavy enough to put a nice firm pressure on the pickles while they're fermenting. Oh, go get a Geodude. Okay, I, I have one of them. Uh, where? Where is she now? She disappeared before I could hand that in. Teleported away. I, I, I have what you need. Need to 
continue the story to unlock bag upgrades. Okay. I'll get that. I can't talk to him for some reason. Like, at all. There's nothing for me. Uh... Okay, we'll mark that one. She's gone out- she's ran outside. She was in here and then she left. Get to return to her people. Okay, she's over here. I think there's- is, are there any more side quests available on the map? No, it's mainly the ones I've picked up already. She's gone. <laughs> okay, uh... What's the weakest Geodude? Yeah, there you go. Level 8. Really does look like a rocket. It seems to be the ideal weight, too. Pickling stone. Okay, we'll come back later to see what delicious pickles have been made. Uh, are there any- anything more here? It gives you 33 each time. Just get a bunch of them, like, we always just need more balls to chuck at stuff. And they all seem to use apricorns. Did the word dude in the Pokemon universe canonically come from Geodude or what? Which came first? It's an interesting question, ain't it? <laughs> He's got no more recipes for sale. A ball that flies fast and true, ideal for catching nimble Pokemon or Pokemon that fly high in the air. Those sound really good. Yeah, we probably want to use them. Put those away. Uh, I guess I can use that in a mo. Don't know why I'm crouching right now. There we go. That's the guy at the restaurant. Do you got anything new for me? I don't think he does. I should probably get a few revives, shouldn't I? Can I make those? Make six of them. Yeah. That just seems smart. Uh, is there a limit on the amount of Pokeballs I can carry in a stack? Or am I just free to make as many of these as I want? I can just power up the potions as well. It's 999. Cool, so yeah, you, you can carry a lot of them in one go. Pretty good. Put those away. I've never once used them, just put them away. Okay, uh, Starly Pokedex entry. We'll just hand in everything. Turn in every side quest we have. There's got to be some kind of reward if you do, like, everything in the game. The markets on their foreheads are different. Now she wants a Starly. Uh, here you go. Do you wanna- do you wanna pet it? <laughs> no! You know, quite satisfied just looking at it after all. Besides, it might let loose a move. But outside a survey corpse, the security corpse could actually do something so frightful as approach a Pokemon willingly. God love her. Okay, another tent. Starly's the cutest thing in the world, but she wants nothing to do with him. Okay, 
catch a weasel. Uh, that one's done. Starly, use Aerial Ace. Just say, order an attack on this poor woman. <laughs> oh wait, this is a different job. He just, they just want some orange berries. There you go. Happy the hell. Handed in like every quest. We got three revives for that. That was that was really good. There, there's the weasel guy that we were supposed to go to. Oh god. I like how you can answer no, I didn't want to help you, but fine. <laughs> I had no interest, really, in helping you, but sure, go on. Have, it, have you brought me a bigger weasel? One that's at least around 2-8 would be great. Oh my gosh. It actually has to be bigger. This one's 2-3. This man wants a tall weasel. Okay, well, we'll put your request to the bottom of the list then. Okay, uh... Bought us some Bidoof as well. You really gotta track a lot of quests at once. Oh, they're building the new house! I don't think that was there before. You need to catch a Zubat and show it to me so I can take its eyes! Oh no! She wants to kill a Pokémon! Uh, well, this was the weakest one. Let's take a look at those peepers, if you please. Where are the eyes in this little guy? Don't tell me it doesn't even have eyes! Oh, God. Well, just give... Do you want a partner Zubat? You can take this one if you want. Just please don't kill it. <laughs> please, please do not murder it. Okay. Uh, learn more about the request with the bothersome Badoof. I will get back out in the field again. Heck, that, that, yeah, that person just straight up wanted to kill the Zubat. Steal their eyes. It's pretty out there. Oh, it's the Bidoof. But they, they seem pretty carefree. But they're not that much of a problem. You can't handle three Bidoof? Add a Bidoof to your team and go find the bothersome Bidoof trouble in the village. <laughs> Alright, let me... Let me go get wood real quick. We evolved God, so we have to bring a different Bidoof now. Doof meta. I just seem to be causing a lot of issues. The 
You should let the guard down as long as you have another Bidoof with you. Uh... We get a rare candy if we do this. Do I just have to scour the village looking for, like, where they are? Or just summon a Bidoof? Are you Bazoof? Gotta go play hide and seek. You missed one already. I just didn't see him. I don't see like what trouble the Bazoof are even causing in the village. Like everything seems fine. As far as I can see. I can hear Pokemon cries. Oh! There's a Bidoof. Aw, oh, look at them go. Okay, so we, we literally just have to find them. <laughs> they're so chill, like they're not even causing trouble. The Badoos just, they just want to say hello to like their neighbors. There's a Badoo, like look at this Badoo! What trouble is he causing? Oh man, I really like the pasture that I got in there. He was eating the fence a little. Okay, maybe that one was causing a bit more trouble. He was eating the fence a little. <laughs> uh, he's eating. He's eating a wagon, right? Okay, you can't be doing that, Badoof. <laughs> you can't be doing that. <laughs> They're gonna eat the village. <laughs> you imagine just like a Bidoof like swarm that comes in overnight? They're like termites? Oh no. That puts all these little troublemakers safely in our custody. Now to give them the old heave ho. Hold on. It'd be a shame to just send those Bidoof back into the wild, no? My construction corpse could find a use for them. The Bidoof have been hired. Are they supposed to know our village is a strict no chewing zone? It was good taste on their part to come all the way here to gnaw on our woodwork, too. Gonna stay here, I'll have to help with our work. Got the guts to keep trying to get into the village, plus the teeth to gnash true trees and rocks, just what our corpse need. They're hired, the Badoof's got a job. It's wonderful. Bought us some Bidoof complete. We got a rare candy. Okay. Uh, I think we're all up to date with our side quest now. Have to get a big Buizel. Uh, I have a springy mushroom as well. Didn't I get one? Yep. Okay, uh, let's head on back out. We're all good. Does the music ever change? I, I don't know if it does for the village. It seems like it'll be like a more calm zone. Okay, let's give this guy his mushroom. gonna make us something. 
Go back to the story? I'm having fun just doing, like, getting lost in the world. I think that's, like, the real nice thing. I don't- I almost don't want to do the story. I just love exploring. Cake lure base. I really want to try to get that lop honey if I can. Yeah, like, it's the dumb little- like, these little side quests and that is honestly really cute. Pokemon's always kind of needed, like, more stuff to just do. And this game's, like, kind of providing, like, a lot of that, which is just really cool to see. Exciting. Oh, I do need to change my team slightly. Hang on, I need to... Yeah, I need, I need to leave the Bidoof behind. Uh, let's see my Pokemon. Let's get Magikarp. Cool. Okay, uh, let's go explore again. Apricorn. I think I just threw him a bit too far. He's okay. He's okay. Okay, so let's see on the map, like, where have we not been? We haven't been around this side of the island yet. We went all the way down there. I need to get Surf or something so I can get to Lake Verity. I, I was aiming for the tree. But if the level 2 star, yeah, he, he knows what's best for him. He's not gonna fight me. <laughs> okay, uh, let us get some other bits. D did I get him? No, he's gone. We need to complete a Pokedex entry for this fella. Catch him while we go. There we go. It's so cool just catching Pokemon so fast. I really want to try shiny on in this. Because I imagine a lot of it is simply just cycling spawns. Oh, there's the cherry berries. So, there was a guy who wanted those. Was it him? It was him. Jeez, you could have just shake, took the tree down, man. You throw a berry near wild Pokemon to grab their attention and keep them distracted. <laughs> I love that they just, like, disappear from the world. <laughs> after you've helped them. My task here is complete. Is the game good, RT? I'm having fun. Uh, watch the stream a while and make your own choice on whether you think it's fun. You don't need me to tell you. I trust your judgment. I'm enjoying myself. That. Here, track heights. All right, we'll go. We'll go over and see what's happening here. Seems like some dead end zone. Just a big stone. So even your professor decided to join us. Oh, he's here. What? Why is he here? <laughs> Goodness, I got here in time. Oh, he, he, he just wants to take a picture. <laughs> Great to have you here, Laventon. 
Come to pay tribute to a special Pokemon, a Pokemon descended from one of those ancients. Blast by Almighty Sinnoh. Is that a... Yeah, it's a cricket tune. That, that's not it. <laughs> that's only a troublemaker here to disturb the peace with its racket. Demo whoop! That's what you're here for, Grandad. To drive that interloper from this place. Let's ensure your Pokemon are ready for battle. Oh my word, what a large specimen! Okay, so it's stronger. Oh, we can take it. Careful, Grandad. Size is a potent weapon in and of itself. I doubt this alpha is a powerful and hardy foe. Okay. There is a little tutorial on the alpha Pokemon. They appear to be very difficult to catch. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's not gonna let me do that. We have to fight it. Okay, go on, Doctor Who. Press the Y button during battle to check the action order of all Pokemon currently battling. It shows the order in which Pokemon will take their upcoming turns based on their action speed. It's based on the speed stat. Okay. Giving us more info. Uh, for the attack order there. Oh, it's only level 12! Uh, just hit it! Neat! Well, that was easy. <laughs> you really are an impressive one, aren't you? You're some of the best alpha like that. It truly reminds me of a legendary hero of old. Let's make sure your Pokemon are taken care of after facing off against such a strong foe. We year. What in the world? Oh, it's the new Statler. It's the great... Is it Weird Deer? Weird Deer? Weird Deer. That's a Weird Deer. Statler, but he's got a beard. He looks upon you with kindness, Grandad. <laughs> So the great weird deer has taken a liking to you. That is fortunate. He's a seen Pokemon that can dash across the expense of Hisui while bearing a human on his back. Human he deems worthy, at least. He's a blessing to us all. A Pokemon letting someone ride it. Why, it's just like the ride Pokemon of Alola. Okay, where are we in the Pokemon timeline? But <laughs> What year is it? Professor Lavington, Grandad. Captain Silen, send me. She said that once Grandad carried out this request, we were able to set up a base camp. Oh, we can travel here now, maybe. New base. So you leave the region as a land created by Almighty Sinnoh for the sake of its Pokemon. As your goal is to coexist and thrive together with the Pokemon, you can imagine you should also be allowed to use this land. Okay, we get a new base. We'll get a reward later. Cool. Here, I don't know where it is in the timeline, because a ride Pokemon already exists in the Alola region. I want to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, we need to stop fearing them and start getting to know them better. It starts with completing the Pokedex. Okay, new camp. Oh, 
Look at that. Yeah, so we can just hop back here. We don't have to go so far away. The Heights Camp. When you set up for the village, you can ask to be escorted to this base camp to start your excursions directly from here. Yeah, it just saves time, don't it? Oh, uh, we're gonna head home. I kind of want to stay out back out there. I did not get much from that report. So the next rank, I need another thousand. I can probably get that quite soon. If I go catch some of the level 30s again, like I'll be fine. Okay, the usual potato mochi, please. I'm gonna end a lot of our days at like the wildflower, I feel. <laughs> Just let us catch Pokemon and definitely game. I guess the, I want to get back out there. Like, if you all heard the grave news. Like, we're back here eating potato and I want to, like, catch a deer. That frenzied Cleavor from the rumors ended up mauling some of our galaxy folks who went out to investigate this morning. The medical corpse had a hard time getting all the injured back on their feet. This is the Cleaver that was poorly struck by powerful lightning, yes? I hear he's been behaving most erratically since then. Ooh. Oh yeah, it's all up to Grandad again. Yeah, that's fine. We get to fight something new. They're dead? <laughs> no, they just didn't make it out alive. We lost three men again. <laughs> Our boys aren't coming home. Good morning, Grandad. <laughs> you hurry to the commander's office where he decides to use you for sumo practice. It's a cute little touch that they take off their shoes when they go inside. At least in these homes. Uh, I don't really have any new costumes that I want to change into. Do I? See, and uh, you step here? Instant transformation. <laughs> That's very cute. Okay, uh, well. Oh, I just needed to show that guy the mushroom, right. Let's put it all in there. How many item boxes do we get? We get six. Cool. Give me inventory space. You haven't saved in forever? It auto saves. You're fine. Me here. Thank you for the 100 bits. Happy birthday to you as well. Hope you're having a good one. Game's been very fun. Who's being punctual? Finally realized you're wasting almighty sinner's precious time by bowing to a sham. Oh. There you go again, insist, insisting on your false image of Almighty Sinna as a ruler of time. People follow the Almighty, true Almighty Sinna. The font of all creation and ruler of space. You could have all the space there is and still not know what to do with it. Excuse me, are you really suggesting you make better use of your time than we make a vast Hisui space? Better than some. It's a miracle you showed up on time, Almighty leader of the Pearl Clan. Where do you get lost in the pointlessly vast space you're so fond of and never show up? We get lost in Almighty Sinnoh's great gift to the Pearl Clan and our world's very basis. Oh, Jesus. Wish I hadn't let myself get dragged into arguing with you. Almighty Sinnoh, forgive me. What a waste of time. Okay, so obsessed with time, man, and obsessed with space, man. But, lady. Off to Cavada Cavada's office. Pick your version today, diamond or pearl. Don't forget antimatter man. <laughs> Sadly, no. 
The woman with the reverence for space is Aridia, a leader of the Pearl Clan. The man who was going on and on about time, uh, Adaman, leads the Diamond Clan. The Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan grudgingly coexist at the moment. Apparently things used to be less peaceful. But the boss, I mean the commander, is waiting. Save this conversation for after you report to him. No one cares about Giratina. <laughs> it's very sad. Wait! There's a new request! Stop everything! I saw the dandest thing. Scurring that in the heartwood for crops we could grow in the fields here when I saw it. Pokemon called Cherim changed its appearance before my very eyes. Oh, I haven't encountered a Cherim yet. Okay, to bloom or not to bloom. Cherim has like a form change based on if it's sunny or not. Uh, Persos, thank you for 500 bits. It's my birthday today, I uh, really enjoyed the game. Legends of Arceus also looks like a pretty cool game. I really enjoyed the stream. Happy birthday to you as well! We got two of you today. Hope you're both having a good one. Thank you for the bits. Okay, hop on in here. Give me inventory space, please. Just make life so much easier. The office is up here. We get to choose a side now. Did you buy Legends Arceus Diamond Edition or Legends Arceus Pearl Edition? What do you intend to do about that Cleavor commander? Maybe descended from a warrior of Almighty Sinnoh, but look at the mess he's causing. You can't sit back and let him rage on. You do get right to the point, Adam, man. Time wasted is lost. Every second, like, someone started counter for like every time he mentions space, and then every time, well, every time he mentions time, and then every time the lady mentions space. Because I feel like it's gonna be a lot. Cleavor is a precious lord of the Pearl Clan, is he not? That's the point, my clan can't intervene directly where a lord of the Pearl Clan's concerned. If people were to do something, our two clans might end up back at each other's throats, just like we used to be. Back in time. Even even folk of the galaxy team have been wounded, haven't they? Seems someone's gotta do something here. Who they will the Diamond Cloud the Pearl Clan bring down one of its own honored nobles. I don't believe I said that. Thought it, maybe. Might as well have said it, you fool. You don't even know what drove Lord Cleaver in such a violent frenzy. No mentions of time or space yet. We're waiting. This is Grandad, the newest member of our Survey Corps. <laughs> Heard from Ma, you earned uh, Weird Deer's favor. Good to finally meet you, stranger from the Rift. <laughs> I'm Adamad, leader of the Diamond Clan, if you want to be formal. That's a mouthful, just call me Adamad. Came from beyond the space-time Rift. Could you be from the space where Almighty Sinna is said to reside? I'm Aridia, leader of the Pearl Clan. Caution and foresight of my watchwords. Do I have trouble believing such a tale? Is you really a pass through that rift? Okay, so I gotta I gotta have a look at Cleavor. I'm gonna decide the fate of the kingdom here. And they're just gonna bicker a lot. Being a good leader isn't a matter of time, it's a matter of embracing Hisui's vastness without fear. Well, there you have it. it. If how new you are doesn't matter, let's give this kid this chance. I'm Soul Commander, let's try this your way. Okay. Give this a go. Oh, they're weirded out by Pokeballs. <laughs> Almighty Sinnoh made Hisui vast so Pokemon could live freely throughout. It's vast in terms of space and landmass. We're meant to stand alongside Pokemon, not count ourselves above them. Not use Pokeballs from a desire to control our Pokemon. 
Only so that we can live together. I was to show you what we can do. So did Team Galactic basically invent Pokeballs? Or what will become Team Galactic? Because it's like Galaxy Team Galactic? Psy Lead is the leader? This is your mission now, Grandad. I order you to study Cleaver and help us find the truth of this situation. Ah, uh, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the very sky above us. People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work yourself to the very bone. <laughs> you can just turn it on so it's trapped. Oh, the woods Cleavor is descended from an almighty, from Pokemon that was blessed with almighty Sinnoh's own power. No other Pokemon you've yet encountered can compare to his strength. Be warned. Okay, they've come to the Hisui region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call us interlopers. Us and Duen and the threat in our relations with the Diamond and Pearl clans. Understand. <laughs> She's just watching. I've been here the entire time. <laughs> okay. What's the mission? I have no idea how the game's progression is gonna go. Like, there's def obviously like the ten ranks. Uh, but there's nothing like gym badges at all, which, which is actually quite cool. You don't know how the game's gonna go. It feels weird to ever say that about like a Pokemon game because historically it's like, well, you get eight badges and beat the Elite Four. And I think they've only like put a twist on that like twice. And like that's it. <laughs> I'm just excited. Like I don't know what I don't know where it builds to yet. I have no idea. So lavender in the briefing, if you please. They requested to find out the cause of Cleavor's friendly frenzy state. Cleavor is strong. I'm afraid I didn't even come close to catching him. He was a far trickier opponent than even those aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle once they're riled. Okay, so he's a very angry boy. His mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? Uh, no, you know, I'm not really sure. <laughs> well, you've no choice in the matter. <laughs> oh, gee. <laughs> I just want to get back to the retirement home. <laughs> We've offered to express their gratitude to these Pokemon in locations they call the Noble Seats. It's a good starting point for our research could be to find what sorts of offerings they normally leave for this Cleveland. Granddad, we need to speak with you. Oh. This night rift in space-time seems like it connects this world to a whole other world. The world might be where Almighty Sinnoh itself resides. The true Almighty Sinnoh, that is. The one that rules over time. If you fell through that space-time rift, that might mean you travel through time. Almighty Sinnoh's own power. Think of it, you must, must have been just swimming in its divine might. I've got a favor to ask you, oh amazing time traveler. Don't just study Cleave or quell its frenzy. Oh god, oh, am I gonna have to make a choice whether I like, uh, catch it or just kill it? Is that gonna determine something? I don't know. I'm gonna just try catch it, honestly. It does I don't care, like... That's why, that's the main thing I wanna do. I'm always gonna catch it. So, I, I wonder who prefers that. Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Cleaver. You heard his title, Lord of the Woods. I'm sure, they're about to get this under control too, but it's hard for them to come out right, right out and ask those of the Galaxy team of all people for help. And the truth is, we in the Diamond Clan have a similar problem on our hands. A Pokemon dear to us, off in the mountains, has flown into the same type of frenzy as Cleaver. There's certainly bad blood between us and the Pearl Clan, but still, I'll get to share Hisui, and that means we ought to tackle our problems together. There aren't many people capable of standing up to such a powerful Pokemon. The best hope we've got. 
find Cleavor at Grand Tree Arena. Okay. Oh, we, we've actually already been there. Uh, Leon is a brilliant child, but also a bit well. Sometimes brilliance can be blinding, you know. I'll tell you about his beloved Cleaver, whether you wish him to or not. Okay, we just gotta head back and catch it. Yeah, Adam and I weren't wrong, you know. To study, perhaps even quell Cleaver, you best start by visiting his abode. New Heights Camp will be a handy place for setting out towards Grand Tree Arena. Stop by the pastures too, choose your Pokemon. Cool. Abra's just chilling here. Okay. Are you going to give me bag space? No. I live in hope. Yes! <laughs> he heard me! He's got something. Oh, his name is literally Baggin. As in bag. <laughs> you learn the trick of packing things in. I can teach you if you like. What do you say? It's gonna charge us a fee. Made space to keep one more kind of item in your satchel. That's all there is to it. You see how much more you can fit in by packing things rightly. I'm gonna be able to carry even more things. There's more I can teach you. What do you say? Oh, okay, he's gonna just go up in price every time. It's only one slot at a time. I I need I need the space. Well, yeah, I. I I have to keep paying him money, so I have a little more space in the same size bag. It doesn't make sense though, because it's like, a, like a, I can carry like a thousand Pokeballs. But if it's full, then I, can, I can't carry a second kind of Pokeball. It's two Pokeballs or a thousand of one type. He's teaching Tetris. I, mean, I I gotta take him up in it. There we go. What's his next fee? Just so I know, it's twenty five hundred. <laughs> he has the nerve to lecture me because I didn't pay that time. You know, you might die out there. I know you just got my course like seven times. Okay, that's a lot better. So I, I can carry an additional like 13 items now. Is it 13? I think so. It's a bit it's a bit hard to tell. No, it's it's eight more items. Still pretty good. That's the extra space we want, and I'm gonna expand that even more as soon as I can. Key items, though! Look how many of these you can hold! <laughs> Why is there so much room for that? Oh, I thought I had uh, something for one more of those. Uh, it's fine. We'll use it. You store in Pokeballs inside the others. It really seems it. Alright, there's a new side quest available. Let's go pick it up. I didn't find the guy's, like, last satchel, did I? Anvin needs some help. If you tried to craft something using a special recipe I came up with. Pokeshi dolls. Three logs of wood. Okay, can I, can I buy the wood off him? Does he just have it? No, he doesn't. 
He hasn't got any new recipes as well. He might get some more later. Okay, we'll pop them away. Organize the satchel. I can carry a little bit more stuff now. I'm gonna try keep a charm with me. Uh... Oh, and for the MP points, these are the items you can get. It's all the evolution stones. A Lincoln cord. A string exuding a mysterious engine that makes you feel a strange sense of connection. It's loved by a certain Pokemon. It's literally just buy a link cable. <laughs> and you can evolve them. That's so cute. Uh, this gives us an idea of some of the Pokemon that are actually in the game. As well. I, I mean, all the evolution stones are here. The ice stone is here. So that means that probably, like, maybe like Alolan Ninetales in that is back? I can't remember what other Pokemon to use the Ice Stone. There's not a lot of them. Porygon's in it. Uh, Magbar and Electabuzz lines. Rhydon line. Metal Coat. A Dusknor line is here. The Razor Fang and Claw means Gliscor and uh, Weavile. Does Eevee... Oh, Eevee can just use it for Glacial now. Yeah, that wasn't always the way, though. Yeah. Dawnstone, that's probably Gallade and stuff. All the Duskstone ones. That yeah, just gives an idea of some things to keep an eye out for. It's cool. You can also buy rare candies there. They look a bit different. It's like a rare hockey puck. Okay. Uh, let's press on them. We're gonna get back out into the field and catch the cleaver. Quickly seeing if he has anything. How does Porygon exist before computers? That's a good question. Maybe our phone is how he's made. How are things, my good friend? Oh, Volo's still here. Certainly hope you're putting that secret backstrike technique I taught you to good use. Do I have some have some super potions here just for you? Oh, okay, they're just very helpful. Supporting you now is actually an investment in my own fortunes. And now I must depart. There are runes that are just calling to me. See you later, Volo. Uh, so now I can go to the Heights camp. We just have a new one. Oh, we're back out. Okay, we gotta go catch the deer that's up here somewhere, too. I heard there are Pokemon you can only spot at night. Sometimes they'll just appear quietly with no warning. Pretty creepy if you ask me. Okay, there's nothing to report at the mo. Uh, there's no side quest to pick up right now, either. Uh, it's just go down to the arena. Annie's lost satchel is down there. Wait, did I, is, is that the one I saw? Or is that someone else's satchel? Annie dropped her bag. Oh, we gotta go get that. We gotta go get that. Okay, so to get across the river, I have to go back to the bridge, I think. All right. It's a bit of a trek, but I, I want to see what happens if you actually pick it up. Let's get going. Annie won't be okay until you get it. Probably in a lot of trouble right now. I'm sure it's fine. Going, if we go back there, then that means we get to chance some of the higher level Pokemon. 
But now we have way more supplies of our own. We might be able to get further than we did before. Come on, Cricket Top. Just delaying the inevitable. I love just chucking a ball in his face. Oh, he ran. Oh, we spooked him. Some more cricket thoughts. Keep making our way around. Second person shooter, you're the one getting shot? Oh no. Grab one of them. I can hold so much more shit now. I'm not scared of the higher level area anymore, too. Mostly. I want to see if I can catch the Snorlax or something. I think I, I'm going to be able to soon. Did I ever catch a Beautifly? I don't know if I did. Let's go get one of them real quick. Did you catch the Floatzel? I didn't catch the Floatzel. Uh, let's see. Get one of those. I, I don't think I need them to pick those up. I think I can just grab that. I'm just very lazy. Okay, let's have a look over here. I definitely caught a Silcoon, didn't I? No, I don't know if I did. Did it get away before? Well, just to be safe. Yeah, number caught two. I can definitely get a beautifly now if I if I fail to catch one here, which I very well might. Well, you do it 100% or do a Nuzlocke of this game. I, I mean, I think it's pointless to do a Nuzlocke of this game, like, right now. Like, let's just enjoy it because it just came out. You know, it seems kind of stupid. You just suck the fun out of it. Oh, I didn't mean to kill that. Um, but I, I mean, I do plan on playing this game through, at least my end. I don't know if I'll do the Pokedex and that completely on stream, but we are going to be playing this the next while. Like, we're just taking a break from Bloodborne to basically play this game through. Because I'm mad excited for it. The Iron Defense, I might be able to... Chance hitting it with this. Oh, that's too much. <laughs> I didn't bring a regular potion, did I? Oh, I can make a regular... I can make a regular potion. I have the kit for it. I love when the music takes off as well. It's really good. Beautiful I cut. I 
think a lot of this music is remixed versions of Gen 4 tracks as well. You can hear, like, bits of them. Which is just so... It's nice little attention to detail. Luxio is a lot bigger than I thought. I think that's just supposed to be a big Luxio, though. Back there. That's the Alpha one. We, we can start fighting the big guys, then. I, I want to get the Snorlax. But he's strong. We gotta try it, though. I want to get that lock honey if I can. Having a access to a level 40 Pokemon at this stage in the game seems wild. And there's the Snorlax. Uh, you okay up there? Doctor Who? Just, just hit it. <laughs> oh, it's gonna hurt. That, that was a crit. Okay, that's unfortunate. Go in the shell ass. Doesn't matter if it just dies for now, like the experience gain is massive on these things. Like we just got new moves for like several things there. Uh, change moves? We got Roost on this. Change that. Uh, change moves on this. Can I get anything new? Okay, the rest of it we just gotta level up a bit more. I'd love to get the Snorlax. I think he'll see me if I'm here. Heavy ball. For a heavy boy. <laughs> he'll never cat he'll never see me. <laughs> Keep chucking them. Is it possible to catch the Hyper Pokemon? Without battling? Oh! We might have to battle it. I mean, if it's seen us, there's no way about it. Oh my god, he's scary. Catch him, the chance is very low, though. Okay. Heavy ball, too heavy. There's something oddly menacing about him making the, like, the boing, boing, boing sounds when he's, like, also simultaneously trying to murder us. Okay. 
Oh. Panic throw. He might be on to us. I feel like I'm going to be there a long while trying to get him. The lock-on shows the catch indicator. The lock-on doesn't always work. See? I'm doing the lock-on. It's level 45. Oh wait, no, it's just X! Does that mean it's just not possible? Am I just too low a rank? Let me try on the, uh... The fucking lock-on. It doesn't like to work. Good chance of catching that. Lucia level 17. It might be an X because it's in a hyper form. Okay, get through here. You gotta get that pouch. Pretty good items over here, but like we don't even have the stuff we can use for crafting it. I'd love to get that Abra. But like he he keeps on disappearing. his friend yeah the, the, the like the lock on this is what I mean lock on is not actually that great it says there's a chance of catching that it's level 32 Dabra's looking at me funny. The problem is, yeah, the lock-on's range seems to be less than the actual... You could throw the Pokeball this range. See? I, I couldn't lock onto that. But I could chuck that. We caught a Drifle him. Got another one. That's so much experience. I mean, this is how we're gonna grind some levels here. You didn't see me. I'm trying to catch a level 32 Luxray right now. He sees me. Yeah. Yes, he does. You lost your warden charm. <laughs> the warden charm fucking sucks. Yeah, I'm get. I'm getting this, Bucko. We caught him? <laughs> wow!
I'm just surprised that I'm able to actually catch these things. Like, and semi-reliably? There's another one? Oh, the Wormadad's back. Let's try and get it this time. Fall Swipe does so little damage. There's no strong move of it, unfortunately. You're okay, Doctor. Give it an old chuck. Don't run. Okay, items, uh, I probably want to use a super potion. She just toss it to him. <laughs> Here you go, Doctor Who. Patch yourself up there. I, I can weaken him a little further. I'm just kind of wary of killing him. Oh, but he's not wary of killing me. Do a strong roost. Please, Wormadan, I just want you on my team. No, I don't want him on the team. I just want him for the Pokedex. Defensive stats returned. Okay, that's as good as it's gonna get. That's fine that he's dead. Can finish the job from here. Throw the ball. Getting angry. How is a Wormadan causing this much trouble? We caught the Luxray easier than this. Thank you. <laughs> huh. Oh, we got a Gyarados now. Something about Magikarp looks weird, and I can't quite place it. Like, here in particular. His mouth's closed. Yeah, I think that's what it is. There's something just not quite right. Okay, I can learn Twister now. Cool. Okay, well, we got the Wormadan documented. I think after doing a run of here, I'm gonna have enough to get the next rank. Uh, craft, we'll just make whatever potions we can. We can make a lot more Pokeballs as needed. Remember you've evolved one. I think something saw me. We'll pick one of him up. Good job. Oh, look at that, they're right there, they're right there. No idea. Come on, catch one of them. 
No. Just keep chucking balls. We'll <laughs> get him eventually. Okay, the satchel was down here, wasn't it? Got a bit further to go. Uh, here was the Alakazam. We, we really don't want to touch him. Oh, they see me. Juniors around here, isn't there? Jesus Christ! The satchel was around here somewhere, wasn't it? It's over here. Let me just catch you. Come on, stay in the ball. I want the experience, thank you. Where's that satchel? Over here. Is it here? There it is. The satchel was sent back to Annie, thanks for helping. We did it! Oh, there's Gastrodons there as well! I'm just killing this one. We're not letting them live. Give me the experience for the team, thank you. Move mastered. Yeah, like... Dark Trace, like, Doctor Who here is almost at final stage evolution. Already, which I'm honestly amazed by. Gastrodons really don't care. Catch some of them. There's a Mr. Mime out here during the day. Oh, let's get him too. Come on. Get him. He's running away this time. Oh no, he's got a wall. I can't, I can't get him. Okay, he's looking around. I was hoping it wouldn't do that. That's fine. Defeated our first Mr. Mime. That's alright. There's an Abra there who seems very slippery. I don't even know if there's like a daycare or something so I can get Abra on itself. By itself. If there's not, then I actually really need to get Abra, like, here. Oh no. He's just kind of waltzing away. It's okay. Alrighty then. If the Alakazam fight could go that easy, that would be great. <laughs> Shouldn't have rolled. Oh no, there's another... <laughs> Keep moving. Oh. <laughs> Jesus 
somehow he didn't see me. And now we approach the, the buggy Luxios. Capture one of their friends. Oh god, they like circle you, which is kind of scary. <laughs> Can I get that? I, I don't even know if I can attempt the Alakazam. I feel like Alakazam is just gonna get me killed. Uh, what does that mean? Lost and found. Oh yeah, a thank you gift. 55 merit points. Okay. Let me look at the Alakazam and just see if it's even possible to catch him. Lock onto him. Nope, yeah, we're just, we're just not even trying that. The lock-on seems kind of scuffed. I'm happy to try to catch some more, uh, Lux Rays. But, not the Alakazam. Oh look, the Lux Rays are coming for us! God, there's a lot of them. Okay, let's get out of- Jeez! Let's get out of here. Weirdly, I feel the most confidence against Snorlax, but Snorlax is probably going to be brutal in of himself. The Lopunny actually had recoil, so maybe the Lopunny's the one to go for. Ow. <laughs> some of that. Go rank up. Do you think I can rank up already? If I'm gonna go back and rank up, then I'm gonna, like, try the, um, the Snorlax. We'll leave with a Gyarados. Maybe the Intimidate still works. <laughs> oh, no! Okay, we'll watch from the cliffside. He was able to take one. Strong style. Okay, I still have my strongest Pokemon. Go, oh, Doctor Who! Leafage! Oh, no, Doctor Who! Looks like we're in a tight spot! Use Leafage again! Damn, he's tough! Said everything we've got. Oh, 
Must keep using strong style. It's doing nothing? Okay, Mime Jr. has hypnosis. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. He's drowsy. He's dead. Right. Uh, just aerial ace. It is sleepy still, so maybe. It's too drowsy to move! <laughs> Ghost Arabia! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, this is as weak as we can get it. It's all up the weasel. Go, Pokeball! <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Wait, no, we get a second chance! I don't have to run yet! Go, Pokemon! Damn it! Times you've aer aerial ace. Six out of six. Nice. I think I got him. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, I'll see you later, pal. <laughs> He's just like watching me leave. <laughs> oh wait, I, I, don't, I don't need me to put the stamp. There we go. Okay, report findings. Isn't that six thousand dollars for my work? Pretty good. Pokedex is being updated. Artrix research is complete. Pretty cool. Uh, we didn't get enough for the next rank. Uh, but that's okay. Yeah. Uh... See my Pokemon. We can swap out the Shellos now. God, my boxes are such a nightmare. <laughs> There's just shit everywhere. Uh, what level does a Psyduck evolve into Golduck? Thirty-four. Okay, so, I mean, that's gonna take a while. I reckon we'd have another chance. Uh, to get... Yeah, just catch a gold in the wild somewhere. I don't need to level Shellos anymore, either. Put him away. Uh, I can level a Cricketot. We now have a Luxray, so we don't even need to bother with Luxio. Uh, Baneri is gonna hate me forever, so I'm not even attempting to level up that one this time. Last time I tried Baneri, it's just, like, it never loved me. I've been hurt before. Uh, what level is a goal is a Zubat for a Golbat? Twenty-two? Okay, that's perfect. So yeah, we'll level up that crowd next. We're just still trying to just level up stuff that can evolve. Perfect. And then balls, we'll just make a cheeky 84 of those. <laughs> make some revives. Improve the potions.
Uh, I'm gonna make the honey cakes. Why not? Attract the more monstrous Pokemon as well as dragons. So if I pop one of these out, am I gonna get like a fairy type? I think that's what that means. Okay, and we want to just pop away supplies. Uh, just wherever we can. Keep those ones with us. Cool. Okay, let's keep going. The deer kind of just disappeared while we were up here. I need to use Doctor Who again. Can I get up that rock? I don't think so. It's where I gotta go. Let's make tracks! Oh no, my knee! <laughs> oh no. Oh, that's quite a bit to drop. Uh, can I get that back if I just walk over there? Lost and found. So, someone else can go find that now, is that right? Yes, they can. Okay, well, if you're a kind soul out there, and you happen to see my lost equipment at the cliffside, uh, I'd appreciate it if you retrieved it. Be very kind of you. That's a big parasect. Is that a, uh... I can't tell if it's hyper or not. <laughs> yeah, it might be. Just catch a child real quick. Please stop attacking me. Can't get that. I haven't been this this side of the world yet, have I? This little side of the map. Yeah, there's a this person here. Hello there. You ever come across a tree shaking and swaying? Oh, okay. It's a, it's a Team Pearl member. I feel like I'm gonna actually have to choose at some point between Diamond or Pearl. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if they make you pick. Okay, more cricket top data. I don't even know what's there. Mystery Starly. Is that a monstrous barrel? <laughs> Oh no! It's a false god! Seriously, like, the lock-on functionality? It is! <laughs> Apparently I can catch it.
says it's possible. This way. There we go. Just, just kill him. She's like demonic. An alpha by peril. It's got fucking icy wind. All right. Bit, bit specific. Times four super effective ice type attack. God, that's unfortunate. I think we would have been fine otherwise. Okay, strong style aerial ace, take no chances and just finish it. The alpha ones seem to give some uh, experience candy rewards if you defeat them, which is cool. Doctor Who leveled up. Oh, leveling up keeps them alive. That's interesting. Yeah, and we can get our cricket tot evolved. are way too easy on Pokemon. This game is a technical, ugly mess. I I'm having fun. <laughs> I'm having fun. I don't know what to tell you. It's a good time. There's a side uh I feel like some people are just coming in the stream to say, like, this is why the game is shit. But, like, I, <laughs> I'm actually having a great time with it. I keep spotting, like, the occasional messages, like, LMAO PS2. <laughs> I'm really enjoying myself. Like, there's literally never been a Pokemon game like this before. It's cool. If you don't like it, that's fair enough, but... I feel like some people have to make sure other people don't like it too, which is always a bit weird. <laughs> uh, people ask me like for my, my opinion on the game, like, is it good, is it good? Just watch a while and see. If it looks like you might have fun with it, give it a go. If it doesn't, don't give it a go. It's fair enough. I'm gonna snipe him. How did that mean? He's running. Go to the tree. Alright, well this is the big tree. You have to for meet Cleaver. I'm Leon of the Pearl Clan, the warden to Cleaver, Lord of the Woods. And you, I've already deduced that you've come to meet here to meet Cleaver. I'm right, aren't I? Of course I am. I can see it so clearly. For all, the powerful, awesome Cleaver has become even more awesomely powerful. After that strange lightning the other day was Almighty Sinus' divine power. That hat he's got reminds me a bit of Clay's hat in uh, black and white. I don't know if this, is gonna, this kid's gonna be like his like great ancestor. Whoever it was, it struck, my, it struck my lord and left him imbued with awesome might. I must turn you away even if it pains me. It's too dangerous for you to meet Cleaver right now. 
<laughs> That's that thing. <laughs> Please let me in. I need to be there. Well, that's okay. That's understandable. I'll call back later. <laughs> Truly, you mean to simply give up? Is your passion for Cleaver so paltry? <laughs> but, well, I'm afraid your passion is not the real issue here. I've been told in no uncertain terms by Iridia that I am to let no one near Cleaver. I will fight you off myself if you insist. You should avoid battle with Draw now while you still can. Face the wrath of my Gumi. Okay, I'll see you later. Doesn't appear to be home. All right, let's let's uh, let's face the rat of Yagumi. Go on. You don't even realize I'm turning you away for your own safety. How sad you are. Go, Gumi, and see if you can ooze some good sense over this foolish troublemaker. It's the fucking Gumi. <laughs> it's level 15. Good fight. <laughs> the battle has been decided. How can this be? <laughs> I may have been defeated, but my point still stands. It's too dangerous to meet Cleaver now. The only welcome you'll get as you approach him is a flurry of devastating blows. Normally, I'd simply try making an offering. Nice heaped helping of his two favorite foods. Served up with respect by his loyal warden. It's me, of course, is usually enough to please him and soothe the prickliest of moods. Even I, Cleaver's loyal warden, can't get close enough to give any offerings now. Not with the way Cleaver is rampaging and running amok. There's nothing that an outsider like you can do. Oh, th I thought that's not me. That was a bit of a weird cut. I thought it would go back to me next, but all right. The ancestors of Cleavor, Weirdir, and their cohort drew on Almighty Sinnoh's own power to protect Pokemon and people alike. So it's said. By their grace, our clan to any of us still lives in vast Hisui today. Iridia, what are you doing here? As you say, Cleaver's grown even stronger, but I'm afraid that strength posed a problem for us. He was indeed struck by that lightning. Could the bolts have been sent by the false Sinner, the Diamond Clan bows to? Oh god, so they, they, they actually just believe in like... A, they think that the other believes in like the false god. Two bullets, thank you for the five gift subs. Cleaver means so much to our clan. I hope we could bring the situation to control ourselves, not throw our hands up and ask some outsider for help. We must save Cleaver from this frenzy. Every moment it continues, the danger grows. More people at Pokemon are attacked, it will lead to conflict with both the Diamond Clan and the Galaxy Team. Well, the Pearl Clan seems more reasonable <laughs> than the Diamond one. Even, like, because Pearl Clan's just like, well, we must do something to ensure peace in our time. Diamond Clan, yeah, can you kill it? <laughs> Okay. Could an outsider actually find a way to quell a lord's frenzy? I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. <laughs> Commander Tassie would investigate in this mess, didn't he? Leon and I will gather foods that please Cleaver in hopes that we might be able to get close enough to make him a proper offering. As for you, find a way to quell his frenzy, even if you have to search every corner of Vast Asui. Oh. I've got a text message coming. Mysterious power now enables you to return to base camps in an instant. Cool. Alright. I thought I could already do that. Yeah, I, I, I could just click go here. Can I just go in and, like, fight it? Is it here? Eh. What do you make of this, Doctor Who? 
He's no idea. <laughs> Faye, thank you for 500 bits. I love games like Bright Blue Wild and Skyrim and grew up with Pokemon since Red and Blue, so I'm pretty hyped to play this. Thank you for the streams. And no problem, thank you very much. Yeah, Breath of the Wild is like my favorite game. So it's just, it's really cool to see even something like emulated style even roughly. It's not quite that, it's just an open world Pokemon game or so. It's still like a, it seems to be a strict semblance of progression. Oh, I need to go back here. But it's cool. I'm all for it. Okay, uh, organize the satchel. Put them away. Cool, we're rested up. I gotta go talk to him. How you getting on, Grandad? So that's quite the tidbit. He's English too now. The servant of his favorite foods would always make Cleaver quite agreeable. Is that it? Is it gonna be curry? I'm gonna be amazed if that's what it turns out to be. <laughs> we just gotta bring it back. We had all the curry mechanics introduced in Sword and Shield. Oh, I'm so close to getting that next rank. I just need to go out and catch a few Pokemon. I think even if I catch that Eevee. I'd love to get the Eevee, because the Eevee is something I would use. It's according to the information you were able to learn from Iridia and Lean of the Pearl Clan. For this the normal course of events, that Frenzy Cleaver will be calmed by a nice servant of his two favorite foods. So we need to we need to bait him out. We need to make his favorite curry, but with the wrong spice. So he gets real pissed off. Okay. He's gonna check his notes. <laughs> this is his study montage where he doesn't open a single book. He just looks at the spines of them. There's books on this shelf. I wonder if there's something useful in them. Of course! I should open the books! I simply have to throw the food. You've quite the art for throwing things, haven't you, Granddad? <laughs> I didn't suggest you take Cleaver's favorite foods and throw them at the Pokemon. Yeah, that'll sound like it'll calm him down real well, Laventon. When I'm real stressed after a day, nothing calms me down more than having, like, my favorite meal chucked in my face. Please elaborate. <laughs> Use a skill the Pokemon crafted to shape Cleaver's beloved foods into balls. Then throw them to achieve the same common effect, but from afar? Are we gonna make a Pokeball that's just, like, shaped in a banana? Look at tea time balls. It is English. It is English. It's happened again. <laughs> Everything has a weird English inflection. They can't get it out of their heads. <laughs> Why would you simply call them lavender balls, Professor? Why would that name it sound like I'm the one being launched in our frenzied friend? In any case, we can rely on the Pearl Clan to gather the necessary foodstuffs, correct? We should get back to the Grand Tree Arena and let the Pearl Clan know our plan. We need to make tea time balls. Oh, uh, teach me how to put some extra space in my bag, too. God almighty, it's getting expensive for the inventory.
The price is four grand now. I've got quite a bit of extra room now, though. It's like, we have ten extra slots. I don't want to worry about running out of space again. Actual highway robbery. It started off reasonably okay, but now it's just extortion. <laughs> it's so rough, the fee. Uh, are there any more jobs for us to pick up? I didn't catch any new weasels. Did I complete Cricket Top? I didn't find a single cherim. I need I need one more cricket top. We're so, just ever so slightly off. No, I, I I don't need anything from him, do I? Uh, I can go to the field real quick. And just see if there's anything I can pick up. I can also go to, like, uh, Zisu here. And see if there's any new moves I can pick up. Swift and Rest. I don't really want Ominous Wind. Okay, uh, Harvest has been grown. It's weird, like, it indicates that the harvest is ready when there's nothing left in the field. 62 apricots. Oh, we got a bumper crop. 62 spoiled ones, though. We'll try a medicinal harvest, just see how much it gives. Oh, the Badoof are helping. Look at him go. So bored, I wish something would happen. Okay. I talk to everyone I meet, so I always learn something new. Great to see. Uh, let's just go to the ranch real quick. Using this game sounds good. It is good. Kind of just hits the right notes you want. Okay, uh, put that away. Uh, we get to take one more to try level up. What would be a good candidate for leveling up that we haven't already gotten? Uh, document in the Pokedex. Mime Jr. is currently being leveled up. I could take a Geodude and try to get a Graveler that way. Psyduck, I feel like we're going to encounter Golducks at some point. There is a lot pony out there, too, that we can get. Um, we actually done pretty good so far on the Pokedex. Maybe it is just Geodude. Combi, I don't think we have a female Combi. Uh, yeah, I, th I think I just take a Geodude then. I don't know how to evolve into Stantler into like his new form. New form seems really cool. I'll take a Geo dude for now. Go for Rapidash. There, there's a Rapidash in that zone. I reckon I'll be able to catch. Head on back out. Well, how's it going? How's the team certainly got themselves a grand headquarters. I'll give them that. I guess I came because I had some news I thought you might be interested in. Ready you actually see what's going on, though. Let's head to, what did you end up calling it? The Heights Camp. Keep going. Oh, the deer's here. Hello there. Weir. I spoke to Weir Deer about what's been going on. Told him how you've been trekking all over the field and seeking a way to quell Cleaver's frenzy. All this from someone who's not even part of our clan or the Pearl Clan. Just some wanderer who fell through a rift into this world. 
And hearing that, well, you can see how he responded. Trust you appreciate it. Where it is found you wordy, you see. Which means you'll need a flute like we have. Mind demonstrating for him, my. This is very important, so listen well. Oh, it's the Azure flute! That's a- oh, not quite. That's a Celestica flute that Mai just played. It's a precious tool that can be used to call him weird deer so you can ride upon him. That the Celestica flutes were given from Almighty Sinnoh itself, and now this one's yours. Flute that we can use to call special Pokemon that are willing to bear you around the region. Its timber is eerie and mysterious. It's not that grand a gesture, really. I can't play the flute for the life of me. Let's play the flute. Weirder, Weird Ear opened its heart, his heart, and learned well the sound of your playing. I oh got sorry, I'm just checking my phone real quick. No, you received the mind plate from Weird Ear. Okay. Now use that Celestica flute wisely and gallop across the land with the great Weird Ear. You got a frenzy Pokemon on the Quell at Grand Tree Arena, haven't you? But we're dear, you can gallop across the fieldlands in no time. You can now call on it. Okay, we can we've we've got a mount now. Avoid falls from high places while riding about. They very much know you're just gonna like flub it off the edge. Oh hang on, what, what does he want real quick? Fishcakes, thank you for the five gift subs. Magic, thank you for the 500 bits. Thank you very much, guys. Try your hand at the balloon race. Just need to burst as many of my adorable balloons as possible while riding a Pokemon. I managed to burst, say, 17 balloons? That's a very specific number. Okay, I mean, we so we just got this, like... Magical Pokemon that's gonna like is so noble and is going to help us in our mighty quest across the land Balloon race time I'll give it a try <laughs> Look at this majestic Pokemon go Can dash with it too. How do how do I jump? Why? Okay. Oh, I imagine there's gonna be something for getting all these, isn't there? I think I might be able to do all of them. Camera is a little jank while you're riding. 26, that's pretty good. Okay. Three combs of honey. You wanted 17 for a start. So the quest is complete. I got I gotta get it all. Forget our, like, main quest for, like, just a moment or two. This is more important. Okay, you can dash pretty much forever, too. <laughs> well, that's this run down.
Go as fast as we can. Oh, that's the last one. Yeah. I got 29. <laughs> Give me 10 Pokeballs for it. I gotta get it. If I didn't miss that one turn, I would've got it. Alright. Got it that time. I haven't seen a real Drifloon in the wild yet. <laughs> Only it's paper mache form. There we go. Every balloon. You deserve something special to mark the occasion. I got a nugget! It's five grand, and a rare candy. Pretty good. Pretty good, I'll take it. I okay, put them away. Uh, for the time being. Oh god, and you can just activate it whenever. That's so good. This game's version of the bicycle. Just jump. Can I throw balls while I'm on it? I, I don't think I can. That would that would be kind of crazy. <laughs> flying through the land it's like let me just catch everything from here now there we go that's the last cricket talk I think I need it too so let me click on the light real quick I hear what you doing <laughs> All right, I'm back in time. That's so cool though, like, we, we just have a mount now. We can travel so much faster. We can just go back to like maybe the hard zone, like if we make the jump. <laughs> no! <laughs> Almost. There's a world where you can make that. <gasps> There's a star after! Oh! Oh! I would really like to catch you. No, wait, no, that's just a Star Ravier. Oh, that's not as exciting. Oh my god. <laughs> just just run, run away real quick. <laughs> well, nothing's ever going to be able to, like, stop us anymore now if we're in, like, low health. And we can climb up, like, all, all the slopes now, I think, too? We can use items pretty liberally. Like, we, we have so many. Yeah, can, can I just go up that? You can kind of Skyrim horse it, yeah. It's wonderful. Huh? 
Okay, there's a Krikatoon on a rampage. Uh, kill him simply for the experience. I can try to catch him. I want to see if you can, like, straight up catch one of those Pokemon. I don't think you can. Level 30 alpha Pokemon is fantastic. Unless it kills me in one shot. Okay, hit it for everything. Oh, they can use styles. Oh no. I really want the experience of Doctor Who as well. I want I want to evolve them. I want to get my Decidueye. Strong style. That's so good in terms of stats. Pop all the experience on Doctor Who. I, I really want to get him up. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? I, I'm just gonna. I need to catch some more Pokemon. I'm like so close to the next rank anyway. I think, like, if I check this 240. I just need to catch like some more ranks of Pokemon. So we're just gonna go on like a mass catching spree. If we can. Keyword is if we can. You definitely alert a lot more when you're on the deer. Yeah, we'll go- we'll just go to the tough area again. Cause like, when I was there, like, I get a lot of experience off everything as is. Oh, I gotta be careful of the height. There's a drift loon! Haven't got him. Nice. Okay, that's that's got to be worth something then, just because that's a, like an unrecorded one. How many? What's the convert? For yeah, the conversion between like the tasks to points, or does it just like vary wildly, depending on what the task is? Get another drift loon. Step on a cricket top. That's a Munchlax! Oh! Hello there? I really want to make sure I get him. Caught unaware and is too stunned to move. He's looking around. Munchlax has a low catch rate. Lower him. Items. We got a Munchlax. I'd like to imagine he's a rare boy. Just 
just leap across the river. <laughs> oh, what is this rain effect? <laughs> it's, it's a bit jarring. It's fine. Hello there, Snorlax. Okay, I so I just need to like do research, but but by, by like catching a bunch of something here. Oh, it gives you an idea of how many regions there are too. Obsidian Fieldlands. There's five icons there. Maybe it's scrolls. I don't know. Drifloon research level is two. Pikachu is in this region, apparently. Machops I have not caught. Okay. I'm gonna do some catching. I want as many Drifloon as possible. They give a fair bit of XP, too. Fine. It, just ignore them if they get aggroed. Woo! They're a bit friendly. Catch him yet. That's one. You don't see me. <laughs> I think they might see me. They all keep... <laughs> Hello, friend. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, the drift, loom co the drift limb colony is angered. Run away a moment to the safety of the Snorlax. <laughs> Catch what we can. Oh, they've all gone home because it's no longer night time. At least I think. Yeah, they don't give nearly as much experience, do they? Jeez, why was that locked on? Let's get out of here real quick. Another Luxray would be good. You didn't see me. I think I lost that one. Catch another Abra. Could you come back, please? I don't know if he's gonna... Alright, we'll see him later. <laughs> I 
I gotta get better at like the angle or like the range for that. That's pretty good. Please. Please go on the ball. Damn it. I can try the heavy balls. If I get closer. Gotta get real close with them. That that almost missed. Or do I like, didn't make it? A bit dangerous. <laughs> he really doesn't want to come, does he? <laughs> He's hanging on for dear life. Ah, oh, it's just all Luxios now. The, 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 the Luxios, like, they don't help as much. I need the Lux Rays or the Driftlim. The Driftlim were perfect. Cheeky here. I'm not even getting them. Like, that's the thing. Like, nothing wants to come anymore. Uh, that's okay. I guess we'll just head on back. Let's go to the tree and... Oh, I'm being chased. You know, I, I I was I wanted to get like level three, didn't I? I just need to catch a few more. Go back here. Let's get let's get the Eevee. Make it easy for us. We do, we really don't need much. We might even have enough now. Quick field report. You're kidding me. <laughs> All right, well, that's my fault. Guess we gotta go back out. <laughs> that's kind of stupid. Uh, there was an Eevee about here, wasn't there? Do we know where said Eevee has gone? They probably move about a bit. Badoof. Ponyta. Like, I, I just need something. Interestingly, the Pokedex is not organized whatsoever. It's just like whatever order you encounter them, that's how they appear. Press Y. Oh, it does organize them. Okay. No, does it? Chronologically, alphabetically, numerically. There we go. That makes it a lot easier to find. This gives us an idea of what the Pokedex even is for the region. How many Pokemon are we looking at? At least a hundred. 
A chop is 154. Go. Cool. And then here's numerically for the obsidian fieldlands. It just makes sense to order them like this. I would love the Eevee. I guess I also don't know too much about the pony test, so I should probably just catch some more of them. Oh god, I don't I don't wanna catch him. I don't think I'd be able to. I would love if the lock on worked. I'm a sneaking. Cannot be caught. We will try anyway. No, we're not, not going to be able to get that for a while. Okay, just, just catch some random shite. Nothing wants to be caught all of a sudden. There we go. Where did the fuck did the Eevee go? I think I've caught enough Badoof. I don't think I need to keep worrying about them. I want. Thank you for the 500 bits. Thank you very much. Worm pulls. I feel like I've gotten enough of you too. Just in case. Catch a cheeky one. You can never have enough Badoof. The thing is, I really think we do have enough. You don't see me. That, that hit him. <laughs> There's the Eevee. Go. It's only level four. Just get it with the false swipe. Weasel, you fucking scared it off. Okay, task with unreported data. I I have enough. I have enough. I'm never gonna get that Eevee. I would absolutely love to have one and like use it. Evolutions are some of just the coolest Pokemon. It's only Bidoof's in the hills now. <laughs> okay, report him in. Straight up make a Badoof lineage. You probably could. I could just catch every single one of them. Plus 60 points. Thank you. Uh, it said that there was a... Uh, Timber of the Fields? Is that uh, my... Current quest?
Oh, that's the tracked one, because I, I now have uh, that completed. There we go. Yeah, to yourself. Cricketot Ladies quest complete. Cool. Uh, let us head back to the village real quick. Because I can get another rank up and that increases rewards of everything. This game is so fun to watch. I'm really enjoying this. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm glad. It is very fun to play. I'm having a great time with this. I'm excited to kind of get like our, our Decidui. We're so close to him. Okay, I rank up here. Here's your Pokedex. Three stars. I like to think that's pretty good. You can now use Great Balls. Pokemon of level 40 will also obey you. We get the recipe for Great Balls. That's so good. We're going to be able to catch so much more stuff with that. It's the same as a standard Pokeball, but then you just chuck in an iron chunk. Wonderful. Right, people have spotted a Drift Loon. Have you left the first area yet? This game looks meaty. No, I haven't. I'm like, we're what, like seven hours in? It's pretty good. Um, well, I didn't catch the fucking Eevee, so I still can't level that up. Uh, I could put the Munchlax in my party. If I doubt my ability to eventually capture that Snorlax. Let's see. Playing with Drifloon. Don't forget to stretch and get some water. I do have water handy, so don't worry. I'll be alright. I I've I pretty much set today aside to be like Pokemon Day. Like, honestly, whenever a new Pokemon game comes out, I just get very excited. And it's just like, yep, I, I could do something else. I'm not going to want to. Oh, there's a... Okay, that, that's a glitch. <laughs> okay, Drifloon was playing with one of the village children over on Prelude Beach in the evenings. It seemed like odd behavior for Pokemon, so all of us in the security corps worried its true intentions were to harm the child in some way. Thankfully, all the village children were safe and accounted for when we went to check them. There was one curious thing. None of them seem to know anything about a Drifloon. Okay. Investigate the Drifloon playing with a child at Prelude Beach in the evening. Oh, it's totally a ghost child. It's totally a ghost child. Okay, uh, let's see if we can sleep till the evening so we can go have a look at it. Because the beach is just that zone down there. Was it the evening or nightfall? Hang on. Let me see. In the evening. Okay, it says evening. Sleep until evening. Kid is sacrificed for a Pokedex entry. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Look, it's important, alright? Like we we need to fill it out. No sacrifice too great. It's all or nothing. I 
I wonder how many side quests there are in the game. Like, I've, I've done quite a few. There's definitely going to be more of them. Main quest is at 7. Side quests, I mean, they go up to 15. Some of them just haven't appeared. There's a lot to do, though. Let's go. Yep, yeah, no, the survey corpse guy over here. This child is dead. I want to go home now, but Drifloon won't let me go. Can you help me, please? Oh, gee. There goes the Drifloon. Yay, now I can finally go home. But hey, if Drifloon didn't mean to be bad. It always played together with me. It's real friendly. So I kept it a secret from everyone. Oh, my name's Taki. See you around, Survey Corpse Boy. Taki's been dead for 15 years! It's absolutely about what's about to happen. There's no Taki on our reports! Hop back real quick. You could just like roll it as well. <laughs> the little Taki was trying to keep Drifloon from getting in trouble. All the same, he was in considerable danger. At your help, goodness knows where Drifloon would have taken him by now. Oh, no, apparently it's not that. Okay, we... we actually helped a real child as far as I can tell that's lame <laughs> give us a ghost boy did someone sneeze <laughs> I load it there Eh! <laughs> like, yeah, did anyone else hear that? Obsidian Fieldlands. Uh, let us see. We just gotta go back to the tree. Okay, uh, I'll just keep the current, like, party members that I've got. I think they all need to level up. This is so much easier for getting around now. Uh, don't hurdle myself off the edge. <sighs> Nature's Pantry. Oh yeah, so it fills in all the names of the areas as you go. Cricket Top. Is there anything new? There's Cricket Top congregations in a lot of places. That fucking star raptor LOD. Okay, that's kind of bad. Guys, you need more frames of animation than that. Come on now. You're the most successful media franchise on the planet. You can afford it. <laughs> uh. It's trying. <laughs> Two FPS star actor, but really, like, it is. Okay, let's hop on back. We've done a lot of exploring here. We're missing a few Pokemon. We've done pretty good. You can pick up things from the back of this as well. Ooh. That's cool. Hey! <laughs> Said the galaxy people came up with a med to try quell Lord Cleaver's frenzy. 
We'll mash up Cleaver's favorite foods into balls so he can throw off roots at him. Okay, we're gonna begin at once. Hold on, Lean. Don't get ahead of yourself. Oh, she's still here for whatever reason. Whatever the plan is, you need Cleaver's favorite plump beans. I brought them, as promised. That's right, my apologies, Aridia. I'd forgot, forgotten all about you. Okay. Even though I still have my dad's, but why would you entrust such a thing to an outsider? Don't share our customs or values. But prove to me you're worthy to stand in the presence of our noble Pokemon. I battle by order about the Pokemon you've caught in your little Pokeballs. On my side, I have a Pokemon as close to me as a sister. As one of my blood. You can defeat Glaceon and me. I will entrust you with Cleaver's fate. Will you battle us? Hold on just one second. Geodude would be super effective against the Gl Glaceon. Let us lead with that. <laughs> Wait, no, why didn't it? That's not who I picked! Ah, uh, I mean, it's level 17, it might be okay. Thank God it's not using ice type attacks that are times four super. Oh no! <laughs> Strong style. That did no increase in damage! Ah, uh, Doctor Who, we really did- Okay, right. I'm- I'm using an item. Okay, Mime Jr., you're gonna be the- the sacrificial lamb here. Send him out. Items. Revive. No. I, can this just finish it? Well, good job, Mime Jr. I guess you get to live too. Experience share mechanics, so it works out. <laughs> I see now, Pokeballs are simply your tools of choice, not products of di disregard for Pokemon. You still understand the Pokemon that you've caught and treat them as partners. You'll better put my trust in you now. Think, let me see to your Pokemon's wounds. Okay, well, it's all going pretty well. Because you have to, have to keep your distance, you'll mash them favorite foods together, ball them up, and try to quell its frenzy. It's time for the tea time balls. Oh god. <laughs> A veritable mountain of bombs. This should please Cleavor, if anything can. And then ready yourself, and I will summon our mighty Cleavor. It just looks like we put, like, rocks in little sacks. Oh, I'm ready. I, I might have to heal up Doctor Who, but we'll be fine. Oh, mighty Cleaver, Lord of the Woods. Though it isn't yet the time of ceremony, we've prepared an offering of your favorite things. Benevolent Lord who works his might between the heavens and earth, we offer our gratitude. We beseech you, reveal yourself to our eyes. Listen well, Grandad. Keep your focus on Cleavor. I know your brain often wanders when we're talking, but we really need you to pay attention. Dodging will be vital. Try to avoid his moves as you're throwing the bombs. Grasha! Oh! Oh no, he's narrow so running! It's not a Scyther, it's got axes! It's like a meaner Scyther! He's 
glowing yellow. You claim your victory against no Pokemon and quell its frenzy. You have to throw bombs at it until its frenzy gauge reaches zero. Trying to create an opening in the noble's defenses, you'll be able to send out your Pokemon to battle against it. Win the Pokemon battle and the noble's guards will stay down for a brief time. During that window, bombs will be more effective than usual, so throw as many as you can. Oh god, it's literally got a helper. So, once again, to the person composing their comparison review as to why this game is the Dark Souls of Pokemon, shame on you. Okay, so he doesn't attack. He very much telegraphs it. I'm gonna have to throw a lot of these. I was out of the way. Come on now. Do a very cheeky roll of events. Keep chucking. He's just got a lot of health. I think he's getting a little faster. I can get his health down this way. I might not even need to send out a Pokemon. <laughs> Just keep chucking them. What? Why did I stop moving? Oh no, I got him, but he still he still hurt me in the cutscene. Okay. But just before. I thought I did something wrong. <laughs> oh, he's not yellow. That's a good experience. He looks like a regional cipher. He received the insect plate from Cleaver. Stone tablet imbued with the essence of bugs. When using certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the bug type. I'm gonna have to collect all the plates then as, as a adventure. There's two there. We gotta get them for every type. What happened? Some kind of light erupted from Cleaver's body. Has Lord Cleaver's frenzied mind truly been put at ease now? It's confirmed that the strange lightning was to blame for Cleaver's unnatural power. I didn't have to fight that in a battle at all, did I? I just chucked the sack until I won. I just don't know. I don't have any of the answers you want in this land. This is what I think after all we've seen. We know strange lightning came out from out of the space-time rift the other night. Those bolts must have struck Cleaver and driven him into his frenzy after all. The lightning came from the space-time rift. If Almighty Sinnoh really does dwell beyond that space-time rift and the strange lightning, it indeed was Almighty Sinnoh's power. And were we even right to try to interfere? Happily went along with this plan to create some bombs as if I knew what I was doing like some kind of thoughtless fool. Outrageous. Calm yourself, Leon. I'm about the Lord of the Woods has long been our protector, keeping the Pearl Clan safe from dangerous Pokemon that might harm us. The power sent by the true Almighty Sinnoh have driven Cleaver the turn on us and attack people Pokemon indiscriminately. That's a long sentence. I doubt it. What Grandad accomplished just now. It needed to be done. Ah, we could sell this without further strife with the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy Team. Come across other Pokemon in the grip of this painful frenzy. Please help them. Apologize for coming briefly incomposed. Grateful for what you've done for my lord. Please take these on behalf of the Pearl Clan. Consider it my apology for having spoken rudely to you earlier, and a token of my thanks.
Three berries? <laughs> Alright, sure. Let me care for your Pokemon as well, in appreciation for fighting on our behalf. I think I finally come to believe that you truly did fall out of the sky. Though I can't imagine the reasons at play. Seems we settle things here, though between you and me, wouldn't mind seeing Lord Cleaver in such a frenzy again. He's fearfully strong after all. Am I am I just not able to catch Cleaver? There must be something that lets you go back and get him. There must be. Okay, I, I can do, go back and do that. I need to get more weasels. I need to find that, and then I need to find some wood for the Pokeshi doll. Uh, wood for the Pokeshi doll was about here. Where is that even on the map? That's just that's just back to that camp. Uh, okay. Well, let's get the bits of wood. It was three bits of wood, I think. I see a second one over here. Oh, that's a mushroom. Oh. There's one. I'm just looking for one more. Oh, there's a gold bat! If we catch this, we we don't have to evolve the Zubat. Oh no, why? <laughs> We're just gonna agitate everything as we go. There we go. Level 25, we can take it. Come on, Doctor Who. Doctor Who seems to be having a tough time against a lot of the enemies in this. It's like a lot of flying types that are just shutting them down. Let's catch it. Okay, well we don't need to worry about uh, that anymore. Zubat. Just catch that one there. Catch a few extras. Uh, since it's night time, I probably want to try get over there again. Ava's lost satchel. There's, there's another one that's gone missing. I need, I need to go catch Buizel as well. I'm aware of that. Uh, where did the Buizel appear? The Buizel were like about here. Go get some of them. We need a big one. It's a mean Geodude for some reason. Okay, be careful doing that! Weasel, we're about here. if I can just like leap across the river. I tried this before, didn't we? Come on, make it to the shore. They seem to be replaced by the drift loon at night. They're not here now. Okay, uh well let's go to the drift limb over here, because they give so much experience. I want to just catch a bunch of them. I want to get my Decidueye if I can. Hello, Snorlax. It's good to see you. There's nothing here. 
Getting better at knowing the range of those. Uh, can evolve. That's pretty good. I think it's going to remind me that it can evolve every time now. Go, oh, it's one. Get him. Keep chucking balls. I think I've angered him. No. Nope. Don't seem. Ah, there they all go. <laughs> ah, damn it. I really want to get it up. Up the speed a bit more anyway. Oh, get out of here. Just run away. Okay, uh, go get the weasels. They really do just burn in the sunlight. Yeah, they do. I don't trust myself with him. Okay, where, where are the weasels again? They're back this way. Go explore. And then we'll hand in more quests. What about the satchel? Uh, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. We'll be back that way eventually. They can last a while. Go on. I need a big weasel. Gonna be back over there. I don't see her right now. God, he turned his back to investigate his friend who had just been caught. Okay, we still got one. Let's have a look for that Eevee one more time. It's only two spots I've seen it. Live in hope. No, it's just it's just Badoofs today. Okay, that's all right. Uh, I can still go back and make some great balls, which might even help against the Alpha Pokemon and catching them. I still really want to get that Snorlax. Hope to God that with the weasel I got, it's enough. Okay, just report that real quick. What's your opinion so far? I've been having a blast. Yeah, me too. I wouldn't be streaming it so long if that wasn't the case. I'm just having a good time. You quelled Lord Cleaver, you say? Well done and bravo! Oh, you killed that, like, mythical one. Oh, hello. <laughs> I saw the light fade into the sky. You must have quelled the Lord Pokemon. What do you have there? Could it be? Those are two of the fabled plates of old. Please let me have a look. 
see there are some letters carved into them. Let's see, this one says, Where all creation was born, that is the being's place of origin. Seems to be a phrase from a very old myth. How did you come across these? The Pokemon gave them to me. It's quite something indeed. My heart is practically racing with excitement. Yeah, we gotta get one for every type. I'm curious to see who gives the fairy type one. Because, like, they added that in later games. But that's now, like, an item. I hope they do something with it. Okay, I must be on my way. Until next time. Okay. Uh, let us... Head on back. Just trying to think what else I need to do. I'm checking the map. I have a new request there. I don't have the Pokedex entry for that. I can make the Pokeshi doll. Unfinished tasks first. That makes more sense. Uh, let's make the doll. You can't use your mount in the village. Which is a bit unfortunate. Okay, Pokeshi doll. Take a look. Amazing! Attention, Carvin shows you put love and care into your handiwork. Can they give it a vivid look, that's for sure. Oh! This man really likes his dolls. Thank you. I've saved your Pokeshi doll to my heart's content. It's the same recipe, and yet your Pokeshi doll had a completely different feel than mine. Here, I'll give you a Pokeshi doll I made. With great care and craftiness. So have a look and see how it differs to the one you made. I'm just going to sell it back to him. It can be sold to the general store. Yeah, I'm just going to sell that. Let's get our flow so. Imagine just seeing a weird deer coming at full force at you in the village. Maybe that's why they're not allowed in, actually. Yeah, that makes sense. It might be mildly terrifying for the poor citizens here. Like, oh, I'm coming true! 49 great balls. Just make them right away. Make some revives. Make a super potion. Okay, and we just kind of put away our materials then. There we go. Organize item storage. Organize my satchel. Okay, uh, there's a new request over here, so let's pick that up too. And then we'll head back on out. I think we might unlock a new region in a mo. At least I'm kind of hoping we do. I feel like we've done a lot in our current one. Like outside of going to the lake. You're not going to believe what I saw. A will-o'-the-wisp, a ball of bright red fire. When I was walking on Windswept Run the other night, it leaped at me like, ooh. Add it again with this story, huh? Don't listen to her, mister. My big sis always gets carried away with her fairy tales. Ooh. There's a ghost Pokemon. Catch the will-o'-the-wisp. Windswept run at night. I kind of I kind of like that one. I want to do that uh, And we'll, we'll check in with the weasel guy as well Let's 
see. We need a big one. This damn guy. Is this one bigger? Good gravy, I never expected you to bring one so quickly. <laughs> Why are all the weasels so small? N none of them have met his demands. the one mission I haven't been able to complete. I'm checking the summary. I've caught- I've just caught so many weasel, I just keep catching them and hoping, is this one big enough for him? No, this one's tiny, that one's not even two foot. Floatal's tall enough, but I don't know if we'll accept that. Hired the police. I don't need the zoo bat anymore because I caught a gold bat. Uh, where was the munchlax I caught? That would be a good one to level up. Maybe. There you go. Pop him in there for now. Oh, is Munchlax friendship? Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, he might take a while. I'll just see how long, how he gets on. I'll leave him there a while. Eh, uh, no. <laughs> no. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. I'm just like quickly debating it. It's like, no, we're going to be there forever. Uh, Parasect, that's a, that's a okay one we can get. That shouldn't take too long, hopefully. I would love to evolve a Stantler, but I, I don't know if there's like a special requirement or anything. Oh no, that's something I can do. Uh, Benary is friendship. We, we don't like, we don't like Benary. Benary takes a very long time. Why do you have so many Bidoof? We, we had to catch a lot. We needed them. <laughs> don't, don't question it. Yeah, I, gu I guess we'll take on a Psyduck. I feel like Golduck is going to be an easy catch at some point, but... For the time being. We haven't got many Pokemon that, like, I want to keep in a team at the moment. Like, there's Doctor Who and Staravia, and that's, like, kind of it right now. Everything else is just like, eh, I'm not crazy about it. I would love the Eevee if I could actually fucking find it. Yeah, it feels weird not having, like, a more set team that I'm using. That's okay. Okay. There are more jobs posted. I've had a strange ponytail. You must investigate the matter for the good of science. Okay. Okay, what, 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 what's my objective again as well? Report to the commander. I should do that while I'm here. And I'll also buy one additional bag space with all of my hard-earned cash. Most valuable use for money right now is just this one guy teaching me how to pack stuff better in this bag. I could just get a bigger bag. Well done. Already received the reports of your exploits. That's the Quell Cleaver's frenzy, restoring peace of mind to Hisui's people. You're stronger. You're a stranger to us. 
When it fell out of the very sky, you've served the galaxy team admirably. I admit you have earned yourself some degree of recognition. Things are not settled yet. I receive word that there are other Pokemon nobles fall and pray to such frenzies elsewhere in Hisui. Carry out your research and survey duties and prove that you are truly an asset to us. Okay. Another day done, let's go back to Wallflower. I want to unlock a new region. Give me, give me somewhere new to explore. Three servants of Potato Mochi. Oak Village has gossip up a storm about a young friend here, you know. Got quite some luck to have come back on hand after facing off against that cleaver. His hands are shaking quite badly holding that tray. I don't know if I realized that earlier. Is Penny okay? He seems a bit nervous. I dare say Granddad was well prepared. It was a quick study of how Cleaver moved in battle from what I heard. He did it. Feel safer after safe for going about our survey corpse duties now, thanks to your efforts. By the way, why not try crafting some of these? I made the recipe based on directions Benny gave me. Smoke bombs. Caster fern leaf and a so soot foot root. Soot foot root. Lovely. Now that we need not worry about being mauled by Cleaver either, let's take a chance to study all the Pokemon that call the Obsidian Fieldlands their home. <laughs> Say that. Not that we don't risk imminent demise. Granddad. I've been waiting for you, Grandad. My name's Vesa. Something real important I need to tell you. Would you come with me? Oh. This is kind of a secret, but something terrible has happened. Isui is in a whole lot of danger. Hundreds of years ago, a being that brought calamity to this region was sealed away by someone using the power of a strange magic. But for now, for some unknown reason, the magic has become undone and the seal is broken. I hate to think what might happen at this rate. So please, Grandad, hear me out. I need you to restore the broken seal. I don't believe- Like, Grandad is just the least accepting guy of any th opportunity that comes his way. Like, nah, I'm not interested. I don't know what to do. Ah, oh, you're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that's a normal response to hear such a strange story. I must sound crazy, but you just have to believe me. Can I give you this odd keystone anyway? It'll help you see I'm telling the truth. It's to do with spirit on. Okay. A mysterious stone that can be used to collect wisps that glow with an eerie purple light. After the seal was broken, a whole bunch of wisps scattered across the suey. 107 of them in total. Okay. That's a lot. With the odd keystone I gave you, you'll be able to gather them all. See, the wisps are normally invisible, not to the holder of the odd keystone. That was a huge task, but please, you just have to gather all the wisps for me. There's one real close to where we are now. How about you start with that one? See that flame hovering over there? Try touching it. Okay, so... Is this going to be like a collector thought? That's weird to mention that there's 107 of these things. Why did they settle on that number? This is like Diglett Collectathon, but at least these seem to be a bit more visible. A hundred and eight is a special number in Japanese. Spirit Arm has 107 souls trapped inside it. Right, okay. The Wisp has been absorbed into the Odd Keystone, just as it should have been. Thank goodness I picked you to help me with this. Come talk to me if you ever need help finding the remaining Wisps. And one last thing, as you gather more and more Wisps, I'll give you some rewards as thanks. 
Wait here for you while you carry out your search. Good luck. That's such a weird mission to just give. Wait a minute. Like, 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 they don't, they didn't need to mention how many there were until later. It was just, I need you to collect the 107 spirits scattered across the land. Just immediately. <laughs> like, imagine you just start Breath of the Wild and, like, you find your first Korok. It's like, I have a quest for you. Can you find the other 998 of my companions? Good luck. Wow, the Galaxy Team hairdresser really is, dare I say, cutting edge. Oh, hey, your granddad, the boy who quelled Cleaver, aren't you? Who's to say, you know, I'm not sure of anything that's going on here. Can't fool me, you've got quite the reputation, you know. I mean, you quelled one of Almighty Siddha's chosen ones. Some people are actually kind of scared of you for doing something so bold. I'm Arezu, by the way. I'm a warden of the Diamond Clan. My special skill is given haircuts. Real nice to meet you. Oh, snip, but I came here because you're a hairdresser. I came here to talk to you about Mr. Cabado. See you around. Okay, is, is there more hairdressing options unlocked? Ida is thinking about hiring a successor. Okay, do we get a new hairstyle? No, it's still the same. This won't be very different from your current style. It wasn't a great haircut. We look the same. I'll wear my hat. Just a trim, please. Basically, yeah. Uh... <laughs> okay, we got more side quests being unlocked, too. These, those clothes you were wearing when you first came to the village. Can't describe to you the shock they gave me. It's as if I got a glimpse of the future. There's no mistaking it. You're passionate about fashion, aren't you? Who's to say? <laughs> I'm sure your interest will grow in no time. You're part of the survey corpse, right? Please, I ask that you lend me your talents. I'm told that hippopotas, which can be found around the Crimson Mirelands, have different appearances based on their gender. Feels they're able to see and compare them would inspire me to create new designs for my clothing. Okay. Catch two hippopotas. Okay. Oh my god, there's a lot of new side quests. Well, we gotta, we gotta pick them all up. Okay, they needed Pokemon. They want a Baneri. Okay, I mean, I, I have it here. I don't know if you need specifically a picture. Catch the picture, yeah, catch the Pokemon in the picture. About that request, I think I've got the Pokemon you're looking for. Where, where is my Benary? Oh, there's like three of them here. There you go. Oh, it's even fluffier and lovelier than I imagined from that photo. Get a proper shot. Okay. The villagers are gonna try take more pictures with Pokemon. There's a new option at the photography studio. I can change the screen and the lens filter now. The light green screen, please. Wonderful. <laughs> We're a real gamer now. Hmm. 
not even using it to take a picture right now. It's just like, <laughs> I'm sorry, I've got so many jobs around the block I need to do. There's so many requests that just came in like all of a sudden. I have to find like 107 souls. They're building new constructions, the Badoofs are helping out. But Lammy, you know, you remind me of- you- you remind me somehow of my grandmother! She was always so friendly with her Pokémon, just as you seem to be. Well, that's because I'm Grandad! I might be a relative of hers. I might have seen her in the home! I feel that same aura from you, as if you could become true friends with a Pokémon. Be interested in seeing how friendly you are with the Pokémon you carry with you. Measuring your compatibility. Oh, so he's the friendship checker. Go, please, this to be traveling with you. You're a true friend here, I can tell. My grandmother was precisely like you, the type of person who could understand the minds and hearts of Pokemon. I grew up watching how she interacted with them, so a bit of a knack for sense and how compatible a person and Pokemon are. If you like that, you can keep on coming to show me your Pokemon. I have to inform you at any time how they're feeling about you. Okay. We get a rare candy for that. Neat. Oh, hey, survey guy. You know what you need to do, do to be a super awesome member of the galaxy team? Be s wicked smart. Super brave. No. I mean, I guess that's also important, but you need to have a partner Pokemon. A great partner Pokemon backing you up, you'll be as strong as a hundred people. I really want to catch a Pokemon on my own someday, so I've been throwing balls to get my aim spot on. Okay. He just want he wants some Pokeballs. There you go. Go get your Pokemon. He's gonna give me crit dust for that. That's actually that's pretty good. If you find a Pokemon that would be a great Pokemon for me, let me know. I was hoping I could just pick a Pokemon and like give him a Bidoof. Here's the best Pokemon in the game. Okay, yeah, another side quest. Fetch a plant for me. Okay. Ask her about bitter leaves. Interest. Hey, sport, interest you in some target practice. Lob some balls and try to pop some balloons. Is this just the magical balloon guy? Alright. Oh, I didn't mean to press that. And he seems to just be making the rounds. He's interested more in balloons than anything else. He wants to make the fields bigger. Okay. The ground type Pokemon. Um. Here's another Geodude. We're gonna give everyone a Geodude. Seems we're done. What a trooper. We got two fields now. Okay, he holds he holds on to the Pokemon as well. But you can swap it out, so we can get like a cooler ground type Pokemon later to tend to here. Okay, we're done gathering the harvest. You get quite a bit for that. Uh, vegetable harvest and mushroom harvest is now an option. Uh, let's get a vegetable harvest. That's all my money gone. Okay. Uh, there's a new request over here as well. I, so many requests just unlocked. Like, it's actually kind of wild. 
I'm just like picking these all up. Ah, I mean, not necessarily. I'm not too fussed with more availability. Bring hearty grains. Okay. Uh, hop in here. Got a few bits and bobs, maybe. Is there anything on the board? I've picked up like so many side quests. So much to do. Second floor. Uh, there was someone I needed to ask about something in here, wasn't there? Clarissa. Toshi. Was that Clarissa? Is that her name? It was Clarissa. Small Chibi, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Thank you very much. Good to see you as ever. This game is side quest hell. I mean, you don't have to do them. I'm having, I'm having fun, so that's why I'm doing them. What is the aim of this game? Uh, catch Pokemon, explore, have fun. I don't know. There's a lot of people who are just grumpy coming in, and I can see it. <laughs> this game sucks. Like, and like they just say that and leave. I'm having fun. I'm sorry if you aren't. <laughs> it's like, might I consider doing something else with your time? So it's come to Ursa Luna as well. This suggests that even Pokemon that are not nobles can become frenzied. Receive no word from Adamant or Aridia. Arida, but this is not something we can simply ignore. In any case, you have my thanks, Mr. Rezu. Do well to inform us of Ursa Luna's situation. Okay, Adamant's got his hands full running a clan at all, and Ursa Luna's warden wouldn't give me, even give me the time of day. So the Galaxy team are the only ones who I could turn to about this. Ursa Luna's warden is Mistress Calaba of the Pearl Clan, is it not? Of all the wardens, she is the most narrow minded. Uh, bound by tradition. <laughs> she likely does not take kindly to outsiders meddling in her affairs. A new mission for your granddad. I order you to study your saloon in the Crimson Mirelands. I permit you to show your strength if necessary. Okay. New zone? They're more fearsome Pokemon. That's what we want. At your current rank, you should be able to handle the Crimson Mirelands on your own. Here's what you need to know. Destination is a place within the Mirelands known as the Solosian Ruins! <gasps> We're gonna get to catch the unknown! That's where you find Ursa Luna's Warden. Oh, it's so cool it's just having some of the names dropped as we go. Okay, uh, I need to check for one of the side quests. Actually, I don't think I... Anise? Anise of the medical corpse. Just hop out here. Okay, they're over here. Uh, we'll do the balloons, and then we'll head to the new zone. And we'll see what's hap happening over there. Does anyone else in the Galactic Society actually do anything? I'm starting to wonder that myself, yeah. <laughs> they don't seem to. Okay, we're looking for a plant. 
It's a Pokemon. Find the Pokemon with three leaves. Okay, I'm just trying to get most of the side quests to the point where it's like, I can get out into the world and do them. It's World of Warcraft mentality kicking in. Well, you take it all on. Like, so I gotta do all the talk to a person quests now. Before we get back out. How you doing? Ponytail request, right? Got to have some help at last. Ponytail like no one's ever seen before has appeared in the Horseshoe Plains. Looks so different than the other ponytail, it's a little scary to be honest. Oh, is it a Galarian one? Is this how you get it? Horseshoe Plains and Obsidian Firelands. Or Fieldlands. That's really cool if that's what it is. You, you just get alternate forms of them. I hope so. We'll have to see. It might just be a big red boy. It might just be a big red boy. Okay, we gotta hop down here. Because before we leave, we must help Balloon Guy. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Okay, Balloon Guy, you've gone a little too far here. You've gone a little too far! What was the goal? 10,000 points? Just keep chucking them. I feel like there's gonna be a goal where you have to get a hundred thousand. Just keep chucking balls! Yeah, he, he's gone mad with power. Balloon guy's gone too far this time. 66,000. Okay, three scatter banks. These balls produce a loud noise and scare off weak Pokemon in the area, sending them running. We get a great ball and then a nugget. Okay, I mean the side quest is done. I guess we can do that another time and try shoot for a hundred thousand. I imagine a hundred thousand is the max for that. I feel like I, I did pretty good there. Okay. Oh, hello, Grandad. Just getting the itch to battle with you. Oh, do you have... I've got a mission. I'm busy. <laughs> no! <laughs> the smile! <laughs> no, you won't battle me today, Akari. Even after all I did to help you the acclimate, I think you owe me at least this much. I've got a mission, Akari. I can't play with you right now. <laughs> Now it's your turn to frown, and not mine. 
No, no, I really don't have time to help battle you. I really don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's got a second Pokemon. It's a Mime Junior. Come on, Doctor Who. God, we're still so much stronger. Good first round. Oh, it hurt me there! Hurt me a little more! And it's not quite a one-shot kill! Just getting a little stronger. Good fight. Battle decided. <laughs> Keep finding myself caught up in observing the way the Pokemon use their moves. Pikachu may not be very happy with me after that. Thank you for battling me. Have this new recipe. Stealth Spray. Oh, so that's gonna be like a repel, is it? Huppleberry and three Bugwort Blooms. Or it could just be Stealth. Because I guess that's actually an important mechanic in this game. I've been working on studying those strange space-time distortions. You know the ones I mean, they've, they've been appearing here and there lately. Seems like they hold wonderful items, but frightfully strong Pokémon, too. Plan to go into one, be careful about it. Wait, what? <laughs> She's just gonna drop that on me. Oh, here's the new region, too. Crimson Mirelands. Um, I have actually some missions here still to do. Ah, but I kind of want to see what's going on in the new area. Yeah, let's go to the new area. The Mirelands. So what, this is where like Pastoria City and that would be based? Here we are, my boy. The Crimson Mirelands. An area team with poison wielding Pokemon and plenty of others besides. Heard about your mission, Grandad. You're looking for the Solosian Sol Ruins. They're off that way. Oh, yeah. It's just a massive ruin in the mountain. Cool. Oh, that'd be cool if there's like an interior or something. Like a proper one you can explore. Space-time distortions. The dangerous places where powerful Pokemon appear. However, if you're brave enough to enter them, you might be able to find rare Pokemon and items inside. Oh, I got I gotta find one. I gotta find one. It sounds so cool. Some more quests here before we before we uh, go anywhere. Roselia's back? Get one of them. Uh, have I got the right Pokemon at the moment? I, th I mean, I think I do. Uh, put away the nugget. Uh, just organize the satchel. I have four rare candies. Right? What level does uh, Doctor Who evolve into Decidueye? Because I could just get it. Is it 36? 36 to 34. Okay. I'm gonna just level up one more. And then we get our Decidueye. Because I think that's that's just gonna be wonderful for us. Let's catch a bu bud, you. Where do you think you're going? I'll throw another one. I'll t I'll do it again. Oh, 
Oh, look at the new map. So, Ava lost her satchel again. Richie lost his satchel too. We just gotta start exploring. Original, thank you for a thousand bits. I'm sorry to hear about your shipment, but I hope you get to play Pokemon soon. There's the Caster Fern. Uh, we could just get a Parasect here. Neat. Sword Cap. Oh god, look at the landscape here. Oh, we're gonna have to get like a surfing Pokemon soon. There's no way. There's no way they would hold that from us with all, like, the water here. Catch a Psyduck as we go. I said, catch a Psyduck as we go. Poor Psyducks, like, don't even try react to you chucking a ball at them. They kind of just accept their fate. There's a Carnivine there. Come on, get him. Psyduck, please. Psyduck. It's a Psyduck. Alright, just go. Uh, I mean, it might kill it, but if it kills it, we might get enough experience so we can get Decidueye. Oh, Paris is here too. Okay, level up. Let's go level by level. Got the idea for a new move? Okay, so two more. He can evolve! And we get... The new form for Decidueye. <laughs> they teased this in the trailer and I'm very excited to use them. Let's have a look see at him. He's grass fighting. Oh wow. It's kind of like it's like his turn to be like the new Blaziken. Look at it, it's like a fighting chicken. <laughs> oh god, that's interesting, yeah. Attack stat is through the fucking roof on him now. Change moves. Did he get- he got a fighting type move. He got Rock Smash. He gets Aura Sphere. Triple arrows. The user delivers an axe kick then fires three arrows. This raises the chance of future attacks landing critical hits and also lowers the target's defensive stats. Pretty cool. That's pretty cool. He gets access to Leaf Blade now as well. Aura Sphere is kind of wild, so if you want to run a special set on him, you can. It's a real weird one to give to him. I almost don't want to run False Swipe on him. I feel like I can probably get like another cool move. I'll keep it for now. Yay! Doctor Who is now Peter Capaldi. <laughs> He's evolved again. Can I just send him out? Look at him! 
He's so cool! He's really fucking tall! <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy with him. He's so cool. Because we have a grass fighting uh, Pokemon to keep with us. That's awesome. Like, the Sijuai was already pretty cool before. It's cool to see him like kind of in a new form like this. Test him in a quick battle. Annihilate this poor Paris. It doesn't stand a chance. It just kicks them now. My god. It's got talents. Looks like the remains of someone's campfire. gonna kick everything we need from this point. He's like a giant ostrich. I, I kind of love him. I think he looks cool. Okay, well, we press on. Um, should I just go to the ruins? Maybe I might get something. Ely, thank you for 1500 bits. Curly mod because my copy got delayed in shipping this morning. It was supposed to be here today. Damn it, FedEx, not like this. I'm so sorry. I hope you get it soon. Anyone who's in the same situation or, you know, just wait until the weekend so you can get it. I hope you all have fun playing. I'm having, like, a blast with it. I want to get some new Pokemon here. Got all the Cricket Toss to last me a lifetime. Give me a Carnivine. Psyduck! Yeah, you're wonderful. You're, you're fantastic. You want to come too? Yeah, you want to come along. Oh, we gotta go inside the ruins. This is like looks like an interior. Dodge it is everything, everything. When a wild Pokemon flash it at you and its moves, you dodge right out of the way. While you're dodging, their moves will whiz by right by and not hit you. Oh, this looks cool. Hello there. I'm Calaba of the Pearl Clan. Warden Calaba to you. Now would you look at that, you have a Celestica flute. You must be the one they say fell out of the space-time rift. I mean, I don't know, nothing certain. <laughs> Why the vague response? Something to hide. If I already heard about you, that, qu that you quelled Cleaver in his frenzy. I'm sure many people were saved by your actions, but I wonder if there wasn't some other way to handle the situation. What you did is highly different from bullying a Pokemon into submission, after all. And you wrote about catching Pokemon up in those little balls you carry. I don't need any help from your sort, but the Diamond Clan, for that matter. That young lady, Arez 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 Arezu, offered the help but associate with the Diamond Clan. It just won't do. Be on your way. Okay, what if I beat you in a Pokemon battle? Will you tell me more? Ah, Grandad, how about you show me the strength that you could quell even a frenzied lord? Oh, I'm a bit busy right now, Volo. Who knows when I'll get the chance next. Please, I ask that you face me now. Volo does not take no for an answer. Okay, but we have our new bird. Oh, that animation when he comes in the battle is actually really cool. <laughs> okay, hit him with a leaf blade. 
Oh, he's so strong! <laughs> oh, he's not flying type though, yeah, of course. I mean, the Sinkuai, I guess, never was, because it was Grass Ghost. I get him! Battle decided. Yeah, he has a Gibble. We're getting closer to Cynthia's team. I want to catch more of the new Pokemon so I can, like, evolve them all. Such strength. Now let me just heal up your Pokemon. I'm going to be able to take on some of the the hyper, like, the, the alpha Pokemon in the last zone now, aren't I? I have a level 36 fully evolved starter. And, like, there's a Lop Bunny and a Snorlax, which are both normal type. I must ask you help in retrieving the stolen wall fragment. Well, your skill, it should be a cinch. Wall fragment? The bandits pillaged the Seleucian ruins and made off with a fragment of the wall engravings. Have you not heard of the notorious misfortunes? There are a trio of bandits that have hit even us Ginkgo Guild merchants more than a few times. Not the kind of regulars I like to have, let me tell you. Mistress Calaba is doing everything she can to retain, regain the fragment, but at 99 years old, it's a bit hard for her to chase leads all over the place. Oh, <laughs> It's okay! I'm only 87 myself! My knees are still working! Okay, so we gotta- we gotta track down the misfortunes. Who have vandalized and terrorized in the region. The remains of a campfire. Okay, we, we literally just saw that. Okay. Oh, I was hoping there'd be more of an interior in here. <laughs> I'll be honest. It would be nice to kind of just explore like a dungeon like this. Rather than just be outside the entire time. We need more caves. Make our way over. It's a burnt out campfire. Somebody must have been here. And who might you be? Not some stray traveler from the look of... Oh! She, lo she looks like one of the ice type gym leader. I'm wondering about the other two. The one on the right is Saturn. And the one in the middle, I, I'm i not entirely sure. It's, is it the Elite Four lady? I think so. Elite Four ground type, yeah. Bertha. Edgeworth? Not quite Edgeworth, no. <laughs> the hair is cut similar, but... Only one reason people go poke at are out here in the middle of nowhere. You're after us three, aren't you? Sisters, we should introduce ourselves properly. Before we show this poor fool how wrong he was to assume he could ever beat us. Charm. Okay. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go and ill luck to anyone who crosses their paths. I'm the eldest, and I'll be your unlucky charm. Thought you spotted a four-leaf clover? Well, I'll soon have you see in double. I'm the middle sister. I'm one clover you can't pick. Heads I win and tails you lose. You got no chance in this game of fortunes. I'm the youngest coin, but I'm definitely not your good luck piece. Okay, that's very cute. The infamous bandit trio, the misfortune sisters, and your luck's just ran out. I have a level 36 Decidueye. Good luck to you. Bandit coin has challenged you. Don't mess with us. You're going down. It's gonna be easy pickings here. 
Wait, why is your Pokemon such a higher level? Got him. I've not found his Zauka, but at least it's still better than plowing fields for the Galaxy team. <laughs> oh yeah, because they have Pokeballs, so they must have ran away from the Galaxy team or something. How many people actually have them? Oh, they gave up! <laughs> that was easy! There's still two of you here that could fight us. But, all right. Weird, right? It made us think that the stupid thing was some kind of treasure. It turned out to be a worthless slab of junk. All that effort for nothing. Tell me, why are you even seeking us out? Set you on this path. Uh, who can say is that an option? But this how selfless of you to go so far out of your way for the sake of another. All of us have the luxury of offering such unthinking kindness to strangers. For some of us simply surviving another day takes all that we have. We've got a score to sell with the Galaxy team, which now includes you. It's like all the enemies of Team Galactic are now fighting us because we're a part of them. Why is it in days of spring beneath the soft caress of the sun, the blossoms tremble and fall? Spirits lash by uncertainty. Your days are also numbered, Galaxy Fool. Okay, goodbye. What a nice young group of kids. Just having fun with their gang. Oh, wait, I got a notification thing here. Did someone find my satchel? Oh, thank you very much, Austin. <laughs> Appreciate it. He actually went out and got it for me. Okay, well, we, I mean, we, we just have the plaque now. Oh. Okay, don't kill it this time. I kind of want to see what triple arrows look like. That's a cool animation. That lowers his defensive stats, too. Oh, he's not ghost, so we don't have to worry about that. I have great balls as well, I should probably use them, shouldn't I? Yeah, let, let, let's start using them. Pokemon are getting stronger. I wonder if like the smoke is different to like indicate the ball now. Before you had like sparkles. Do cool little attention to the detail if it is. I still don't really know who I'm using in my team like at all. Like Doctor Who's kind of just carrying us. It's the most appropriate command uh like companion I'm like started to take considering the time travel plot that we found ourselves in. I need it like, was it three hearty grains? Scallop on in here. Yeah, you got the fragment back. Well, well aware of Calaba's reputation. They say she's stubborn, too old fashioned, and so on. But she's given the Pearl Clan all she has ever since she was young. She lived her prime years here in the Hisui region, trusting in the guidance of the almighty Sinnoh. I don't think that she hates the Diamond Clan and the Galaxy Team. Rather, I think she simply loves the Pearl Clan very, very much. Anyway, I hope you're able to stop the beast frenzy, Grandad. Best of luck to you. <laughs> okay, let's place it. Oh 
go. Do you think collab? No, no. There was a terrible. There's a terrible joke to make here with Barrow being related to God, and because Collab is old, she's very close to God at this point, and that's why it's a partner Pokemon. But I'm not gonna make that joke because that's poor taste. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's fucked. <laughs> Close call. No, we're good. Uh, I've got the wall fragment here for you. Go pop it back up. Oh no, I said something affirmative. I meant to say if possible. There we go, good as new. All lives uh, touch other lives to create something and you and alive. That's what the ruins say in Diamond and Pearl. Let me read what it says now. <laughs> oh, okay, right. I mean, sure. I see. I suppose it means people helping each other, like how you help retrieve the frag. I've read this passage many, many times, but this is the first time I've truly understood what it means. Maybe this is Almighty Sinner's guidance. What is he named then, boy? I see. Granddad! Please lend me your strength so that we may help Ursaluna. It's true that Ursaluna has become in range, but he doesn't seem to be in an utter frenzy. I think he will return to his normal state if we can get, just give him some medicine. I can never bring myself to engage Pokemon in battle. Something I can rely on you for, am I right? Mr. Luna re refers to stay on Sludge Mound. Please join me there when you're ready. Doesn't sound too inviting. Okay. Sludge Mound. Uh, where is that on the map? That is the opposite end of the region. Some There's more satchels popping up, I think. No, it's just the two still, actually. I don't know how far I can actually go in the region right now, unfortunately. Actually, no, it's just it's just that river that's giving me trouble. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff here I can still access. I need I need to get one of these. Actually, no, did, did I I got one already, didn't I? Oh, I can just get another one. Good experience. You have one, yeah. We'll leave him be. Sleep across there. Ooh. I mean, maybe I can take him. Big planning boy. I don't think we'd use a Tangrope because we have Doctor Who. It's level 45. I think we try take one. Catch it unaware. Because I ca caught it unaware, I can use a strong style here. Yep. And it doesn't change the speed order. That's pretty good. He's too stunned. Okay, two more from here should do it. Come on, you just need to live. Oh! <laughs> no! Sludge Bob is unfortunate. God, like, their move pools are really diverse. They seem to almost always have what they need. Get it with a strong style. Okay, I can try catch it from here. 
Maybe. Those ones just, if it doesn't notice you, if it's fast, it goes a bit faster. So Great Ball is the best chance. Is it just impossible to catch because of level? Like, does that indication thing not change at all? Okay, right. So I so I'm better off just killing it. If I can. Get on Mime Jr. Oh no! I caught a level 41 hair across RT. Level doesn't matter. Okay. No, oh, that's fair. Okay, so it doesn't matter. I'll try it. It's the best way out of the fight. The Great Balls only catch level 40, Dan. Funny that, ain't it? A lot of people guessing in chat when they have no right to. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just hard to catch. Cause it's a strong boy. Okay, uh, I can... Well, I have a level 45 Tangrowth now. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, I should probably use that, shouldn't I? That's insane. Just a, a nice backup Pokemon in case I need it. It's marked like as a hyper, uh, like the alpha Pokemon too, which is interesting. Over level forty won't obey. Even if it won't obey, sometimes they do obey. It's just nice as like a wall, and that's what we're gonna keep it as. I can maybe go back and get Snorlax in that. Yeah, it still takes hits. What is that there? Oh, it's a Ghastly. Okay. look very spooky in this game. Okay, try catch some of them. It is not gonna gain much experience. Just leap. <laughs> okay, Skyrim horse it. Uh, let's just make our way to this one. I kind of want to see it. And then we're going to hop on. Oh. Let's wait, there's a new Pokemon here. Oh, ho, ho. Yeah. Try out the Tangro. We just need it as a wall. If I can get even one hit off, it's good. Jesus, he's fucking massive. Does he retain his size when I catch him? It's too drowsy to move. Just a massive one to get. 
He's loafing around. He pretended not to notice. Okay. We're gonna just have Tangro uh, tank for a while. So I get the chance to chuck some more balls. Nice. <laughs> That's your role now, Tangro. Tank gross. <laughs> Catch that too. Oh, there's a stonky here. Getting a bunch of new ones. Okay, we're almost at the shrine. Oh, there's something over here. Go get a Tangro. <laughs> you just obliterated that. Hulk smash. It really looks it, don't it? Okay, hello, what do you got for me? What are you doing out here? Oh, he wants a new base camp. Bog bound camp. We should Probably do that. Quest 31. Dad needs a whale lord now for maximum size. I hope you can find like a hyper whale lord here. That'd be amazing. Keep your distance. Oh, there's a few stunkies. Uh, I'm not bad. Not the best. Oh, so this is gonna be like a triple battle. Get him, doctor. Yeah, they're all here. Okay, uh, I think this does the most damage because it's stab. Okay, go get him. If I do a strong style version of that, then that'll help me. Let's keep dodging all the attacks. Oh, I, well, I don't have styles for it. Just as cool as Spectral Arrow. I hope he can still get Spectral Arrow. It would be cool. Understandable if he doesn't. Oh no. You need to finish off the Stunky. He's in a bit of a pickle. He's in a bit of a pickle. It's unfortunate. Yeah, he's really struggling against a lot. We're gonna need to get some like AOE attacks or something. Like, I don't even know what you get for grass fighting that does that. Everything is so much more hell and surprise and bulk. Like, I thought that would have one shot killed it. Uh, I'm honestly amazed it did not. Okay, one more. Get 
Get, get a quick roost then. Oh my god. Like, these stunkies should not cause this much damage. I can't even hurt him with Mime Jr. It's just an alarming amount of pain. Mud slap. I didn't even kill. Dude, come on. We need stronger Pokemon. We absolutely do. And we handled them without getting smelly. Okay. New base camp. We gotta set them up, uh, well, like, uh, probably one of those up for every zone we come to. Laventon is just here. Makes a second base camp for us to use in the Crimson Mirelands. Perhaps some Stunky will pop by for fun and games sometime, eh? Wouldn't that be a treat? Laventon, please. Okay, uh... Well, we do need to get Stunky uh, evolved. Geodude can evolve now. So we get that done. When did you last eat? I ate on stream earlier, so I'm actually pretty good right now. Pick up a Graveler. Yeah, I want to see my Pokemon. Uh, put you back. I already have a Haunter now as well, which is lovely. Uh, I guess I just keep Tangro in case we need, like, a bulky wall. I really want to see what new moves um, Decidueye can get. Get some new points by just talking to the professor as well. Oh! Hello there. Was that a Pokemon? Come to think of it, Vol Volo did mention that there were carvings that resembled writings on the raw of the Solosian ruins. Oh, we're we gonna have to collect the unknown. <laughs> I'm going to add a selection specifically for that species to your Pokedex, Grandad. Yes, we are. Unknown notes were added to your Pokedex. Letter by Marikin seem to have appeared in this section I've just added. Was that your arc phone I just heard? Your mysterious device is reacting to this new species. I wonder what that could mean. Press the Y button while viewing the cover of your Pokedex to jump to your unknown research notes. By deciphering the cryptic symbols found in these notes, we can try to find all the unknown hiding throughout the region. These unknown possess a mysterious power that repels Pokeballs containing Pokemon. So you won't be able to battle them, but track them down and catch them all if you can. Okay. So if you press Y here. Oh, and it says where they are, but it's like a clue. Uh, within... The settlement where time uh, rules. It's an R. Uh, so that's what that's what the Diamond Clan. Uh, let's see. Turn your eyes up at the. Something Island? Volcanic Island. Turn your eyes up at the Volcanic Island. 
Okay, right, so there's a bunch of these. Look to the ruined pillars of Celestica. So we're going to have to keep an eye out for some of these. I feel like this is something we're going to have to hunt down a different time. A dead tree. Uh... A dead tree, and then that's a Y? Oh, by the hot spring. Yeah. Cool. Okay, well, well we, we can track them down another time then. That's pretty cool. Uh... I'm just a bit conscious of the time. I'm keeping an eye on it now. I'm still gonna go a little longer. I'm thinking about what I'm probably gonna do, is, like, off-stream. Cause I, I, I might not be stream- I'm not gonna be streaming the game, uh, tomorrow. I'll be streaming it again Sunday. I think the main things I'm gonna do is just some cleanup of, like, all the Pokémon in the storage boxes. I might do a little searching of, like, the past area and try to catch some Pokémon. I'd really like to get an Eevee. Cause an Eevee would be, like, a strong Pokémon to have as well. So much to do. There's a new request all the way out here. I can't wait to stream more. I'm having so much fun. It's just so different. Over here, Grandad. Saloon is in range, yes. But he must still recall his long relationship with the Pearl Clan. Never fails to show up the moment I play my Celestica flute. Is this gonna be another Pokemon we can summon? Oh shit, is that an Ursa Ring? Related Pokemon. I didn't even think about it up until now. That's a bear. Yeah, show your mail to Ursa Luna. It's a new bear form. It's a big bear. Remember that Ursa Luna is a Pokemon very dear to the Pearl Kind. I will not permit you to catch him. Only kill him in combat. Come on, Doctor Who. I really wish I had, like, the leveled up triple arrows. For the styles. Oh, that's super effective. That's really good. What type is it? He's slower than me. Oh! <laughs> okay, we can take him though, because his defense was lower. Oh no. That might be it though. God damn it, Doctor Who, I want you to live a fight. <laughs> Just one, please. He's having so much difficulty. Okay, Aerial Ace. There we go. Level 30 Staravia. Saluna, my poor darling. You must be exhausted from running around like that. Come, let me make you all better. I have here a special medicine of the Pearl Clan. Clear out any poison in a Pokemon's body. Poison what's causing Ursa Luna's rage this is sure to calm him down. We call it Toxagon. Bleh. The barrel is fucking spooked. Like, oh my god. 
What just happened? <laughs> it's so potent that we only, only use a tough, resilient Pokemon like Ursaluna. There, there, dear Ursaluna. You've calmed down now, haven't you? It's all very strange, though. Yeah, he, he wasn't actually glowing like Cleaver was. Very good studio, you Galaxy Team Recruit. Exactly right. When you call Cleaver's friends, you can see the strange light rising into the sky all the way from here. But no such strange light erupted from Ursaluna after you defeated him, nor was he glowing. What is this clinging to Ursaluna's coat? It seems like some kind of powder. A girl from the Diamond Clan, Erezu. And why did she of all people find the need to come and tell me about Ursaluna, I wonder? Oh, but I almost forgot something important. Play your Celestica flute for me, won't you? Are we getting a new companion? doing a shuffle. Ursaluna opened his heart and learned well the sound of your playing. You received the earth plate. Is it ground type? What? What? Is it normal ground? That's the same as Diggersby, isn't it? That's an interesting choice. Our Saluna is very good at finding things that are buried in the ground. He said that he's digging for treasure, even if these treasures might not always glitter or gleam. Go and let your commander know of what transpired here, child of the galaxy team. Brr. You can now call Our Saluna and dig for treasure. Oh, okay. Our Saluna will rush toward any treasure he senses in front of him. Press the Y button to dig for treasure when Ursaluna finds a spot that makes him react particularly strongly. You might find something nice. I can now toggle. Oh my god. He's got a radar on him. Something here. Dig for treasure. He's a dowsing machine. You obtained Old Verse 9. Part of a series of old poems that have been unearthed around the Hisui region. Judging from the handwriting, it appears they are all written by the same person. Read it. I set the bones of Pokemon adrift upon the river. I'll let my memories flow on adrift upon the river. Into the ocean they will flow, perhaps around the world they go. How many bones and days now gone have I now set adrift from me? How many bones and days to come will I s set adrift to sea? While every gift with which I part takes a sl sl sliver of my heart. Okay, you can collect poetry in this game. Alright. And there's the Sootfoot route. Is this related to Canale? It very well might be. Space-time distortion seems to be forming. Where? Ooh, where is it? Where is it? How do I get up there? Can I just walk over? Excuse me, gang. Yes, I can. Okay, I thought the terrain was too high. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh. Maybe there's a way around? I could maybe jump it from up there. I don't know how long I have. Alright, Skyrim horse it.
Okay, there's definitely a way up there. Hop around real quick. Skyrim horse and it doesn't always work in this game. That was a pit lock for some reason. Okay, there's got there's got to be a way to get around to this thing. I need, I need to just get a mighty jump across the river. And I can do it. Where would be the best point to do the jump? There's Yanmas. Probably from there. Oh, there's a there's a thing here. Hang on. There are 19 wisps remaining in this area. Okay. Ugh. Come on. Okay, you can totally get that. You can totally get that. Yep. So this is this this feels like an actual skip. I'm not supposed to get across here until I have something to surf. We are deploying a speedrun strat right now and we're uncovering it. <laughs> I forgot to get the jump. Go! We're a speedrunner now. Okay, uh, what is going on in this zone here? What the fuck? Oh god, that's just straight up a Porygon! <laughs> uh oh. Oh, they weren't kidding! That's a Porygon Z as well. Oh no! Okay, what level is it? It's only level 30! Okay, this might not be so bad. Triple arrow it. Don't kill it though. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, wait, no. So you gotta use the trigger for the ball. There we go. Cool, we get a Porygon Z. I don't know if we should have that right now. There were blue shards of- <laughs> Oh! Blue shards, stardust. Don't have space in your satchel. Oh, for the love of God. There's a regular Porygon here. 
somehow he didn't notice me. I have no idea what the blue shards are gonna do, but like I know that I'm just taking them. Grit dust. Uh, improve defense. Pokemon are constantly after you when you're here. I need it. It's over, Eevee! I have the high ground! <laughs> he just zooms back up? <laughs> Get him! Oh, we're finally gonna get one! Let's catch it in a cool looking Pokeball. Featherball. Nice. We finally got it. Uh, if I can get a Porygon 2 here, that would be amazing. I already got, like, the first one in Z. I don't know if Porygon 2 is here. Or how these work at all. Heracross? Uh, there's Flareons. Okay, well, he's outside the rift. We're still in it. It's fine. I think I can hit it with this. Yes, I definitely can. Okay. Uh, fight. False swipe. Oh, we're getting some significantly cooler Pokemon all of a sudden because of the distortion. <laughs> Try a regular Pokeball. Okay, use the Great Ball. Doctor Who is no longer pumped. Oh! Flying types really hurt Doctor Who. It's times four weak to flying. It seems like everything has a flying type move in this game. Take one! It's only level 22. The wild Pokemon feels so much stronger than like the trainer's Pokemon. Like when I catch this, if I catch this Heracross and use it, it won't feel nearly as strong. Okay, there, there are Flareon just chilling up there. Damn it, they disappeared. Whoa. I want to see what other Pokemon spawn. There seems to be like a huge variety of them.
I have no idea how these work, <laughs> but it's exciting. Uh, there's something else over here. My Porygon is freaking out. More shards. I see the Luxray chasing me. It's just a lot here. Wait, there's another Eevee. No, they've changed again. Distortion faded. Another Eevee has escaped. Oh, I meant to throw a Pokeball there. Oh my god, they're gonna... Why is everything a flying-type Pokemon? Like, everything. Because it is dead. I need something with resistances. Uh, I'm, having a, I'm having a rough time of it with Doctor Who, unfortunately. It's a violent world from. It's interesting to note that with the levels, like th these are roughly on par with what we saw at the end of the first area. It's like the implied order is a bit all over the place. Um, these are a bit weaker. There seems to be a lot of variants. There's always a Bidoof. Even here. Oh, well, Barry, I, s I simply don't have space. That's the shining thing over there. Excuse me. There was a wisp back there? I did not see it. I'll I'll come back in a moment. Sword cap. Angry Parises. Is there anything in here? There is. Oh, there's like the Paletto. This is like Lilligan's precursor. There's a Pachirisu there. It's a level 34. Do you mind? I think he might have saw me. Caught another Honor. So many just Pokemon. <laughs> Is that a Togetic all the way up there? How do I get that to come down? It's like bug snacks. It is a oddly like bug snacks, yeah. There's a wisp up there I still need to get. I have to work out how to get some of the Pokemon. It's a weird comparison for this. Um... I had a honey cake, didn't I? Is 
It's an attractive. Uh, it's supposed to attract fairy type Pokemon. And snipe it with a Feather Ball. I mean, that seems easier said than done. Miss Paris, ever so kindly. What's the angle like on these? Okay, if we're gonna stand a chance of doing it, we get on the hill. One, that's two. Three. Let's pick that up while we're here. God, this is a hell of a shot. It does seem to have the range, though. Is this really the intended way to get this fe fella? That seems kind of mad. Wait till it gets closer. That's as close as it gets. It's doing like a figure eight. See? Wait for it. Wait for it. I thought I might get there. Try again. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that. Hey, Togetic! Look at that! Ain't that great? Oh my god, I got it! Oh, oh now it's raining. Okay. There's too much excitement for this guy. I'm as surprised as the rest of you. Togetics are pretty cool when they get. Could get a Toga Kiss on the team. Uh. Okay, hop on back for a mo. Uh, sort our shit, <laughs> cause there's so much. To open like an item box too. Oh, this is the seed of mastery. I got one of them. Okay, organize satchel. Organize the item box. For some reason those are in here. I want to see my Pokemon. Uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, Lily Gant is you just use a, a stone on it, isn't it? I think so. We finally have an Eevee. That we can probably add to the team, because Eevee is a very versatile Pokemon. Yep, that's a Leaf Stone. Cool. I need an upgrade for the Porygon. The Porygon Z of all things. I don't know if I want to use that, but that's a pretty cool one to get. I might organize some of the boxes based on like how likely I might actually use this Pokemon. Togetic is a really fucking cool one. 
I would say. I'm tempted to use Togetic over Staravia, as usual as Staravia has been. It'd just be nice for something different. You know? We had Star after like, hard to carry us before. Special attack nature as well, speed is down. We're having a lot of trouble getting speed, speed on our Pokemon. But like, still pretty good. I can try use that. We'll still level up Staravia a little bit more so we get the, um, the Staraptor out of it. Uh, let's talk to the professor. Document our finds. We did pretty good there. Thirteen thousand dollars. Okay, new Pokedex entries. Yeah, we, we, we were able to update like a lot of them. It says insufficient data if you don't have enough points, which is interesting. You just have to gradually fill it out. You don't get the description until you fully complete it. We got the next rank! Oh wait, no we didn't. No, it's added it and then... Okay. Thought we did for a moment. Only another thousand though. Okay, return to the village. Oh my god. Better hurry to the commander's office. Oh. Uh. Oh, because we have to report our findings, don't we? Yeah. Let, okay. Let Let's see what's happening here. There's a new thing set up. Ginter of the Gingo Guild sells sells rare items you won't find anywhere else. A Pokeball set. Let's take it. 30 Pokeballs. Okay, it was, I mean, it was half the price. Sells items you can't find at the general store. Oh, so this is, uh, this is berries and some crafting materials. Cool. The village is being, like, more established as time goes on. New requests, too. Oh, it's Volkner. It might be. Volkner would always be sitting down. He had that serious kind of look. It is kind of funny, like, seeing so many, like, references to just the main Diamond and Pearl characters. Like, everyone's granddad is here. Okay, there's two things here. There's some more requests. Massive mushroom. Wants to investigate Parasect. Battle strategies for Pachirisu. Most of the quests seem to be catch this Pokemon. I imagine that's going to be another, like, get a Pachirisu. Which we've already done. We're like one step ahead, how, like, most of the time. Granddad, we have a situation here. Let me explain. Lily Ganner clan's Lady of the Ridge is in a frenzy. Nerezu no only kept this from me. The Lady of what? There are only female Lily Gant, which makes this honored one our Lady of the Ridge. This isn't the time for cultural lessons. Get to find out just what er Nerezu was thinking, but she's nowhere in Jubilife Village. Last I saw, she was at the Wallflower, polishing off a big old plate of potato mochi. It's all anyone eats in this world. Not that I blame her, my cooking is simply irresistible after all. If Arizu of the Diamond Clan was somehow involved in that situation with the Raging Ursaluna of the Pearl Clan, it could lead to the two clans going at each other's throats again. We're just trying to broker peace between these nations. If we do end up in a struggle with the Pearl Clan, what will your people do? Introducing Fire Emblem. Two houses. Pokemon version. We'd be forced to remain neutral. We and what? If we were to show support for one side, it would put us at odds with the other. We came here to create a home for ourselves, not to take part in tearing the land apart. 
Right, of course. For all the work you put in to get us to treat one another as equals and keep us from fighting. I suppose it's no surprise you refused to intervene if trouble were to break out again. Grandad, perhaps you have some idea how we might address this situation. I could call her. Not really. <laughs> ah, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm so useless. <laughs> I know. Why don't we call it Ursa Luna? <laughs> He's got a keen nose for tracking. If you're strong enough that Ursa Luna deemed you worthy, then you should be ready to quell Lilygad's frenzy as well. I had the Lilygad seat. Then bra Brava Arena, it it's called. If you'll excuse me. Her character is so unsure and like doesn't want to commit to anything. Every decision we have, like we're just like the bystander. If we were in a D and D party, like we wouldn't contribute. <laughs> we're just there to roll dice. Listen well, Grandad. You must quell any Pokemon that could cause harm to the people of Hisui. Always remember, we came here to make a new home where we could live without a war or strife. Okay, so we gotta find a Rezu in the Crimson Mirelands. That's the next objective. I, I think on that note, we've been streaming nine hours. It is a good enough time and point to leave it for today. But thank you so much everyone who has come around to today's stream. I really hope you're enjoying seeing watching me play the game. We will be continuing it come Sunday. Uh, I don't know what my start time is going to be just yet, but we'll be doing pretty, something similar to this where we're just streaming it most of the day and I'm just genuinely quite excited for it. Uh, I might do a few bits off camera. The only things I might do is just go back to the old area, maybe catch a few Pokemon. I might sort through the boxes a bit too because they're a fucking nightmare. <laughs> But, like, I won't really do anything new, so don't worry there. Can we get a start time? Check the Discord server. If, you join my di if you're in my Discord server, there's a stream notice channel. I always give notice there. I announce everything there. It is the best place to absolutely be if you're wondering when a stream is. Like, I do have a regular schedule, but the Discord is the place where I'll post any changes to that schedule. So do keep an eye on it, okay? How do I join the Discord? Type exclamation point Discord in chat, or look in the About tab on Twitch. Or look in the description of any of my YouTube videos. They're all there. The notice is like half an hour late sometimes. On Discord, it's not. On Discord, it absolutely isn't. It, it, if you actually like follow that channel, it should post it immediately. People do see it immediately. Twitch is the one that's a bit funky, and the YouTube notice is the worst one. <laughs> Absolutely. You can also follow Twitter, that works too. There's notifications. There's no stream tomorrow, no, uh, I'm taking tomorrow off. I'm up to some other stuff, and I figure I've done a 9 hour stream today, if I do a 9 hour stream tomorrow, I'll die. So, let's not do that. Uh, but we are going to be playing this game through. I don't have a Twitter, then join the Discord. If you don't have a Discord too, follow on Twitch. If you have none of those things, that's your fucking problem, ain't it? I'm doing what I can, man. <sighs> okay, let me see who else is going. I can leave you in someone's care. God. Uh, if you want to watch a Nuzlocke version of what I've been playing, Pokemon Challenges is doing it. Uh, we were very recently invited uh, to a Pokemon tournament that he was hosting. He's a lovely guy. Say hi to Ian. He's doing a, a Nuzlocke run of the game. Uh, so you can watch some of that. I'll leave you in his care. But yeah, until Sunday, folks, thank you very much for coming by. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you all soon.